How's it going, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Dave's Aquarium Thoughts. Uh, welcome all tonight. Um, Hopefully Chattanooga Ed completely wrapped it up. I'm pretty sure he's wrapping it up when I first started the stream. But anyways, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the things we hate in the fish keeping hobby and we're giving them ratings. Uh, today I do have AC Aqua and Anthony's fishy friends here as special guests. Hello guys. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. How's it going I, I, out on your side? Uh, it's drizzly. <laughs> <laughs> We won't have any rain for a while here, so. That's good, or not good, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's how it goes. Summertime, no, no rain. Wintertime, we always hope for rain, so. Uh, it rains almost every day here, so. Man, it happens. Yeah. Okay, looks like, looks like Chattanooga Ed let out, and we're getting more viewers. Hello, uh, people coming in from uh, Chattanooga Ed. Uh, oh. so we have a bunch of people here. <laughs> uh, hello, Deb Hall, uh, Pugs Tank. Hi, Big J. How's it going? Uh, as well as Priscilla. How's T still awake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Joey. How's it going? Uh, Ronan, uh, which is uh, Benny's Aquatics. Hey, Fisherman Fever. Welcome, welcome to my stream today. <laughs> Hot dogs, huh? I think I got everyone. Yeah, the hot. They're they're talking about hot dogs over there on. Um, Chattanooga Eds, if it's a sandwich or not. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get into the specifics. I'll call it a sandwich. It has bread it has meat. It's a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and why isn't the other Cali guy up there? Don't know why Big Jay's not up here. Probably because I didn't ask him. If Big Jay wants to come up here. He's fine. If you want to come up here too, Priscilla, it's fine as well. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it uh, looks like we have some uh, some admosity over there. Uh, Streetwise wants to go with the hashtag bread hinge. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it uh, looks like Streetwise is being overruled with hot dogs, though. <laughs> so hey, Codyson, how's it going? <laughs> bread hinge. Okay, looks like looks like we have uh, Codyson joining up with uh, Streetwise there. <laughs> okay, how about we just go with bread hinge or hot dogs? That works. Uh, so anyways, uh, today it's going to be like a, 
it's gonna it's gonna be another rating game. Uh, this this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna have a chart. I'm not gonna have anything. I will have slides and whatnot. Uh, basically, basically, we're gonna give them look, basically ratings. Uh, keep in mind, we are rating stuff that are stuff that we don't want to happen. It's kind of hard, uh, but we're gonna go with levels. Uh, level five being the, the worst, and then level one being the uh, one that you you'd want to be at. So basically, you're gonna rate them one to five. Um, so basically, uh, with that, I do have slides going with it. So level five is got to get out of here. Um, level four is going to be, why? Why me? <laughs> and moving on, we have level three, which is, this is fine. Obviously, things are going wrong around you, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, not the worst. <laughs> Definitely not the best. Uh, level two is going to be barely noticed, which, of course, something went wrong, but it's not bad at all. It's like, no, I barely noticed that. And then, of course, level one is totally got this. Okay, I got it. <laughs> does everyone have the Does everyone have the uh, way that the levels work? I got it. Okay, uh, so so I got I got a bunch already pre made, uh, but I will be taking suggestions as well. Uh, I, I I mean, if you want, uh, go to the uh, address on the screen right there, which is slides.app.google.com. GL and that of course those letters and you could post your own uh, suggestions and I, I, I could easily present them like this uh, but if you do go there make sure you click on ask anonymously because I'm not sure if you're going to share your name out uh, but I will post the link in the chat right here uh, real fast here you see can you see other people's posts or only you can uh, I, I get I can see everyone's uh, suggestions, whether they're good or bad, and I'll I'll definitely pick out the ones I want to share. So if there's any troll responses on there, <laughs> I will not be po posting that. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I'm logged into the wrong account. He <laughs> switched. But, but if you click on that link, there's there's a button that says uh, ask anonymously. I prefer just asking anonymously because uh, I'm not ask anonymous. <laughs> So if you go there, you could probably see what it looks like. Please um, click on the ask anonymously. Okay, yeah. I can't see that word. Anonymously. <laughs> ask anonymously. <laughs> I don't see that. Like, please click on the ask anonymously as I much. Where? Yeah, if you if you if you click on uh, add a add a add one. Oh, you gotta. I'll try to add a question first. Yeah, yeah, you have to add a question first. So. Okay. Okay. And then there's there's a little button there. So, uh, anyways, I think we are ready to go. Oh, you got it. Was it? Yeah, cool. That okay. That was so me. Everyone's real familiar how this works? Okay. And of course, uh, people in the chat are welcome to join in. Uh, please give your levels between one to five. Of course, five being the worst, one being the best. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the first one, which is going to be you chip your tank. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a five. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just a chip, like it doesn't. It's no, not a leak. It's, it's just a, a chip. It's just, just a, a chip. It's not a leak, though. Is it? It's, it's not a leak. Like, it's just a chip. Oh, okay, okay. That's not a five. It's, a, it's like a slight, slight chip on the on your edge. Uh, now, of course, that chip could be anywhere from like a major chip to a minor. I mean, if it's high up, it's not that bad. But what what would you think that this would be? I'll go with a three. Three. Yeah. What about you, Anthony? I'm between a three and a four because. Because you can't quite say uh, it, it's okay, but because you still got to do something about it, like pretty immediately, but not like the tank had just burst. Right. So I'd say a four. Four. Mm. And it could just be cosmetic, right? It could just be cosmetic. I mean, I, 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 I'm going to say probably say level three, basically because... It, it could go really either way, in my opinion. And <laughs> we're still going number one. Um, <laughs> she got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would. I mean, yeah, and street wise, I mean, you always donate it to a reptile keeper. Um, I, I, I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna stick with three. I think that was a consensus. That seems like a pretty good consensus yeah, so far. And Chattanooga is going 2.5. So it, it's between two and four. Um, any, anyone else want to chime in before I uh, make a ruling on this? 
keeping track somewhere? Uh, just, just, just by what the chat's going. I'm just doing it how, just by eye, just like how Blake Storm typically does it. So I'm just going to go by eye. I'm not, no, I'm not like, getting you're, tracking you're, you're, out. you're logging it down though. <laughs> Well, it's gonna it's gonna lock lock it's gonna lock down on YouTube. So, <laughs> okay. So yeah, okay. If it doesn't leak, it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely gonna stick with the three. Looks like that's gonna be the consensus. So it is devil level three. This is fine. Uh, so basically, uh, <laughs> ten gallon is definitely a three. <laughs> um. Although I'm luckily never to have a problem with the chip yet personally, so <laughs> scratches yes, chips no. Okay, so the next one is going to be LFS employee giving bad advice. Oh. <laughs> this could be either to you or you're just in a fish store. You hear hear him giving the bad advice. We've we've all been there. <laughs> I know, but I don't think I care. I, I'll, I'll say too. I, I I don't really let it bother me. Like whatever. I've had it happen. I just let it roll off my shoulder. Yeah, so, that's yeah. why I give it a one. Yeah, uh, one, two. Um, yeah, I. I mean, it, part of me, part of me does kind of seem like I'm like ah, like a face palm. Uh, but then again, it's like, it's one of those things where I'm like, no, I, I don't barely notice it, but it's, it's there. And in the long run, I think it's problematic for people actually selling to, I'd probably agree with Jesse with the, maybe the two on that. I'd, I'd probably say 1.5 really, but it's kind of in between those two. Yeah, it's like a face palm, but what are you really going to do? Because how <laughs> often are you there versus how often are they giving advice? Yeah. <laughs> so Which is making me just out a lot of bad advice when you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> Have we been drinking? Set the scene. If I was drinking, then I'll throw a rage. <laughs> five. <laughs> Devil, five. I just happen to usually start chatting with the customer. <laughs> Have we been drinking? No, we haven't been drinking. <laughs> Uh, I no longer get unsolicited advice for, at most stores. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's like, see, I'm, all, I'm always at that one. Like, do I really want to speak up? But I, I think I, I think I, I think I get I get either live with one or two. Um, and I think Priscilla is going number one, of course. There's a couple fives in there. Is, oh. 5.3. I think it just kicks them off and just makes them angry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can see I can see how it goes. Um, I'm probably going to go with a two on this one. Uh, primarily because, yeah, it's a problem, but then when I, what, what, are you, what are you really going to do about it? So I'm going to stick with number two personally, and that's going to be my ruling on this. Um, I mean, it's it's going to be one of those things where it, it, it could royally, it could be really a five for some people. But I'm gonna go with what, what my gut says. I, I mean, I, I think it's like one half, but so that's gonna be that. And the next one is gonna be a lovely uh, contentious one right here. This is gonna be more in terms of when you're on a forum and out about my water parameters are fine. <laughs> People asking for advice on their fish or sick fish, and all of a sudden it's like, "What's your water parameters?" My water parameters are fine. I have my own thoughts on it. So, um, what would you guys think on this? Hmm. If you're asking for help, you got to be ready with them, man, because fine is subjective. I would say four. Um, you you kind of have to say speak up and say something at that point when when they're just uh, not doing the right stuff or thinking the right way. What what did you say, Anthony? I uh, like a four. Four. Uh, I did a whole video on this. I think it was one of my live streams, and my my opinion on this is that you're just treating 
you're not treating you're not really treating the direct cause of it you're just it's an indirect cause where it's basically the water parameter are reducing the immune system which is making the fish catch ick um but yeah i mean that's something that you need to keep an eye on uh, I'm, I'm more important to say you know what okay here's how you treat your fish make sure your water parameters are good here's your nitrates that you should be at and so forth like that i i, I like treating the water parameters as a treatment rather than uh a diagnosis um i'd probably say two and a half so i'm probably gonna say three on that Darn, i almost had it all correct <laughs> 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 so that's my opinion <laughs> and of course that is my opinion I'm probably uh, well, that that hurts me because if you're going to ask for advice you should be ready for questions and give the dang answers <laughs> yeah yeah it's like they don't want to they don't want to take your they don't like your question right <laughs> yep. well i'm also i'm also hey, in the mind, I'm also in the mind that that question keeps people from asking the question because they're 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 or they're going to lie about the parameters in the first place. But um, so, anyways, we got threes, we got fives. Um, I say lying goes back to then they don't want help. <laughs> but I mean, if it's obvious, if it's obvious physical, I mean, they have ick. Yeah, that that could be caused by having bad water parameters, but. Knowing the water parameters are not going to help you treat the fish, but I'm going to still go with, um, but yeah, I mean, they should be prepared as well. So I'm definitely going to stick with you guys going with level four on this one. Ooh, I got one right. <laughs> Priscilla, smart fish store employee just asked the white questions to my water is fine question. Okay. Off to the next one. Okay, this one I think is up uh, Anthony's. Uh, this is one that Anthony suggested earlier, which is going to be whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the fish police. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is uh, what, which, where, where would you rate on, on, the, on the levels of the fish police? People who are like saying, okay, okay, your tank size is too wrong. Uh, you shouldn't have the pink gravel or you shouldn't have this with that and whatnot. What, what's your opinion on, uh, what's your, what would you rate on that? Uh, I'll say one, cause maybe I'm one too. <laughs> I can't stand pink gravel. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, fish boy. That's my opinion. <laughs> no, I, some of my good friends are fish police. <laughs> I think there's different levels to the fish police. <laughs> yep. I like, hate the, the, like the real police, some of the fish police are wrong too. <laughs> I hate the fish police that simply attack people. I don't see that too much though. I don't really see that. I've seen it. Is it is it on like Facebook, lot, you see Facebook it. group? <laughs> It's a lot of Facebook okay. stuff. Yeah. A lot of Facebook stuff too. I'm into that. So, what would you rank this, uh, Anthony? <laughs> now, keep in I'll mind uh, three. Three. Okay. Three, <laughs> because it's more of a like the, hey man, it's cool. Just don't get too close to me. Ah, oh, you got too close. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get I don't know. That sounds like a boy. Hey, that's a wonderful police song right there. <laughs> Nothing better than policing the fish police. I think I'm going to go with two on this one. I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, it could get out of hand. But then again, some of, it's, some of it is warranted. So I'm, I'm going to definitely go with uh, number two. It's not, it's not level one, but it's not level three. <laughs> and he says the Facebook fish police are the worst. <laughs> yeah, I stay away from there. And he, in my opinion, I, I see I see a lot of uh, bad social media policing. I, I see it on Reddit too, and a lot of a lot of times on Reddit is just like hive mind mentality. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to say this because everyone else says this, and I'm going to get my upvotes on it. <laughs> so let's see here, Chattanooga Ed. Number one, I like the uh, aquarium cup. 
See? <laughs> yeah, on this one, I think I'm going to have to go with, uh, let's see here. Find the right level here. Okay. Everyone said one. <laughs> no. Totally got this. Totally got this. <laughs> But yeah, like I mean, there is definitely do, do, totally different levels of fish place. If if they're attacking people, I, I would agree with Anthony and probably raise it to level five. I guess it depends. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to say for the most part, when people are trying to correct people, sometimes they get labeled as fish cops because they, they're fish police because they they don't want to listen. They don't want to hear what they're what the people are saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, off to the next one. <laughs> which is actually going to be a set of them. Now keep in mind, uh, one of them is going to lead to another. So the first one is going to be the least amount. And then the last one is going to be, of course, more extreme. Um, I could do this in two different ways for you guys. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, I could show you both of them slides before we rank them, or I could just show them slide and rank one and then go to the next one. Let me know. What, you, what, do, you, what do you think, Jesse? Should I show them both and go from there? Yeah. I'm curious you show them both. Show them both? Okay. Now, keep, keep in mind, I'm going to show both, but don't don't rank on these yet. Uh, here's the first one. Tank springs a leak. And the second part of that is going to be tank bursts. Okay. So let's start, let's start with uh, springing a leak. Um, I'm probably going to say a four. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I see why the chip we, was a three now. Was it? I said I could see why the chip was a three now. I probably should put chip with this. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if it's if it's a leak, um, I, I think it's four because yeah, it's definitely a problem. You you probably already have water all over the floor, and it's going to be a matter of actually t tearing apart that tank and getting a fish out of there and going from there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Easy four. Yep. Easy four. Easy four. I'm guessing this is definitely going to be an easy four. Um, still waiting. On, okay, Cody Sin says four. Streetwise would say five immediately. Uh, I could totally see how it could be five for some people. See, and that's why I said showing both of them would help because uh, yeah. showing the other one puts this one in perspective. Yeah, I think I think both of them would probably be a level five according to my wife, though. Oh yeah. I probably wouldn't be keeping any more fish if that was the case. Oops, wrong order. There, <laughs> level four for tank springs a leak. <laughs> That's it what sounds I like you need to start building some plywood tanks, but you need to tell her, hey, sorry, sweetheart, they don't come smaller than at least like eight feet long, but they won't leak. They won't leak. Yeah, of course, uh, Priscilla's worse things than tank leaks can happen. Yep. Especially the next one, the tank bursts. Ooh. And Chad is going too. Okay. Leaks are easy. That's tank bursts. Tank bursts, not so much. <laughs> tank burst, it's pretty much your, your whole tank's out on the floor. Your fish are flopping on the floor, and you have substrate just kind of crunching all over the place. I'm definitely going five on this one. Yeah, I've got to be. Five. <laughs> LRB does need a leak detection kit. <laughs> do you guys see? Do you see LRB's uh, video with his tank leak? No. Uh -oh. No. Well, uh, I think it was his 240 spring leak. I heard about it. Yeah. Five. Definitely a five. Uh, yeah. That's 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 one of my next plans is getting a leak detection kit myself. So <laughs> don't have one of those yet, but it's in the plans. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be definitely an easy five, especially considering the last one was four. <laughs> da -bum -bum. Gotta get out of here. And number two, next one. Well, not number two. I don't know why I said number two, but the next slide. That's what I meant to say. Get a new fish and it gets bullied. Get a new fish and gets bullied. 
be put in the tank and all of a sudden it's just kind of being chased around, bullied, or it's hiding and something that you have to take care of. I'll go with a three. I mean, I could handle it because I have a lot of tanks, so I could just move it, but it kind of does suck when it, your plans didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Yeah. They go with the two. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing Deb may go, Deb went one. <laughs> Priscilla, number one, just get a new tank for the new fish. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, yeah, I mean, if you have plenty of room for new tanks, that works. Moving works too. Codison's number two. Uh, <laughs> Number one, no one likes a weak fish. Mm. Two or three, depending on the transfer tanks you have. Uh, me, personally, I'd probably say three, uh, primarily because I wouldn't have anywhere to move it. Um, uh, I, I had an issue with one of my multis where uh, the multis were kind of uh, going at it. One of them was getting bullied. I actually I, I ran that over to Aquaball's house and gave it to him. So... Um, <laughs> Number two, give the bully a timeout. If that works. Looks like we're getting a bunch of ones and twos. Um, yeah, I say two. <laughs> Especially if it's a breeding pair and you want them to breed instead of fighting with each other. That kind of escalates it. Because then. Yeah. As much as I want to say three on this one, all I'm seeing is a bunch of ones and twos. Mm. Gonna be between a one and a two. I'm um, saying threes, a lot of ones. So, hmm. Let's see here. Streetwise lesson learned. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think it's something that I totally got. But yeah, I'm gonna go with number two on this one. Primarily because yeah, it could be dealt with, where it could be barely noticed. Unlike you're like me, I, 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 can't, I can't fix this situation because I can't really go out in another tank. Uh, the tank island I have running right now is kind of one I just put up personally, and that's for uh, because I got the fish that were smaller, but uh, off to number, number, whatever this number is. And, of course, this kind of correlates to the bullied one. This new fish doesn't make it. Now, this, of course, could be because it didn't make it for whatever reason, but your new fish that you just got didn't make it. Are we talking doesn't make it home or doesn't make it after you put it in the tank? At any point, at any point, whether it's in the tank or whether you're taking it home. And it, plus it kind of depends on how, for me, like how hard it is to get another one. So I'm going to base it off of that. Like it, it was something that's kind of hard to get. And so I would say four. Four. Yeah. What'd you say? Uh, it? it really depends for me too, because I do both fresh and salt water, and a lot of the places for salt water don't have guarantees. Okay, let's let's just assume that there is no guarantees, and you're just your new fish doesn't make it. <laughs> just just for uh, go with four. Four. Let's see here. Chattanooga likes bears. I don't know if that's a rating or not, but he likes beers. <laughs> hey, Sandy, how's it going? And hello, uh, Big J. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Okay, see you later, uh, Zen Ginger. Uh, thanks for uh, joining up until now. Hey, Zen. I hope your fish make it, Zen. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony told the truth. It's uh, four. <laughs> So it looks like uh, people are agreeing with Jesse and Anthony on this one. So, I mean, I, 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 I could really go either way. I mean, especially if it's a fish that I really, really wanted and really, really would have enjoyed. And it's like, it's, it's so it's one of those things where it's like, okay, it's, it's sad that you put in the tank and it didn't make it. Um, Chattanooga is like number one. Deb Hulse is four. Priscilla, one. I think Priscilla's just saying one to everything. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I had two. 
Priscilla <laughs> thinks she's the um, chocolate ice cream emoji. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore their votes already. <laughs> Let's see. Let me... Dead fish is just there. <laughs> I don't know. Most 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 of my fish I keep would be just the little tiny snacks. Uh, uh, Even guppies at That's not fair. Let's see, that's not fair. <laughs> Whoever said life is fair, yeah. I I'm gonna screw up that line from Princess Bride. <laughs> just trying to tell sell you something. see any other takers on this one let's see <laughs> my rainbow shark gets along with the yo-yo loach ignores dot dot sinkless and monos can't be bullied uh, tell that to my golden top minnows <laughs> okay priscilla let's see before i show off the ranking if the fish doesn't make it it doesn't make it if not oh well Mm. Yeah, but what if you like have to ship it in and your friend only had those two and it's really hard to get? It sucks, man. Especially with shipping costs. Guppies are great in salad. <laughs> Especially with the cost of uh, saltwater fish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That'd be, I bet you guppies taste gross. Oh, uh, there's this boy. <laughs> Doesn't make it hurts way less than a jumper. Yeah, I, 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 uh, has, uh, Way too front face. That sounds expensive, Nathan. Yeah, I, I, see, I, I kind of have a heart. If 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 a cardinal tetra doesn't make it, it, it still it still makes me sad inside. So I. That's that's how I see it. It's like, you no, know you put it in a tank, you get it, and it's like it didn't make it. And it's like, uh it's, it's a sad event. Um, yeah, I see Priscilla works at a fish store. She sees like fish die on a regular basis. So yeah, she's like a nice fish boy. So she's a little <laughs> colder. <laughs> yeah, she's I just... had a yellow ting die in about a week mm. after having it. So yeah, I would want to say four. Um, uh, looking at the ones and twos, I'd probably say two and a half. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to have to put a barely notice on this one, I think. Barely notice? Barely yeah. notice. <laughs> I mean, it's not a one, it's not a three. That's 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 where barely notice sits. Like, I think it really depends on the fish. Like, when I lost my, my bed on Macrostomos, I wouldn't call it a two. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, man. My pocket notices. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you try again. Like, okay, I'm gonna try one more time. So you spend yeah. more money, and then it dies again. I'm like, okay, I give up. Cardinals are Catholic, so they go to heaven. If it was a cardinal, I could, I could be two. A two sounds right. I mean, yeah, a cardinal one hit hot, hit your pocketbook, but I, I I still don't like seeing the deaths. It's just it's one of those things. It's like, oh man. And you kind of feel sad because you killed the fish. I'm like, ah. Uh. Okay, off to the next one. Someone buys a ten gallon for an Oscar. Someone buys a ten gallon for an Oscar. <laughs> you know, when was, I, was, I was in college. Goes, I did that. Also goes for any fish that are bigger than what the fish tanks or fish tank that's smaller than what the fish should possibly get. Well, are we talking smaller or are we talking extreme small like the thing says, like the event says? Pretty much extreme small. Even even if it's like even if you buy a tiny Oscar for it and it's just you have no plans to upgrade the kind of thing. I mean I'm I'm i I'm totally going with extreme extreme situations primarily because some people could handle like a smaller tank than what's suggested than that. So it's definitely extreme situations. I'm going to say two. 
Five. Uh, Deb Hall says five if they can't upgrade as needed. I I don't think it goes up to a level five because that's I mean it doesn't really affect me other than my feelings. Yeah. I'd go with the two because things aren't really on fire around me. It's more on fire around them. It just kind of stinks that they probably won't stay in the hobby. Yeah, what was Jesse's answer on that one? Two. Two. Because I've done it in college. <laughs> and the fish lasted for quite a long time. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, definitely not, not as long as it's supposed to, but. Yeah. Okay. I'm not like recommending it. Or anything. Definitely not recommend to get smaller tanks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll probably stick with the two on that as well. Uh, primarily because it's definitely not a good, a good position for the fish to be in. And it's just kind of definitely sinks for the fish. I'd probably raise it up to three, but primarily for that reason right there, it stinks for the fish. Um, oh, I've never noticed Sandy's um logo. Did you change it, or was it always that? It's a nice gold fish. Hmm. I, from what I've noticed, I think it's been that for a while. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to wait a, little, a few few more moments here to see if anyone in the chat wants to put anything up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely really bad if they can't upgrade. Uh, I'll start from 40 gallon. I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah. Um, five, that ain't cool. <laughs> <laughs> I try to watch and follow folks who don't. Uh, oh, wait. Sorry. I try to watch and follow fish who keep fish ethically. Um, yeah. Do I own complaints? <laughs> complaints about what? <laughs> What did we say for the fish police one? <laughs> <laughs> I forget what we called the fish police. I think <laughs> I think we said two. I think we said two as well. Uh, I know with the way with the way that the chat's going, I'm gonna have to bring this up. I think from what I think. Uh, yeah, I guess you could post a complaint if it's uh, within the realm of uh, what we're talking about. <laughs> Or the quality of the stream uh, viewing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I would say two. For the fish tanks, for the fish sakes, I'd probably bring it up higher. Let's see. Never had one to weigh, on, weigh in on this one. Well, let's just say they get big. Let's see. I don't know what the, I don't know what that is. PPS versus e, EI. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? Oh, uh, it's it's ways. It's different forms of uh, dosing your tank with verts. Uh, there's L, EI dosing, or there's PPS, which is something per, 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 per perpetual systems. Uh, uh, one, I think you just uh, alternate days. It's just different. This it's something that you have to Google. It's different methods of uh, dosing your efforts. Okay. That's that. That's what that is. And Danikin's definitely with uh, with in the Oscars. Okay. For the fish sakes, I'm probably gonna raise this higher than. Uh, our job is to take care of the fish. Okay. For the fish's sakes, um gonna go with somewhere in between where we're saying and the chat saying uh i don't think i don't think the panel's gonna agree with this but for the fish's sake i mean yeah i know i, I know it's it's not something i deal with but i'm gonna bring this up to level four it's primarily for the fish's sake uh 
I mean, if you're if you're if you're gonna buy fish, you definitely have to you definitely have to keep an eye. On, okay, how big is this fish gonna get? Am I gonna be able to upgrade in the future? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that uh, that Arowana might look good right now in a 55 gallon, but you're definitely gonna need the room to actually grow up into a much 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 higher 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 tank volume for that. And <laughs> indoors might not even cut that cut some of these fish. So that's where I'm gonna. I think the panel could agree with that, me on that one. Sounds okay. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Ratio one to three. <laughs> Let's see here. Give me one moment here. I just need to weigh in on something here if I could find it here. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> so anyways, we have another... I'll go with one or three. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I could go either way. Um, but for fish to six, I'm gonna go level four on the Oscar and the ten gallon. Okay. Um. So this this one's gonna be another. This one's gonna be another series of them, where of course I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the slides in regards to that. That way, we I think we get a good uh, good judgment on this. Um, and Jesse's gone for the moment, but I'm I'm pretty sure he could catch up on this. Um, first slide on that is going to be water changes. Of course, this is something we have to do. Some people might like it, so it might might rank zero for some people. And of course, you have to, I think this is also suggested by Anthony on this one uh, earlier, is basically bucket water changes. And to keep up with the theme, in terms of generality of uh, the question, is basically bucket water changes for a large tank, meaning 50 gallons or higher. Because of course, some tanks you could definitely deal definitely with a bucket water change, and others is just definitely going to be a a uh, large large. So basically, uh, rating for water changes. Uh, general subject, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to definitely have an easy one on this one, I think. That's a one for me. One for you. That's something I knew about getting into the hobby, so. It's something that gets, um, that's the, the way I have my water changes set up, it's a one for me now. Yeah, that's definitely an easy one for me. Cody Sin, number one. <laughs> I would have quit Python. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you don't make water changes easy, it's definitely one of those things where it becomes a level five. Uh, if you don't set a schedule and stick to it, it, it becomes a level five. But overall, yeah, level one. <laughs> uh, okay, just what is it? Uh, this uh, just kit just catch you up. This is another series of them, Jesse. So to give you a good uh, judgment call. Uh, this is the first one, which is water changes. Next one up is going to be bucket water changes. And the next one up from that is going to be bucket water changes for a large tank, meaning 50 <laughs> gallons or higher. So right now we're, we're ranking uh, water changes. Uh, what level would you rank water changes on this one? I would say one because we all have to do it all the time. Yeah. I think on this one, I think it's pretty uh, pretty consensus on this one. Uh, I don't see any. <laughs> That's easy to say, Dave and Anthony. Come on over to Uncle Kenny's house. I'll make you say five by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if you if if you have a large number of tanks, it definitely raises the levels. Uh, in general, though, uh, I'm, this keep in mind is going to be generally speaking. I mean, there's definitely there's definitely ways to make your water changes easier, especially with a lot of a lot a lot of tanks. You could set up like auto water changers, so that makes yeah. it easy. The thing is, he has a lot of large tanks. Ah, auto water change system. <laughs> yeah, if they take a long time to fill, you might stop watching, and then you probably have to like overfill it once in a while. Yeah, but. There, there's there's ways to set up systems for that. Yeah, although you mind if I go off on that real quick? Uh, Kenny, I don't know if you saw, I think it was Aquarium 
co-op or maybe a KG Tropicals. I actually forgot who it was, but they had a little uh, alarm sensor. So as soon as the water level reached and it would connect the two probes to short them out, it would create a pretty loud um, buzz. And I'd like to look for those and get some of those myself. You can I, also I have you, one. Can, you can also get a smart timer hose faucet and then set that up with one of those uh, level things that sends a signal when it gets too high and have it automatically shut off as well. Hmm. So there, there's there's definitely ways to fix the issue. I have the um, I don't work. Think, You're gonna have to send me a link on that, Dave. Later. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, I mean, it's just I, that's still something I need to look into as well. But there's there's people that do that. Is it easy to like use it on a bunch of tanks still, or is it kind of like for your one tank? I mean, you're it's. I'm sure you set it up on multiple tanks, but I mean, you probably just want to use it on a, one of the systems. You just kind of set it on the tank that you're filling at the moment, and yeah, and go so, one so by one. It, so is it easy to transfer then? Like take it from uh, one you, tank to another? You, there's always ways around it. It's real easy to transfer. Mm. Yeah. It's just a matter of just thinking of a way to do it. And that's pretty much <laughs> do it. YouTube streams have caused a lot of overfillings, just saying. Yeah. yeah. But that that's, I mean, the easy way to do it is exactly what uh, Anthony said and just get that alarm sensor. That That solves it. Uh, so on, on water changes in general, yeah, I, I think I think on this it's gonna be an easy level one. Totally got this. Which brings us to the next one, <laughs> which is going to be bucket water changes. Personally, I personally I would say if you're talking about like smaller tanks below 50 gallons, I'd probably say one. I have no problem lugging a bucket from where I go. And this is just speaking in terms of me just having a few tanks. It's not a big deal for me. I do the bucket ones on my, my multis all the time. Of course, though, this big one behind me, I, I don't. I, I, do a, I do a water pump. Yeah, no. Yeah. But hurt me. So, I mean... Hmm. I guess relatively though it's um it's a two just because the other one was a one and it's a, little, a lot more humbug. <laughs> yeah, I, I could totally see that. I, I mean, I could totally go that way too. I mean, it's just it's not as easy as um, doing no water change, but it's something that you have to do. And there's always an easier way to set up things as well. So I always kind of trip out that people still use buckets. So, like when I hear like that's how they change all of their aquariums, I'm like, really? Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> when they have multiple aquariums, right? Yeah. Here, here's Cody said, seventeen tanks, change all with a bucket, so one. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's nuts. See, <laughs> Cody's one of them. One. <laughs> Why don't you use a python to? Well, I will or at least put it in the bucket. I'll like see. Drain it. My tank setup, uh, my uh, multi tank probably won't do well with uh, Python just because of where it's located. Uh, I don't like running, I don't like running hoses across the floor, especially with my two boys running around. Mm. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm with Jesse just because we labeled bucket water changes one. I think this one does go to two. Uh, what, what do you say, Anthony? I said two. Two. Uh, so, okay. So Debbie Hall says one. Dev Hall says one. Big Tank four, which is probably with her uh, ranking on the next one. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't trust a Python and Prime until I had to. I couldn't carry buckets any longer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, Prime. I'm throwing throwing water conditioner into the. Aquarium as the water's flowing in there. It has worked for me. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Priscilla says, oh, my God, buckets never again. So, so Priscilla, what would you rank just regular bucket changes on a small tank? <laughs> you mean she's actually not going to vote a number one for once? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melvin, how's it going?
Uh, I'd be curious what Priscilla says on this one. <laughs> if she's going to rank it at all. Now, now it's a five. She stopped ranking because I teased her about seeing her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think. I think. I think I'd be happy with. Uh, I think I'd be happy with two on this one. Hey, Melvin. Barely noticed. No, I think this is the first time I've seen Melvin in a while on my my stream, especially being this late. Uh, as a kid, I probably spilled enough water to warp floors. Hmm. Okay, off to the next one, which is going to be bucket water changes for a large tank. Large, large tank. <laughs> Priscilla says 500. <laughs> I've done that for like a 55 gallon salt water tank. The only way to do it is kind of with buckets. Mm. Uh, five gallon. I'm, and when I say buckets, I'm talking about these little Homer buckets. <laughs> yeah. You see, when I do my saltwater tanks, I do it with a trash can. The big one, the rubber meat yeah. one. And that, do you put in? Do you do you how do you get them in? Do you use like a a plug and pump to pump it in, or yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's the right. That's good. I use the same pump I use to mix it. Nice. Yeah, I I think I think I'm with Deb on this one, number five. <laughs> Which is it really depends on how big you're talking because you're saying large. For me, large tanks are like 125 plus. And then you got your massive tanks that are more like, you know, 300 gallons. Yeah, Where, 300 is a lot. Yeah. How can you ever do that with a bucket? Yeah. <laughs> See, I've done this with buckets before. And that's taking multiple multiple bucket trips. I that's that's why I say it. it's just it's just a pain in the neck to lug all those buckets. When How you big is that tank? Uh, this is a sixty. Oh, okay. So it technically holds about fifty three gallons of water. So, hey, Lazarus Fish Boy, how's it going? Hey, Les. So what 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 would you uh, say, Anthony? I'll go with the floor. Floor. Jesse? Mm. I'll say three. Three? Yep. Codyson's done a 300 with buckets. I'm done the 300 with buckets. Yeah, that's... <laughs> How big are your buckets, though, Codyson? How big are your buckets? <laughs> see. Just Priscilla, Priscilla put a python in her pump. Okay, um let me see here. Let me let me find it here. Give me a second here. I'll show you exactly how I do mine. I don't know if any mods are available to look for this, but I do the I do a similar thing, but it's not a, with a Python, it's just a pump with uh, hoses. Um if I could eh, let me go to my channel and go from there. Um, if if a mod finds it first, great. If not Let's see here. I'll probably find it in a second. <laughs> yeah, which is how I do water changes. Uh, okay. Let's hit the ips. That's not what I wanted. I don't want to play it. Okay. I want to share it. Okay. So I will post a link to mine, how I do it. Uh, all I do is I put a pump with a hose in a bucket. I have the bucket in my tub, and I pump water to the tank. And then with siphoning action, it just pumps out the water into my tub. So I don't even have to pump out the water. It just siphons out, primarily because my tank is higher than where my tub is. And then when I fill it, all I do is just uh, turn on the water into the bucket, and I just pump the water from the bucket inside my tub. But yes, pumps are a way to go. So uh, let's see, where are we at on this one? Uh, I say five, four. Three, and a, three, three four. Uh, let's see, two. We have two in there. 
Um, not a two, not a one, not a. Th I, I, th I think I can live with four on this one. So I'm going to go with four on this one. But pump is definitely a way to go if you don't have a Python. But <laughs> level four on this one. Why okay. Do you Okay, off to the next bigger one. Tolliver Gallon style is going on. You go buy a new tank, you get home and you break the tank. <laughs> uh, this sucks. Five. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> well, you said dollar per gallon, so so I'm gonna oh, ignore a uh, twenty nine gallon or less. So I'll go with the. Forget I said dollar per gallon. Just just assume it's a tank that you bought and you spent money on. Five. <laughs> yeah, not too much. You gotta clean the glass up. <laughs> yeah, you have to clean the glass. You probably you'll accidentally step into some glass. And then at this point, you probably had specific plans for that tank, so you still got to go get another one. And that's going to hurt as well. You have to go out and get another one. Have you seen our Red Fish, Blue Fish's recent series on? <laughs> that, of course, isn't totally his fault, though. So that's he's, not his fault. He's, he's pissed. He would say five. <laughs> <laughs> I think on this, I would say five, too. If, if, I, if I went out to the store, bought a tank, and broke it <laughs> yeah i don't care whose fault it is <laughs> it sucks <laughs> yeah i mean yeah ha having to deal with that over and over again that definitely that would definitely is like mm -hmm. that's why i probably would not buy any uh that's why i probably wouldn't buy tanks online i mean i can't believe they're just putting it in a box they're putting the box in, in the box and shipping it that way it's well, crazy in a box i mean i i could see putting it in a box but they're really not offering any protection inside the box either yeah, they're not putting any padding. They're just a box in a they're, box. They're, no, no, no. They're putting padding in there, just on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah right. In the wrong area. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just on the top. <clears throat> no, maybe, maybe just, just did you see Streetwise uh, text on the uh, blue, blue redfish, bluefish? Yeah, yeah. Because I was just mentioning he was just ready at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he, I think he is numb to it, but I, yeah. I, I think he should just keep on going and see how long it takes him to get one that is not broken. I know. I mean, I'm sure he's getting his money back, right? So. Yeah, yeah, obviously. It's, but it, now it's a hassle to deal with. Like, what is he gonna do with this? All this crap. <laughs> <laughs> Cut so. it up and save the glass. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This, this is, this is totally gonna be demoralizing. You buy the tank, you get home, so. Uh, yeah, I think on this one, this one can definitely be a five, just because you, you don't want to be in that situation. I mean, yeah, you go out and buy a new tank, you can clean up the glass, but it's just, it's just, it gets frustrating. Uh, it needs to go feed the puffer. Okay. Oh, I need to go feed my puffer too. <laughs> 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 oh, instead of a small crayfish to me, you must be kind of mad. Okay, here, here's one I think we could all relate to. Endless spending of money. That's, a, that's just part of life. <laughs> it's just part of it. I see. Two, I barely notice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I, I, I think this is uh, I'm not rich, so it's definitely not a one. <laughs> My pocketbook hurts when I can continue this endless spending of money. So yeah, I think I think I'm with Jesse, but I'm probably gonna raise it up to like two and a half, where it's kind of in a situation where this is fine, but the walls are burning around me. But uh, yeah, yeah. it's more of a three for me. Yeah, it's especially when you do something like splurge and buy a twelve a uh, twenty. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then you forget that you have to do other things like buy some plywood to put on the mm -hmm. shelves for that rack. Yeah. That do the dollar per gallon sale is pretty, pretty tricky. <laughs> oh, 20 gallon, 20 gallon, dollar, uh, 20 gallon tank for $20. Yeah. 
four hundred dollars later. <laughs> yeah, I say a three. Three. Anyone else in the chat? <laughs> Endless spending of money. What would you say, guys? Two, three, lower, higher. <laughs> if three. I not buying this stuff, it's a one. And then when I look at it later, it's like, oh crap. Yeah, it's a yeah, three. definitely, definitely. When you're in the spending mode, it's always, I got this. <laughs> Danny get one. Okay. Have a good night, Danny. Ken. Enjoy your upcoming trip. If I don't talk to you, then. But I'm sure you probably will be here, be here and there. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm with Dev on this. I think I'm gonna go up to three on this one, just because my pocketbook does definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> Too broke to spend money. Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I. Th I think. I think. I think on this one, I'm gonna go three. Just because. <laughs> just because it it, it 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 does it does hurt the pocketbook. It does create questions when your wife asks you, okay, where's all your money going? <laughs> <laughs> and this one's kind of co-related. Uh, this, this has to go with, uh, this has to go out to uh, Cody Sin on this one. No money. <laughs> you no. want to buy things, but you have no money. <laughs> That'll be a four. Four. <laughs> Because, I mean, I, you'll eventually get more money, so you'll just have to wait. But it sucks not to have it right when you need it. But I mean, you really, really want to buy that fish right now, and you have no money. And it's one of those things where you can't ever get. <laughs> this is the one opportunity, but you don't have the money for it. Uh, yeah, that would be a five. But I, I probably, in general speaking, I'd probably, I'd probably go with between three and four as well on that one. I'd go for four. Four. I mean, I could definitely go into four in that one. Just because it, 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 it's not good being broke and wanting to be buying fish stuff. Uh, some of that stuff could get pricey. Especially some of the fish out there. <laughs> uh, Cody said, too, I'm used to it. Uh, just never getting used to it. I'm not demoralized yet. <laughs> Let's see here. Two or three for Priscilla. Deb says four. Mm. This might be another one of those one things I'm going to have to put in between the chat and the panel. Let's see here. Mm. One of those things that could probably definitely go either way. I know a guy. <laughs> Who knows a guy? For the fish hookup, ask James. There it is. <laughs> are are doing backstreet deals now? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, for me, it definitely would be a four. Uh, but I think I'll put this one as a uh, number three. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh what uh, oh come on is it was wrong for me too <laughs> off to the next one i'll be right back okay too much food by accident now this is your feeding your tank and you accidentally put too much food in because this there the next slide is kind of correlated but kind of different but too much food by accident. What would you put this as? And I'm eating a lot of too much food. <laughs> Hold on, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, you're you're kind of like tipping over the, you're tipping over like thing, and all of a sudden a bunch falls out. Which is something I don't recommend doing is don't grab the don't grab the thing and then pour it. In. Yeah, you see, I don't do that. But you actually do that one day because you're lazy. <laughs> And you the, the, the tanks I do that with is pretty much just my Africans, and that's just because there's a bunch of them. So if it does, 
pour out quite a bit, it still gets eaten. Yeah, I think I'm with Cody. So I'd say I go two on this one primarily because a fish would eat it, and b I could clean it up. Yeah, I go with the one just because. Um, you're right there when you're feeding the fish, so you're gonna see it, so you can clean it up. Uh, I say three because I have to clean it up. <laughs> three. That's that's kind of why I go with two, is because you yeah, have to clean it up. Because uh, with these guys right here, they probably would eat it all, but it's not something I don't want them to eat them all. <laughs> and I don't have any snails in this one to eat, fit, fit, eat the food. Let's see what the chat says. So far, I see a couple twos. So on this one, I think, eh, I think I think on this one, I could be happy with what I'm going to put it as. But I'm going to probably wait a moment. Oh, oh it's been a while since I actually actually did that. <laughs> but I, I can see how I, I can actually do it. But I'm going to probably go. Da, 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 da. Depends on how much time you have when it happens. <laughs> Just even for vacation, you feed on. I'm like, no, oh! no. But yeah, in general, I think I think I think I'm gonna be happy with two on this one. I I really don't think it's gonna be a level one because basically I would have to deal with it. I would have to clean it up. So definitely a level two, I think, on this one. <laughs> Streetwise, we'll go with Jesse on this one. No wait. Not Jesse. With Anthony on this one, say one. <laughs> okay, this one's probably gonna be a little bit higher on the level level, which is going to be, you go out of town, you get someone at, on vacation to feed your fish, and next you know it, vacation feeder overfeeds. Plants. <laughs> I don't have plants in here either, so. <laughs> what would you say on this, guys? Mm. You're on vacation in your vacation feeder, whether it be a mechanical one or someone you have feed feed them for you. What would you say on this one? I mean, that's definitely a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, and, and it's hopeless too because you're away. You can't do anything about it. You won't know until you get back. So, unless you uh, have a video tape on a video camera on your tank, so but I'm assuming it caused issues because it was overfeeding to the point that it was problematic so i would say four or five four or five for if, they killed, if they killed a bunch of your fish definitely could happen especially depending on how many tanks mm. yeah mm. yeah my mom got genuinely like pissed off at me um when i told her she wasn't allowed to feed my fish i go on vacation <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna let him starve. Yep, it's better than better. you. Yeah. <laughs> that could crash and kill. Five for Deb. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I want to say four in this one. Ah, but yeah, it's it's that one issue where you're you're on vacation and depending on when it gets overfed too, it could cause. A lot, a lot, a lot of issues. Ooh. Codison's going four. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to stick with four in mine. Although as much as I want to go to five, but it's definitely a why, why me kind of situation. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Definitely a good suggestion, Priscilla. Only have other fish keepers feed my stuff, like my boss. Definitely get people what they're doing. And uh, another another thing I do is I typically don't feed my fish when I'm on vacation. But then I don't go on vacation for long, long, long extended periods of time. And I really don't have any fish that really need to be fed that much. What would you say? What what, what, did, what did you say on this one, Jesse? Four or five? I say four or five. Yeah. I, I have my dad or my brother come over, um, mm -hmm. but only like once or twice when I'm on vacation, not like every day. Yeah. yeah. Definitely don't have them every day. Another another suggestion I always hear is uh, get little baggies and set it, set them up each day. Mm -hmm. Warm, pre-warm pre, pre, uh, pre 
sort <laughs> pre amount the bags. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, with all the problems it could cause, uh, I think on this one, uh, since I don't hear any other numbers, I'm probably gonna have to go four on this one. As much as I really, really think it can become a level five. Uh, Never happens to me. Only thing that happens with me is spending so much, but at the end of the day, rewarding. Good idea, Codyson. Get, yeah. get your relatives into the into the hobby. <laughs> the coop brought up uh, using uh, ONIP tabs for vacation feeding, but what I really don't like about that is hmm. A lot of people put stuff on their hands, especially people who aren't fish keepers, and I don't want them sticking their hands yeah. in my aquariums. That's the last thing you want as well, is you don't know if they're gonna wash their hands after they put their hand sanitizer or whatnot, or perfume on it, or their hand hand lotion, sunscreen. Yep. Yeah, there's there are certain people who get really pissed when you put um when people put their hands in your t in their tanks. I forgot who that was. But yeah, certain people are like that. Yeah, They're like, don't touch my tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely, you don't want to put your hands in the tank when they're dirty. And some some people who don't don't are, aren't aware of the issues that could cause if you have like stuff on your hands. It it mm -hmm. creates problems. <laughs> people still buy nip tabs. <laughs> I haven't bought them in a while. I haven't bought them in a while either, and I have like a bottle about. Three quarters of the way full. I bought a few bottles of different ones before the thing changed. Yeah, I stopped using because I it always created a mess at the bottom of my gravel. That okay. just means you need more fish in there. <laughs> it's hard to lot of fish in there. <laughs> five big straight up five. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nathan, I, I think I'd go to five on that one, but I'm going to go with level four on this one. Uh, so next one is going to be something that some people don't mind and some people despise. Uh, good for nitrate sucking up, but otherwise it's hard to clean up. Duckweed. How would you rank duckweed? Especially when you accidentally spread it on every single tank you own. Yeah, I have a duckweed issue actually. It, it, is a, it is a pain. Yeah, I hate it. I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, it is beneficial, but like I, I, I have, I sell out of my tanks, my my tubs, right? I have to catch the fish out. Yeah, so the duckweeds just in the way. I can't see them in, so I'm catching duckweed while I'm catching the fish. It's just a bother, and then I have to like clean it out every once in a while. I should say five. <laughs> what my talk about? That's five. <laughs> I just complained a lot and I said three. <laughs> it has its uses, but I don't like it. Yeah, it definitely has its uses. Good as a nitrate sponge, but it is a pain in the neck to uh, get out of it. Uh, luckily, I, I'm duckweed free at the moment, so. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> this tank will never have a duckweed problem. <laughs> mm. All the Maguna and all the service ag agitation would make it hard to survive. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade to a four as well. Three was too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say five? <laughs> I'd say a four. 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 <laughs> I'm going to say four as much as I want to say five, but four just because it has its uses. Uh, a, yes, you can make food out of it. Uh, you can feed it to your goldfish. Uh, any fish like Mabunas that would eat the uh, plant life, uh, Big J of course loves it. <laughs> yeah, I still have, I still want to have it. I don't want to get rid of all of my duckweed. Uh, and that's the thing of you saying it's spread to every tank you have, because I think uh, a lot of people know how much I have in my tubs. <laughs> yeah. And that was definitely on purpose. Yeah. Akaval's trying to get try to give me some duckweed, but I'm like, nope. <laughs> I picked all that stuff out before it spread. <laughs> and luckily it's just done a duckweed. <laughs> some people ask me for like guppy weed and stuff, and I'm like, okay, you might get some duckweed in it too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, so four, four, four. Uh, some people love it. 
Uh, let's see. Priscilla says five. Uh, hmm. Ah, okay, what to rate this? Uh, I mean, yeah, it could be definitely three, but for the sake of it, I'm going four. I mean, there is definitely a lot of uses for it, but it could be definitely a lot of pain when it gets into your filters, gets uh, gets all over your plants that you don't want it in. It's, yeah. one of those things, it's one of those things where you love it, but you hate it kind of things. Especially red root floater. You don't want duckweed with that stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's see. A5. Let's see here. Okay, off to the next one. Banned species. They said I'm banned. Hmm. This is in terms of plants as well as fish, so feel free to consider both. I think it depends on what it's banned for, but... Let's say you're the most responsible fish keeper and it will never get released onto the wild by any means. Yeah, but you could have like a hurricane and it could blow your whole setup into the river because you live next to a river. Hmm. That could get into the system. That would be part of a responsible keeping, though, is thinking of stuff like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Watch your language, Jesse. Oh, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard one. I've seen number one, but for legal reasons, five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would say okay, this is just hypothetical. So I would say three because three. Uh, there's still ways. If you really want to get it, you can still get it. Um, and of course, you want to be responsible about it. But then you always kind of have to like think about it not being legal. Yeah. So. Oh, by the way, Priscilla. Um, um, they made uh, axolotls legal in California now, so you can go ahead and send them. <laughs> are, are you lying? <laughs> are you joking? No. Wait. No, are you? Oh, he's, he's just trying yeah. to get axolotl. That kind of stuff just doesn't happen. They don't like make something legal. Once it's illegal, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why would they ever like? Why would they ever do that? Like, oh, okay, never mind. Now you can have it. I mean, there, there's some things that, especially in the U.S., there's some things that are illegal that probably I'm like, okay, why are they illegal? I mean, you have the red arowanas where I'm like, if, if it's caught properly, it, I mean, not caught, but if it's raised properly, I don't see the issue why it's illegal. Yeah. If, if it's why, raised, yeah, why not other types of ones, right? I mean, if it's farm raised, I, I don't see a problem with it. Now, if they're going on the wild catching it, then I can see it's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, hmm. Mm. Yeah, this this is almost a controversial question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is definitely a tough one because yeah, I really want to say one, but there's always the other side effects like what you said, Jesse, and as well as streetwise. My apartment had four feet of water from Irene in 2011. My tank flooded out right down the river. Man, that's horrible. How would you prevent that, though? I mean, would there be any ways to actually mitigate the risks that? Like, oh, no, storm's going to kill this fish. <laughs> well, let's, well, let's say you're in an area that's not prone to floods in a million years. <laughs> a million years. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Because uh, I'm in a hundred year a uh, hundred year flood zone, so it's I am too. relatively <laughs> safe. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Ah, uh, uh, see ones, twos. Okay, I I I, th I think I got I think I got the perfect rating for this one. I think I'm going to put this at this level, primarily because yeah, I mean yeah, it's it's fine, 
but it could definitely be problematic. Yeah, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go level three because it, it, I mean, there's, re I mean, bringing it down to one can be being really responsible about it and making sure you're responsible. I mean, some, some, some fish could be fives because they're invasive, and the most responsible fish keeper could have problems with that as well. So it's 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 a large large range. So for, for most, I would probably say one. Uh, in general speaking, one. But definitely level three in terms of if you actually look at all the aspects to everything. So, yeah, and there's always so many different things you can keep instead. So, just because yeah, you can't have this one thing, you, there's, there's other cool stuff. Yeah. Big J says number one. <laughs> That's stuff that came in. Hmm. Yeah, the stuff that came in large ships with water ballast. I know the Great Lakes had the issue with those um, mollusks uh, traveling to the Great Lakes uh, Channel from the ocean. That that's a, you also have those flying catfish in there as well. That's a big, big invasive problem. Uh, that's that's the one thing you want to prevent is invasive species uh, species overtaking the uh, waterways. <laughs> so, off to the next one. Do you want to buy a fish? But it's hard to find. You, you want to fish, but it's hard to find the fish that you want. Hmm. What level would you rank this? This one hits me quite often. <laughs> <laughs> now, keep in mind, uh, this is in terms of how much you hate this. I mean, yeah, you can be fine. Okay, I don't get that fish. I'm, fi I'm totally fine with it, so it's a one. But I'm speaking in terms of how much you hate this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <clears throat> From one to five. What was four again? Oh, why me, right? Why me, yes. Yeah. I would say between a three and a four. Three and a four? Yeah. If you had to say specifically, which number would you be leaning more towards? I'd go with a four. four. Yeah, because it does, it's, it's, it's a little annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But then I think ah, I can always focus on something else, but come back to it when it appears. Mm, Big J has one. I'm wondering what he has. <laughs> Three to four. Yeah, I mean, if I really want to fish and it's really, really hard to find and I can never find it, I'm going to be really, really disappointed that I can't find <clears> it. <throat> so I think I'm going to agree with the whole panel and say four. I, I could I could see how people could say it's three because it's definitely not the end of the world, but it's 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 definitely a frustrating aspect, of it, which is why I say four. By the way, how was your killifish doing? That um that blue one? Not well. <laughs> not well. Oh man. <laughs> no, no. I, I I had a hot spell and it was too in too much sun. So also, you don't I, have them anymore. What? You don't have them anymore? No. Oh man. That's something I, I need. I need to look for a better place to put my tubs. Mm. And uh, so was that hard to get, or you can get some more later? I can right? get some more. Oh, okay. I I got I got find more once I get my tub situation situated out. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say a four, just because you said it's just how much you hate it. I mean that that's pretty much the subject on it. It's, it's how much you hate it. Oh. Doesn't cause an actual problem, but I sure not hate problematic, it. but it's just how much you hate it. That's that's pretty much the goal of this, which I probably should have stressed that earlier in the stream. Five hundred phone calls. <laughs> no, I got it. So, what would you say, Priscilla? <laughs> I think she's a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big J doesn't have that problem, but. Uh, If they're hard to find, my LFS finds, we're buying it. I, I, I've actually had LFS to say they can't find it. But on the other hand, I, I, I've had LFS, oh yeah, we found it. But some stuff they can't even get in because their suppliers don't have it. And, and that is a highly regional thing too as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I, think, I, think, I think I know where I'm going to rate this one. Uh, 
primarily because it's it's a frustrating thing that I, I really don't like in this hobby. Uh, it's just frustrating when you can't find it. So, uh, uh, Deb Hall, so many are becoming extinct too. Yeah, which is one thing. Which is one thing that you need to support your CARES program. Um, look into that and find ways to support it. Um, Jesse, are, are you are you in the, any any of the CARES program? I'm not in the program per se, but I have I do keep fish that are are in the CARES list. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. That, that that I think would count too. I mean, you might not go fully all out on what the CARES program entails, but you do keep CARES fish. Uh huh. Is there, is there is there a way to actually uh, donate to their cause, or is that just? Uh... I'm not really familiar. Mm -hmm. Like I, I went to their website and I couldn't understand like the whole objective, or, like mm -hmm. or like like what's are you joining it? To, okay. uh, like what is the part participation like? I didn't, I didn't really understand, other gotcha. than the fact that they're promoting certain fish. Oh, well, that know. might be something good to look at. <laughs> but def definitely, I mean, that's one of the things. About the fish keeping community, it is helping raise fish to actually put in the wild. I know um, that uh, there's one in Mexico. Uh, it has tequila, tequila in the name. It's a uh, tequila. I forget the full name of it, but there's a lot of that going on. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go put the rating to that as as level four. Just because it's frustrating, I, I it's one of the things I hate in the hobby when it happens. <laughs> Which kind of kind of kind of brings us to the next one. Shipping costs too high. This is something I mean, I, I love aquatic arts. I love their quality, I love what they do. However, it's the shipping costs that I don't like, which is kind of prevents me from ordering them, which is because it's too high on the shipping cost. That's, what I hate that. that. <laughs> what? I hate oh, shipping costs, too high. It's, uh, this happens to me all the time, man. <laughs> Especially being in Hawaii, I guess. Five. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. Uh, it just happens to me. Someone hate things we hate. I just ordered something. It was like you know those those liners that I always complain about not having. So mm -hmm. Dan's fish just advised this new site. It was TKS or whatever dot com. So I like I went there. I ordered it. I paid and everything. And then they emailed me today. They're like, oh, sorry, we need to cancel your order. Uh -huh. This is only continental U.S. only. <laughs> <laughs> <was> that uh, <laughs> yeah, so five. Five. <laughs> you just need to find someone who actually shipped it. Huh? How much was the shipping? They would have charged me an extra $52. Oh, wow. No, uh, if it wasn't in... $18. So I, I paid the $18 shipping, right? <laughs> and then they told me, you're going to need to pay $52 more or, or you can cancel your order. I said, okay, cancel my order. Mm. Gotcha. How much do you think it would cost for me to ship it to you? I believe the same. I mean, um, it, it's the it's the fact that it's so large. The box that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's light. It's very light. It's not the weight. It's just the size of the box. Nice. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, welcome back, Chattanooga again. So, what would you say, Anthony? Shipping costs too high. I'm gonna say a four because I really do hate it. Um. There was a time I wanted some fish from Dan's Fish, mm. but I didn't want to pay the shipping costs for one set of guppies. So I was like, all right, I'll wait till he gets something else I want. Mm -hmm. And then when he finally did, the first fish I wanted weren't there anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, shipping costs is one of those things we do have to deal with when we're, especially when we're trying to find fish that we can't find anywhere else. Um, probably always a good thing to maybe check with your fish stores first, but uh, I do want to say four just because how much I hate it when this happens, especially, I mean, that's the one reason why I don't buy anything from aquatic arts anymore, just because for their fish to ship is just way too much for my blood. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, so I'm going to have to definitely go on four on this one as well. Let's see if anyone from the chat wants to chime in on this. Here. Yeah, yeah, Deb. Overnight costs are high uh, at the carriers, which is exactly why Aquatic Arts is high because they only ship overnight um, <laughs> for poor people problems. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fish out there that would definitely survive the two day, two night, two day shipping. Um, but I mean, that's always the flip side. I mean, are you are you, are you on the are you on the tangent okay it must always ship overnight or can it can it wait i mean that's 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 where you're gonna be on this as well i mean you, if you if you really want it only overnight then of course shipping costs has to be encountered part of that but i'm still gonna have to say four in this my big day i mean as long as the company is not making additional money off of you for shipping it's not their fault you know like they're just doing what the cost is to ship the thing, right? So, we're not, we're not, I mean, this, this, this whole subject's not saying, okay, it's the fish seller's fault. Mm -hmm. It's just the aspect in the fish keeping hobby, yeah, in general, whether it be, I mean, it could be the carriers and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. hmm. 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 two days, actually, two to seven days, yeah, yeah. For some people, <laughs> good night, uh, Big J. Everyone but Anthony, and me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, oh, you guys live closer. You guys have, I don't know. You guys have a really good. Uh, I've, I've got, I, I've got some stuff sent two days sent sent to me. I got it like one day, yeah, or one and a half days. It's so, so. Great. you guys must live like near of like a major hub or something. Probably the Los Angeles hub. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky. I mean, I, I've had stuff come from Florida, the other side of the country, make it to me in two days. You know, I shipped something to George the other, like, earlier this week, and then I shipped something to a, a person in the neighbor island, and George got it first. <laughs> what the heck? We just have to go one island away. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. Let's see here. Off to the next one. All the wholesalers are in LA. <laughs> eh, I mean, I, I've purchased stuff from people off of eBay and still got to me in two days. <laughs> and I don't think they're going through wholesalers. Uh, waiting for the new fish to get out of quarantine. I think on this one, I think I'm just going to say one. Yeah. Hard I'm, really, fine. I can wait. I'm fine with it. I mean, yeah, the, the waiting is the hard part, but it, 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 I can wait. Yeah. See you later, Lazarus. It's not a big issue for me. I, I mostly do species only anyway, so that's like the tank they go in is the tank they're staying in, and they're by themselves. So it's not a really a big issue. What did you say, Anthony? I want to tell myself a one, but it's probably more like a two. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I was talking about my community tank, then yeah. I mean, I, I, I can totally see how it can easily become a two when you start getting impatient and it's like, ah. But yeah, I think on this one for me is, I mean, I could go. I can go one, one, one point five, but there's no one point five slide. So, one. <laughs> and what are people saying? One. Most of the time, the time. quarantining is forever home. <laughs> mm, that's what I thought I said. <laughs> it becomes a forever home. <laughs> yeah. Or it is a forever home. But. Huh. Yeah, I, th I, th I think uh, I don't think we're gonna have any complaints on this one. So, one of this totally got this. Let's see, what is my next slide? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, okay, now I can know how big this 
lag is on this. But um, anyways, off to the next one, which is kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of related to the QT is going to be the next one right here is you buy a new fish and then you see one you want more. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. That does happen sometimes. <laughs> yes, it does. It does happen. Uh, yeah. Which, this, this, of course, this kind of relates to the next slide as well, but I'm going to hold off on the next slide. But <laughs> let's see. Uh, it's hard hmm. for me to put a number on this one, though. <laughs> it's more of a, just an annoyance. I'll go with three. Three? Yeah. I'll yeah. go with the three. Mm. Being annoyance, yeah, it's definitely an annoyance. I, I, I could probably just say two. It's just barely there. For for a lot of people, there's ways around it, like just getting a whole new tank. Yeah, <laughs> or doing what the next slide's gonna be, but I'll I'll share you that in a in a few moments. Or like if it was like a a pistol grandma, and then you know, like there's so many different grades of them. So if you buy a uh, yeah. grade, and then you see a super nicer one for the same price, then you're like, darn it! I guess I would just buy that other one too. <laughs> <laughs> Set up a new tank for that one too. See, yeah, that, that, that gets hard, especially when you're looking at, like, those kind of fish, like epistogramas, where it's just, like, it's like you, you search forever and ever, and you think you found the perfect one, and then a week later, you see a better one. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and they're, they're not cheap, too, so, like, it's kind of, it hurts I mean, to buy the first one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, they're not too, too expensive, but, I mean, oh, it still, huh? So, sometimes they're quite expensive here. Okay. How, how much do they go for over there? Like sometimes $100 a pair. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that could get pricey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I really don't. Uh, I don't know if I could go down to one. I mean, it's a, it's definitely annoying. It's something that I hate to see happen. Um, I mean, yeah, I could get a whole new tank, but. I don't think my wife would enjoy that. I'm kind of stuck with the tanks I have. <laughs> Everyone's saying one, though, huh? Yeah. Which is mm, being part of an aquarium community lets you enjoy more <laughs> than your own fish. Um, Streetwise, that becomes a problem, though. You see a fish that someone else has, and then, like, all of a sudden, I have to have that fish. <laughs> exactly. You know how many tanks I, I had before I started my channel? <laughs> like two. <laughs> I had like two tanks. <laughs> see, that, that's the problem with watching all these channels, too. You see all these different kinds of fish, and all of a sudden you want different kinds of fish to go with your, your yeah. setup. And it's like, I'm like, ah, uh, um, how do I get into this? And then sometimes you can't simply buy that fish, too. Like, uh, I got a coral beauty. And then I saw a Potter's Angel, which the colors are just more, colors are just better. Uh, wait, Nick, the three darn fish club meetings. <laughs> 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 it's amazing how many times I came out of the fish club with fish I didn't want to buy in the first place. <laughs> I, I, I kind of know Priscilla. <laughs> I, I, I'm close. He kinda knows. I'm close. So yeah, and this one I'm definitely gonna have to go with uh, level two on this one. <laughs> Primarily because it is an annoyance. I do hate it when it happens, and it's not something I could fix personally. Uh, it's either I have it or not. So um, okay, before I get to the reason I went with the three with that one though is because then it's always in the back of my head like. Dang, I wish I had that fish. Yeah. And then you don't enjoy the one you have as much. Yeah. Yeah. You always yeah. have you always have that buyer's remorse sometimes. Yeah. I currently he, feel that. He way. knows what I'm talking about with the potter's angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Before I move on to my last one, 
Uh, let's see if there's any in the chat. Uh, let's see here. I think Streetwise had a couple. Uh, let's see here. Streetwise, did you want to share a couple that you had as well? So I can put that in there. Let's see. I don't know how far back it was. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and do the next one. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. That's 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 one I wanted to mention too is um, having to move. Okay, my fear of moving takes keeps me in check. Ha okay, here's one thing in the hobby that I hate: moving takes. How would you rank this? Moving tanks. Yeah, moving, moving tanks. I mean, you're no longer happy tank. about where it is, so you're moving. You like reconfiguring things? Uh, either reconfiguring things or actually moving houses. Well, moving houses is, is that's definitely that sucks. But if you if it, I think if you're just reconfiguring, then that was your choice. Like you wanted to do that. Yeah. Right. Let's so. let's make this a two part. <laughs> if you're reconfiguring the fish fish room, yeah. What would you rank that? I mean, it's a lot of hard work, and it kind of sucks. It was your choice, right? You, like, you wanted to do that for a reason. Hush, Jesse. I'm getting ready to do that. Damn it! Right. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, but then it's like it's for how much. Better. How much do you hate doing that, though? As much as you want to change I your know, room, it's, it's almost enjoyable because it's part of your in, enjoyment of the hobby. Like, yeah, I get to, I'm, you know, I'm doing something cool, right? So in a way, it's it's good. You know, mm. I don't know. Mm. One, yeah, two, I get you. Like, like it, it is a little double-edged because it's like i enjoy doing it but at the same time it's like i have so much stuff to do already yeah mm -hmm. i had that issue when i um when i was in my old house i i built the stand there uh, because before i had a bunch of uh cinder blocks that i painted black and all that i just wanted to change that out uh because i wanted to add a tank below it and i had i had to tear apart the old one and then take that off the old stand, take apart that stand, and move the. It was a bunch of work, so it's definitely not a fun thing. As much as you like the finished finished work, <sighs> hmm. I think I'm with Cody said on this one. Just it's a definitely an annoyance. So I'm definitely yeah. gonna go to on this one. Sounds kind of right. What did you say, Anthony? I'd go with the two. Two. Yeah, I think I think we could agree with the same uh, same one, which is going to be the beer. <laughs> Barely noticed. Number two again. Now going into the same same subject, different different sequence is what if you had you had to move? Say 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 you're running a place like Streetwise and you had to move, whether it be to a better place or just because your landlord tells you okay you have to move. Yeah, that's a totally Either different way, you, just, you move because you're moving. You yeah. have to move your tanks with you. How would you rate that? Yeah, that that's totally different. I would say for me, five because of how many I have. I'd rate it a five. Just, how how would I do that? <laughs> like just I'd rate it a five because the amount of help I actually have on hand for people to move my larger tanks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say five as well. And <laughs> all that. I'm gonna have to say five as well, primarily because when I moved to this place, this is a new tank. I bought it after I moved here. Mm -hmm. My forty gallon that was an empty tank. My twenty gallons I basically got rid of. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't even bother moving my my fish stuff. Uh, the only fish I came with here was my Maltese. And I put that in the 40. Yeah. That's the only fish I moved in was with my, my multis. You're giving me anxiety. I don't want to think about this anymore. <laughs> don't worry. I, I, one of these days I will put up a stream of things we love, okay? <laughs> so if you have any ideas on what to put on there, make sure you email me at david at <laughs> <laughs> Or comment in the, the stream here. 
every tank looks temporary, even if you have been in the same rental for years. So on this one, I think we could go with five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Oh, okay. 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 I think that was the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> I do have one more. <laughs> Looks like someone posted one here. Uh, let me find it here. Let me find a way to put it up. Let me move into the right segment. First of all, let me. So I have to move some things around because I was on a different different browser on this computer here. Oh man, great photo! Which photo was Ed talking about? I think the bear. <laughs> the bear? I think. Ed, Ed, which photo were you talking about? That was. I, I think he said he liked bears five, earlier in the day. Five minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, here, here's one. Which I'm going to post right now. When one of your fish eats another one of your fish. That's, that's has happened to me. <laughs> I think it's happened to all of us. It was really bad. Okay, so I'll tell you a story. It was a goldfish, and I I thought it. I used back then. I used to have this crazy community tank with goldfish and a lot of things that you shouldn't keep it with. But it was a wood cat, and it was stuck in the goldfish's mouth. With, and you know, like wood cats, they have the, their pectorals are spiky, right? So it's one way in, no way out. I had to rip that thing out. I mean, what else could I do, right? So it was uh, not a good ending for both fish. Mm. So five. <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. Definitely bad when it happens. I'd go four. Four. If it's your Oscar eating a guppy because you were, it's a call, then one. <laughs> <laughs> this is talking about like you're, you're, you have a community going and one of your fish eats another one of your fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a prized fish. Like you like both of them. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that'd be a six if it's your prized fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like the goldfish. Yeah, it was. Another yeah, fish goldfish that you love. Huh? Does it count when another fish just kills another fish? This one says eat. I guess it's the same though, right? Yeah, I'd yeah. probably say it's the same. Yeah, because I had a dang $10 saltwater fish kill my $45 saltwater fish. I hate that fish. Oh, Priscilla <laughs> has cut cichlid out of a cichlid's mouth before. Yes. Yeah, isn't that terrible? <laughs> I, I guess I guess working in a fish store kind of puts a different perspective into things, but oh. hmm. yeah, it's like it, they're both. I don't know who who you trying to save, right? Only it's five. Five. Yeah, I think this has to be five. Primarily speaking, this is this is talking about like it eats a fish or kills a fish that you don't you're not feeding it or trying to kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, Cody said wants to know is a damsel damsel Anthony. No, it was a uh, purple pseudo killed my uh, my uh, coral beauty. Okay, I think I could turn that off. I could hide that. And now I think I'm going to move to my final one before we just uh, decide to move on to a hangout if you guys want to hang out. Um, basically, is going to be in meme form. Primarily like because it fits. Species only tank becomes community tank. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> this kind of goes into the previous slide, which was the uh, get a new fish and you want more. Yeah, this uh, this also happens to me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to have a species only tank, and the next thing you kind of use yeah. oh, that'll yeah. go good in that tank. They'll, they'll go. They'll be a fine together, which they are. But now, none of them are breeding. 
<laughs> yeah, this is an annoyance. <sighs> Just an annoyance. Hmm. I'd probably say it's an annoyance. Three. Three. I'm fine with it, but I don't like it. It happens too often. <laughs> <laughs> I think it happens too often for a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> streetwise. Impulse by side effects. <laughs> yeah, totally. It is. That's what it is. Yeah. It was like, oh, I, I, they finally have this fish. I always wanted it. And then, but she wasn't ready for it. Right? But yeah. you got to get it now because you might not get it later. Yeah. And it's like those impulse buys, like, okay, ah. And then you're, then, then you're, in, then you're in the fish store. I'm like, okay, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? I'm like, ah, okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's buy it. <laughs> and likes the bear. That's what I, he was that's, saying. That's what he thought it was. Oh, gee, that sucks. Hmm. What? Oh, let's see. Priscilla. One time I had a huge harlequin tusk, and I forgot there was a coarse wrasse in the tank. Chris hit in the sand as soon as he came out. It was over. Yeah, stuff like that does suck. Uh, so, yeah, I... I uh, uh, Ronan will we'll, after after this. Uh, Ronan will probably try to help you with that. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, I don't know if ranked as a two or a three. I mean, yeah, it's 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 definitely a big annoyance, and I'm gonna have to go with three because it does become problematic because you have a species only tank that becomes a community tank, and that's no fun. Eventually, then then later on you you regret that, and then all of a sudden you have to build another species only tank, and it, it just becomes into that one issue where you're endlessly spending money. Yeah, I think it just depends. So if you're if you're limited on the tanks you can have, or if uh, you just can have however many you want. Yeah, I'm extremely limited. I don't have room for tons and tons of tanks here. So this is a community tank, and well, I do have a species, almost a species only on my multis, um, and my pisogramma should hopefully be in a species only situation. <laughs> uh, I, I'd probably say three. What, 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 did, what would you say, Anthony? I'd say two. Two. Anyone in the chat want to chime in before I close this out? What did you say, Jesse? I said three. It happens. I mean, it happens to me quite often. That's why. Yeah. Like, it, like even though I have a lot of systems, it still happens because I, I guess I keep yeah. wanting more fish. Yeah. Personally, I think it's an annoyance that's larger than a level two, primarily because what it, what it becomes, and you end up with a lot of remorse after you do that sometimes. Yeah. 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 And it's like sometimes I think it's like temporary. But it ends up being long term temporary. <laughs> like I still have, I still have so many situations that's like I don't I don't want those two together. And they're not like one yeah. that should be breeding isn't because of that. And I, I still can't yeah. I don't know where to I don't know where to put that other one. Yeah, you end up in a situation where you uh, you have the species only tank, which then becomes a two species tank. Yes. And all of a sudden, oh a third species. And it's that's not, it already has multi species in there. It's not just species, it's like strains like like super reds versus regular albino versus you know like yeah you have to keep them all separate right because they're all specialized yeah sounds like you need to make your way to peco jesse <laughs> I, I yeah it's very competitive here mm. they get bought out to the point where people, people buy them and they resell them and i buy it from the resellers because it's still cheap <laughs> have you tried to uh like as soon as the dollar per gallon sell goes on or maybe even the night before it goes on try to go online and buy it there for pickup and store i don't do because that the stock is usually good like so, online if they don't oh, no, have okay, okay so over here they don't, they don't, don't have that money we can't do that here like the i tried like the we can't the, they don't honor the sale online. It says um, Hawaii, Alaska, not included. Uh, gotcha. But if we go oh. down and certain stores, the managers are nice, they'll they'll do the price match. Mm. 
So they'll let us do it, but that's in store. So we cannot reserve it online. So we have to, like, it's yeah. like first come, first serve at the store. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, and chances are it'll probably get canceled because they'll probably give it, they'll probably, he'll probably, they'll probably give that tank to someone that's in store. Um, I actually I actually had one of my orders canceled when I tried to buy a 20 gallon long this, this time around. I ordered it. It said it was in stock. Next, you know, it, like three hours, like later in the early in the morning, they canceled my my order because uh, they didn't pull it for you. Yeah, yeah. So on this one, I'm going to stick with a three. And basically, I mean, I think it's a bigger annoyance than what a two would entail. Okay, so that that's going to be that for that. So. Uh, Oh, I though I did say Ron, I did tell Ronan that will probably help him with his question here. Oh, we should have ended with a five. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of a five. Uh, okay, before we help uh, Benny out, uh, Ronan out, uh, what could be a five? <laughs> What's the worst thing you can think of? Uh, what is? The I mean, I'm the the moving the house thing. That was that was probably the worst thing I can kind of think of. But a, a massive financial hit. <laughs> Was it a taking a massive financial hit mm. and like not being able to upkeep your hobby? Because yep. of that? Yeah, and you have to sell all your tanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to move, and your new place doesn't allow you to take all your tanks. Yeah, that would be a five. Any kind of personal disaster, right? <laughs> like, like, yep. I, I can no longer, I have to get out of the hobby. Basically, whatever forces you to do that, that would definitely that, be that, that. That that I think, I think I think I think that I think that requires a whole new uh, level. I think that's I think that right there's a level six event. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I never not, I'd be crying, man. Yeah, I've seen it uh, happen to people. Yeah, I think that's definitely a level six event. Uh, yeah. Uh, what does the chat? What's the chat say? Yeah, any, any I, I remember there was this guy in, five the, minutes, in, our five community, minutes. in our community. He was uh, getting a divorce, and then he was saying how he had to get rid of all of his tanks because he was moving out. And, oh, okay, that's that's bad. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Yeah, so I think that's actually a level six event. <laughs> that's almost five minutes behind you guys in the stream. I hate that's that is like yeah. super that's annoying, nice. dude, Ed, in, in our fish happy to be behind in chat. <laughs> like, you know, when you're not watching live, you didn't realize like you're watching like 30 minutes earlier and you just didn't realize it because you your hand accidentally touched the phone oh i hate that so much and like i'm listening to them and then i respond and then i realize oh sh crap <laughs> i'm not even listening to them <laughs> i do that on some of these contest ones where <laughs> like Tom's giveaways or something yeah or i go to type the number and then i'm like oh <laughs> where's everyone else's number <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't you just feel like such a loser? Yeah. So, having to move all your tanks out and getting out of the hobby—that's de that's definitely a level six event. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, we ended it with the worst. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Although, although Priscilla makes another good one: tank crash on your tank that put you put a lot of time in and money. Or disease. Yeah, that'd be awful. But, yeah, that's happening to me right now, actually. Um, this tank over here got columnaris worms, and mm. uh, some of the fish died. Mm. And you, they were like super bloated with worms coming out of their anus. Ah. And it looked really bad, but I got this. I got a cure. You got a cure? <laughs> yes, ah. I cured it. So I'm very happy now. That's good. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can help Benny's aquatics out. He is going to his LFS tomorrow. What should he get? He has an empty 10-gallon tank. What are you looking for, Benny? What do you want? Do you I want some swollen fish or what? How about a how about another different kind of dwarf cichlid pair? I say pistol grandma. Yeah, pistols, yeah. Any of like there's a lot of different pistols to choose from too. 
Look, I know he's been stuck on those rams, but try a different. Get different get some borealis. I think they're small enough to pair up in a ten gallon. <clears throat> oh, do you have borealis? Do you have burly eye? I used to have burly eye. Who has them right now? Someone. Someone has them. Cause I, you know, I want some. That's why. Mm. I have, I have one that looks um. Not how it's supposed to look. So I'm like, what is this? Mm. <laughs> I think I was missold. I want the the one that looks nice. Cool. <laughs> You might you might even get missold as a still blue. I think that I think that's a common one that gets missold. Yes. As really. Okay, what is it called? Is it a pistol gamma steel blue? Still blue. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe that's what it is. Let me look that up. Cause by that by that name, it, that's what I would call it that. A pistol. Because I think Bob Taylor has has some of those. Blue. Yes. Yes, this is what I have. This is what I was sold instead of Borrelia. But what is so? What's the scientific name of this? Oh, no. Species still blue. Yeah, it's just SP still blue. Some people say that they're hybrids. So, ah, that's what I have. Yes, this is what I have. Yeah, it was sold as Borrelia. Yeah. And then when I seen other people's Borrelia, I'm like, that's not what mine looked like. I, th I think that's a common thing. I might have had the still blues too. So oh, that's a hybrid, hybrid. A lot. That's that's a common issue with Borrelii. They get uh, people get missold uh, still blues. It might have been a hybrid. What a lot of people say. Between Agazizi I and Borrelii, maybe that's that's probably maybe then why why they get missold as Borrelii. Ah, uh -huh. okay. mystery solved. Right, Ed. See you later, Ed. Ah, turn it. Turn it. Good night. Mystery uh, solved. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm going to head out now, too, guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. man. See you later. Thanks for having me up, Dave. Thanks, thanks for coming up. See thanks later, for joining guys. this panel. Good night. So, would you, would you be able to do other pistol grandmas paired up in that 10 gallon and trying to breed? Yeah. Yeah. If you can. Hmm. That's, that's what. I would advise. Let's see. I love the new sh stream spot with tanks behind you. He's a streetwise is a big proponent oh, of where I'm sitting. In your background. <laughs> where I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah. Instead of That's on my comfortable chair right over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I do the stream, I try to go over so you guys could see that. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of on your bed. <laughs> my batter, or in front of the tank like this. <laughs> We're trying to be professional today. Yeah. I, I had my uh, multi sink on a little bit longer than what I normally did today, too, but apparently I went long in the stream, so now it's not on anymore. <laughs> oh. You cannot, you can't turn it on with your phone? I can. <laughs> I typically, once the, light come, once the light goes off, I keep them off. I don't want to start it with fish. As much as I possible. Oh, I start on my fish for the sake of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> See this? I turn I turn on like this before it went completely out. So, mm. and the fish are still a little startled by it. They're like, okay, isn't it past our bedtime? So they're kind of they're not swinging around as normal when people sit sit over here. Um, Was so. it Kurt? I wanna feel. I wanna say. Maybe it was Kurt. Let me check his channel out. Mm. He's been he's been posting. Uh, is Ronan still in the stream or did he leave? <clears throat> we'll give him yeah. all his ideas and I think he already left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. Ronan, if you're in the stream, please let us know and we'll be able to help you out more. <laughs> Otherwise, let's I'm see what time is it. Oh, it's around dinner time for him. Yeah, maybe he is eating dinner. Yeah. So maybe we'll, if we're still here, maybe we'll still help him out. Uh, Who was I looking at? Fish, chili rasburas, knee carnage shrimp, pygmy quarries, plants, Malaysian driftwood. Hmm. Well, see, he kind of already has a community tank. Um, yeah. So I think, think I think he's looking for a breeding project, which is why I I say yeah. pistol Yeah. 
What's and I don't that? think Rams are working out with him, just like they don't work out for me either. So Rams are hard, you know. Rams are they're not easy. They're no, not no. the easiest fish. Mm -mm. What a unsub to cichlids twenty three. <laughs> YouTube. How dare, you? How dare no. you, Jesse? Not nice, YouTube. Yes, he was the one with the burly. Yeah, yes. Uh. I did see this before. That's right. He's the one. Him him and um amber and let me remove some of these off of my stream here gone you guys want to see how much my plants grew in in this tank i don't know if you guys remember how it what it looked like before we move out of the way probably not but um it didn't have as many plants oh i'm gonna fall off my chair um, there you go, Jesse. The plants are in a bit, a bunch. Especially this um, AR, AR mini, not so many. It's <laughs> no, <big>. not so many. <laughs> yeah, that must be the full size AR. But it's really yeah, mini. Yeah, it's really mini in the other tank behind it. I, I, took a, I, I took a piece. Where's my head? I took a piece from that small tank. And it was that small, and I put it in this big tank, and it grew proportionally to the size. Like it was like, well, I can be big now. Kind of interesting, <laughs> huh? I think that's kind of neat. Now, so I'm gonna be big. Yeah. It's like the plant knows. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I can be big. Well, See you later, Deb. Thanks for uh, joining and uh, participating. Yeah. Thanks for everyone for participating. Later, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I've never seen Deb before. Is she new. I'm, I, I've seen her around a few places. I don't remember where. Okay. I don't know if it's just my stream or other people's streams, but I've, I've seen her around in other streams, maybe. That reminds me of the um, the one in Canada. The cichlid one, Deb something. Ah, I, don't, I know which one you're talking I about. I haven't seen her in a while. The Toronto one? I'm not sure what area in um, Canada. Quebec, maybe, I don't know. I remember seeing some cichlid person from somewhere mm. in Canada. Maybe we're talk maybe we're thinking about the same one, maybe we're not, I don't know. Um, she always did this thing, she she blinked like she at the beginning. Of the mm -hmm. You don't remember that? No. She always used to do that blinking. She was pretty uh, active. Yeah, 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 all the rest of the stream. <laughs> she used to be pretty active, but um mm. I've seen her around recently. That happens. A lot of channels just end up petering out or people get bored of the YouTube game and Mm -hmm. Oh, there are a couple so, couple times myself where I'm like, ah, eh, why am I making videos? I'm like, ah, be gone for a couple months and come back. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't feel that way. I just um, I don't know why it, I I get into these ruts where I just I, I don't. I don't oh, thanks for uh, I'm from Ohio. I, I grew up there myself, so. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I just get burned out. I'm like, I run out of ideas to do. And <laughs> right now I have a lot of ideas. So it's, it, I'm good for a while now. So yeah, right now I have a lot of ideas too, but I just have to make the time to go film that idea. Yeah. Yeah. My, my problem is I get these ideas and all of a sudden, all of a sudden something else comes up and it just kind of throws that idea out of whack and mm -hmm. So, what other fish could go good in a 10 gallon? Endlers. You could do endlers. Although I th think he already does guppies. Yeah. Rice fish. Nah, that's another good good option. That's kind of a craze right now. Yeah. Yep. I was looking uh, for my pond. I was originally looking for uh, rice fish until I changed my mind and got the uh, golden top minnows. Golden top minnows. The golden top minnows. Remember those? No. Here. Golden top minnows. I'll show you. I'll is, show that you. Like, is, that a, is that like a killifish? Um, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. Here, I'll, I'll share. I'll share my screen. I got. I got. I got. I got it uh, searched up. 
It's just a matter of just finding a Chrome tab to share. This is the one I went with, the golden top minnow. They definitely look like a killifish to me. Yeah. They are fundalists. Yeah, that's a killifish. Yeah, fundalists. Native. Fundalist is a United States native fish, dude. So right now, how my pond is, I can't really see them anymore because I have a bunch of uh, cover. I have a lot of uh, water lilies covering the top. I have a bunch of, uh, uh, what's that stuff? Um, I want to say feather something. <laughs> if I was out there right now in my tub, I'd remember it. But now I'm trying to think of it, I can't remember it. Ah, what is that plant? Oh, parrot's feather. That's what it is, parrot's feather. <laughs> well, maybe they're not considering it a killifish. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see what my Google Kung Fu can do. Da -da -da -da. I don't know. Kind of does look like a killifish of some sort. Not a seasonal killifish. Mm -mm. This is a type of wild killifish. <laughs> yes, it's a killifish. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've gotten several hits on it. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. I don't think I need this light anymore. Um, okay. I'm totally forgetting things right now. <laughs> you, know, you know that Lu Lucania Goudier? 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 Yeah, Goudier. The, the, the one that, that you recently had. Yeah. I thought that was a killifish, but not, but they're saying it's a, is it a Goudier? Yeah. Mm. That really confuses me. That's like not the same thing. Gotcha. Let me look into that. <laughs> well, a lot, a lot of things change names here and there too. Um, I know the oh, um, it's a killifish, but why are they calling it Goody? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're know. changing classifications because I know the Afros are now not considered Afros; they're considered Zeroids now. It's a bunch of things that they change. Hmm. Let's see, I don't know. I think we turn back that light back on. <laughs> I think the light looks better. <laughs> so, so do you? You can get those locally at, at your LFS. What? Those um, Lucanias. The top minnows. No, the um, it's the bluefin killifish. Mm, I ordered mine online actually on that. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I just changed the light a little bit dimmer than what it was. Where'd you get them at? Was the shipping reasonable? Yeah, it was reasonable. If it wasn't reasonable, I wouldn't have got them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got them from Flynn's Fins, I think. Oh, I never heard of that one. I think. Yeah, I think that's where I got them from. Yeah, I never heard of them before, before I ordered from there either. So, But they turned out great. So until I put them in a tub, I got too hot. But. That's my fault. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, I just didn't think I was gonna get that hot. Mm -hmm. But I mean, my my Daphne has survived in the same area perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, maybe it's just the open top. Maybe. You know what I killed with a too hot tank was um Cribensis. Mm. So. Now I just gotta find another another place to put my tub. That's not gonna be a bother for my wife and anyone else. I might have to put it next to my pond, I think. Oh, he's breeding blue Galaris. Yeah, those are very nice. Blue Galaris. Okay. I'm breeding um Fundalopanchex um gardener, right? Kind of similar. Oh, those are nice. 
had a couple of those in my 80 gallon, I think, uh, on my back porch community tank that I got from my fish club meeting. <laughs> Ooh. The only thing I'm breeding right now is the um, Maltese. My Maltese tank is full of fry right now. <laughs> By the way, I love that video you, that you sent me, that channel. Man, it's crazy. Yeah. So from my understanding, from what I could tell, he he's the producer of those videos. Like He films and cuts it all himself, and he did such an awesome job. Yeah. Even with the narration, like all that knowledge too. Man, I, I, I'm hoping that he's probably like made money from it other places and he's just putting Hopefully. it on YouTube. I don't know, but it's it's so awesome. Like such a great job. Yes, it is. Um let me see here. Let me share it out on this stream just to Yeah. That, that, is, that is a great channel. I mean, I, I came across that when I was looking at Multis and um definitely uh, that, that one is definitely a great video. Yeah, uh, so good. He's spell multifasciitis. <laughs> yeah. I always have trouble with that word. Let's see, here it is. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing about him is that he's not focused on. Um, he's kind of salty more so on the you know on that side. Yeah. So you know people might not hit the subscribe button because of that, but you got it's, like it's so exceptional, it's like the quality of what he did in those documentaries that it's yeah. worth what like getting some notifications about saltwater fish. Come on, people. <laughs> I mean that's that's worth it because the content's excellent. Yeah, yeah. Just for anyone who wants to check it out, it's uh, by the name of Alfredo Reese Deuce, I think. Yeah. Also, the channel name means. Uh, this is this is the Maltese <laughs> channel, uh, Maltese uh, video that I mean uh, Jesse's talking about right there. So if you ever get time, definitely check it out. It's interesting content. Yeah, so good. And then he he'll cover other species as well in that lake. So I guess he, you know, he probably spent some good time in that lake and was able to set up some cameras. Um, without he would just leave them there with, and then he would like swim away so that he could um, the camera would capture their natural behavior. And then his narration is so spot on, like just about even his animation, like his like how the colonies are built and it's like wow. Yeah, that that, that that's that's just top notch quality. I'm glad I came across it. Yeah. Just, just, just oh, I just want more information about Maltese fascia. I did, and he only has like 500 views. I'm like, I'm so sorry for like, how many how many how much effort that, that, that was. That's 580. Uh, not. I'm definitely gonna have to share this out more. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? And it's old. It's not even like yeah. It's not like it's new and it hasn't time had time to catch on. He has this video that has like three million views, but yeah. it's not those. It's just nope. it's a sexy anemone. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to change this right now if I could figure out how. <laughs> such a such an odd channel, like how yeah. he could ha he could go viral on on like a less than minute long anemone. <laughs> Three million, and then do like put in so much work, create these like this awesome video, and when he hit five hundred views. Yeah, let's see here. Let's let's see let's see if we get this up. Let me see where's my page. Oh, here's my pages. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see let's see if let's see if we get let's see if we get the ball rolling for him. Really, Not yeah. that he needs it, but. <laughs> um how many subs does he have? no he has a lot of subs though he has a lot of subs too yeah. yeah yeah he doesn't get enough views though that's the only thing no that's 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 uh, that's, that's the thing oh, oh here's this i'm totally out of it right now i don't know how to use facebook right now <laughs> oh you're trying to put it in like fish tube notifications or something uh should i put put it there too yeah i'm gonna put it there Lampologus. I'll be right back. I gotta go um check on some people because it's um they're supposed to be sleepy. But yeah. I didn't tell them to. <laughs> Let's see here. 
Def definitely surprised that video is not getting a lot of views. I'll be right back too. I'm just kind of creating a post to try to get this shared out. Okay, so that's shared out on Facebook and a few other, uh, well, at least one other group. So let's <laughs> let's see if we get that more views. I mean, it's it's it's, it's an excellent excellent view into the world of the Maltese uh, in their in their home. Uh, definitely, if you haven't checked it out after the stream, definitely go check it out. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I think I came across that one when I was researching. Um, I think what was I researching? I, th I was thinking I was I think I was looking up for like um, stuff I could put in with my Maltese. Uh, but I don't think that really devolved into anything, but uh, there is also a couple other versions of that video where he goes over the small, small colonies as well as the uh, medium colonies. It's just an interesting look at the actual colonies of Maltese in the wild. Just amazing how they work, um, get along together. And then I, I guess when they spread out, you can see how they spread out as well. If you outcasts just kind of go off to the side and find new places to call their home. Def, definitely, definitely worth definitely worth visiting. Uh, definitely worth spending the time and actually, I mean, I mean for a YouTube video, that is really it's really good quality video videography. I mean, it, it look. I mean, seriously, I mean, it looks like something that's going to be on like something like one of those documentary channels. Personally, uh, but it's definitely, in my opinion, good good content. Mm. Uh. But anyways, I, I think I think once Jesse comes back, I'm probably going to end the stream here. Primarily because I want to. Um, I mean, right now we're at two and a half hours almost, and I kind of want to get a few other things taken care of. But uh, once Jesse gets back, uh, I'm probably going to end the stream. Just that that way I can say bye to him. That way I don't just leave him in the lurch. That's the one thing I don't want to do. Is just, oh end the stream without him knowing and he's just gonna go to the screen uh the screen and just continue talking but um anyways i'll wait for him to go up uh yeah keep this going for a little bit um i hope you guys enjoyed the stream thank you for everyone who um joined it uh, watched it uh if you're watching the replay on this uh, thank you for watching the replay i appreciate it uh, if you haven't hit the like button, I hope you did, but if not, eh, it's fine. <laughs> it's your choice. Your, it's your click. But um, let's see here. Um, but basically, let me, let me go ahead and share the screen at least. It's not playing, so I, um, just to show you what, it lo what the video looks like, um, basically it's actual underwater footage. Uh, supposedly from the Lake Tinkanika. Uh, this one is the large colony. 
that's the large colony version. Uh, um, there's a few other versions. Like mm. Let's see where we're at here. Uh, 15 likes. Thank you. Hey, yes. Just rambling on. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm probably going to call it a night now on the stream. Uh, we've been going for about two and a half hours. Um, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I, sh I shared out the video on my my uh, personal aquarium thoughts page on Facebook as well as Fish Tubers notifications. Just see where the video goes. See what people like. See if people like it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. Only I, I, I looked at it again. It only has 583 views. I'm like, what? <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I, don't, I wonder. I mean, I know, I know there's a small version as well as a medium version. I wonder how much, how many of those have. Um, I feel like he needs some like advice, <laughs> like how to run his channel or something. Like, yeah, so much, maybe so much potential. Yeah, I'm surprised he has, he has like nine thousand subs too. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a lot, but like probably like people kept like get a glimpse of his really good stuff and they're like hit subscribe like i did like i subscribed yeah. i mean look i mean look at look look I mean, yeah he's like i mean like this one video right here one week ago aquario d he only has 45 views on that yeah and i probably didn't even watch it there's like something wrong with it <laughs> like, you know? it's like i don't I, I think i think i think for some reason it's not probably being going on youtube or nothing something maybe um, it's the Maybe it's the thumbnails. I don't know. I don't think I like the thumbnails. Mm, too colorful. Uh, mm. Not enough imagery. It too yeah that all that text and stuff, I don't I think it's mm. if you can close up on like the fish itself or something. Maybe. Leave some more intrigue maybe. <laughs> yeah. Huh. This this one got two hundred and seventy eight views. Interview with Hugo Brito with freaking corals. Uh, I could see that one. Maybe not too many people want to watch a video on an interview with um, someone they don't know, right? <laughs> Let's see. I'll be doing an interview shortly. I don't know when yet, but. With someone that people don't know? <laughs> just <laughs> I <would> just say. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, well, some people might know him. He, he does. He does go on some circuits uh, in the uh, fish community. Is it a surprise? Are you not telling me? Uh, let me see. I don't want. You're not spoiling it. I'll put it. I'll, I'll put it privately to you. I'm gonna make sure. I'm I just right. wondering if I would know. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure I spell his name right. <laughs> I don't think I was. Um, oh, I have so many messages I didn't realize. Uh, I, put, I put it in the private chat for you. Oh, there. Okay, that's what you're talking about. I was looking at Facebook. I, don't, know, know. I don't know that person. You don't know that person? No. Uh, what's the name of the ah we run something in the amazon uh uh Amazonas? no no <laughs> oh. that appear a complete coup <laughs> oh here it is okay i had to go to my amazon smile to get the name of the uh group <laughs> what is amazon smile uh basically um it donates a small portion of your uh Purchases to a uh, charity of your choice. Oh, okay. As opposed to yourself. <laughs> As opposed to no one. As opposed to no one. <laughs> what if what if you use your affiliate link to buy stuff for yourself? Would they do you get credit for that? Yeah. They know you oh they know it's the same account. Yeah. Oh. Darn. Did you, did you have to buy anything that night, Jesse? Huh? No, no, I didn't. Huh. Oh, because the next day someone did. <laughs> Wait, let me check. Let me check. What if I did, right? Did you buy any test tube stuff? Let me check. I can't, remember, I can't remember looking. That's why. 
Uh, but I hey, think, George, how's it going? I don't think I didn't pull the trigger. I forgot. Ah, you forgot. Hey, George. Did what? um did Miles end his stream? Let me check up on that. Uh, stream. Apparently, yeah, it looks like Miles ended his stream just now. We're getting more stragglers coming oh, in. Oh, I still see him. <laughs> Everyone's ignoring me for miles. How dare they? <laughs> Yo. It's fine. I'll say hi. <laughs> oh, he just oh he hey, just up. He did just send it. Yeah. <sighs> miles read. <laughs> see, see, I, I I get a big stream and with special guests and no one everyone goes to the other channel. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been fun with you guys in here. <laughs> George the Grill Master. George the Grill Master. Oh, yeah. Were you cooking again? Yeah, George is always grilling hey, something. Cop, how's the um how's the Dojo Loches doing? Are they looking better? It took a while for me um uh, for them to get they were kind of stuck in the box for longer <laughs> than wanted, but so I'm wondering how they're doing. Yeah, yeah, George, I caught a little bit of that polydarium we did. Um, looks pretty cool. So you just set that up, huh? <clears throat> I haven't seen that one yet. George set up that polydarium. Yeah, on Miles' channel, he was oh. showing in a little bit before your stream. Ah. Yeah. When I was eating dinner, I, I just I watched a little bit when I could. Hey, JRB. Hmm. Wow. Yes, this thing is on. <laughs> Although it's uh, pretty much uh, the uh, the meat of the meat of the presentation's over. <laughs> but you can still watch the replay. You can still leave comments down below in the comment section of uh, what you feel about each item. <laughs> hey, Cyclist23. We tried to end it, end it with a bang. <laughs> well, I, I thought I thought personally I was ending with a perfect uh, fish meme, but... <laughs> I forget, what was it again? Uh, species only tank to community tank. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Aquarium Cop was showing dojos. Hmm. Do dojos bury into the sand? <laughs> um, I was showing dojos on my house. Oh, okay, so they were, I gotta um, watch it then, see what they look like. Yeah. So I guess they're doing okay. Yeah, I sent them a couple of dojo loaches that I caught in the local stream over here. Hmm. So they're your dojo jealouses, jo your dojo loaches. Huh? What do you mean? They're yours that you they, they that you sent him or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught them in the stream. Oh, I awesome. Yours, yeah. yeah. Same stream with the uh, shrimp, the prawn. I mean, no different stream. A oh, different stream. Did you end up cooking that prawn? No, it's in my tank. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Nathan Fishboy, everything's nice and going well for me. But the tank they're in, that's the kids' tank, and that's yeah. the whatever we catch in the wild goes into that tank. Yeah. Um, so the the dojo loaches, wild guppies, mm -hmm. and the big prawn and some wild plecos are in that tank. Yeah. Must must be nice uh, going to living in a place that you go catch wild fish. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's really fun. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, I'll be doing that interview eventually sometime. Uh, I was probably going to do it sooner than later, but now it's probably going to be later because of uh, some issues that came up. But <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, basically my wife came down with a – no, my, my wife tested positive for COVID, so. What? Are you serious? Yeah, it was, it was, kind of, it was probably going to bound to happen where she works, but. Oh, no. But she, but she's okay though. 
Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, only, she only had some minor sy symptoms at first, and that's about it. Oh, so you, you're, are, are you isolating yourself from her? As much as I can. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my, my wife is a nurse, so she can get easily exposed. So we we're talking about what would happen if she does, you know, we're like, oh, I guess you're sleeping outside in a tent. <laughs> well, she, well, she's been sleeping in my uh, boy's room since she's been working where she's working, and my boy's been sleeping in my bed with me, so. Oh. But at some point, I probably got, I probably got, you know, so I have to go, I have to go get tested myself one of these days soon, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See how that com comes out. Wow. Okay. That's scary stuff, man. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing fine right now, so. <laughs> Yeah, but you know it takes like ten days incubation or whatever. Right? Um, be careful. So I can't I can't come over to Aquaball's house anytime soon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come to my house either, man. <laughs> no. Yeah, Hawaii won't allow that. They'll have me quarantined for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be safer here. Um, they are eating. The slime coat is a little cloudy and stress, but they are acting happy. Should I leave them to be distress? Oh, to de-stress. You know, those things are really hardy. Hmm. If they're swimming around very fast, they'll be fine. Do they dig into the sand at all, Jesse? I have them in hard gravel, so um, not in my type. But probably in a softer sand environment, probably. I, I would think so. Okay. Hey, Miles, how's it going? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, hey, maybe man. I'll get that in my pond then. Mr. Pepper. Is there no sound? Oh, darn, sleeping outside in Hawaii. <laughs> Is there no sound on you, Miles? Is anyone else hearing me? Uh, I'm pretty sure they can hear. Yes, they can hear. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think so. <laughs> because <laughs> they would have told us by now. <laughs> let me, let me, sorry, let me sorry Mr. Steve Mouse. Mouse. Maybe it's just Mouse. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think so. Okay, yeah, it's just Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just miles. Uh, so much for ending the stream a second ago. <laughs> oh, you can't right, do that. right when you left, uh, I was uh, like, right before you, right, right after you left, I'm like, oh, I'm probably gonna end the stream, but I'm gonna wait until Jesse comes back, and I don't want to leave him in the lurch. Just kind of leave him, him while it comes back to a blank screen. <laughs> and then oh, you yeah. came back, and all these people followed you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, yeah. Codyson's cool. He's digging the gravel. Bed Dojo's cannon will do. Uh, yeah. I was thinking maybe throw him in my pond, but if they're going to do that, I don't want him to dig too far into my uh, sand and get to the dirt. So. You can MC for Jesse? What, is it? what do you mean, MC? <laughs> They love their sand. Mm. Let's hang out. Yeah, let's um, let's spin George up. Let's see his polydarium. <laughs> okay, let, let me see. Let me invite you up, George. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, for George, here you go. Here's the link. Bum, bum, bum. Right above you, George. <laughs> I know it's a little laggy. It's a little laggy, so you, you should you should be able to see it now. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> can, <laughs> can you hear us now, Miles? <laughs> hey, hey Copper. Uh, oh, are you gonna show me the uh, loaches? See, let me see how they look like. Yeah. Okay. There's the loaches. Oh, that's a nice looking one. 
I should have sent you four, even though you said you only wanted two. Those are some nice looking loaches there. I would have took four. I thought you only had two. I have a million. I said, how many did you want? You said just two. <laughs> I should. I'm like, All right. I'll be like sleeping. <laughs> hey, George. What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, let me show you really quick before People my don't understand how small they are. They're small. They're small. Jesse, maybe you could explain how small they are. They're adorable. They're, yeah. They're little, little, like They're fat toothpicks. Do, do they get bigger? They get really big. They're the size you of see the food. Right and now. trust me. But they'll get big. Like, um, they get like this. So right now they're like this. Okay. Well, probably wouldn't be good in my pond, but there's George's, uh, oh, he's got a fog from Calgarian. <laughs> ah, I even, even got the fog again. Oh, you get one of those, uh, Ultra Misters, uh, George? What? Did you get one of those Ultrasonic Misters for it? No, bro. I got yeah something like that. Look, let me plug it in and so you see it. Look. Hey, look, he has a, a rimless tank um light mount. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, if in case you want to um attach I it to a big tank, just ask Dave. <laughs> We just made this on Miles' stream. Stream yeah. while he was doing his stream, I was mm -hmm. working on it. Uh, so oh. that's where everyone was today. <laughs> How do you like this tank? Looks nice. Looks nice. It's a little tiny paladarium. Yeah, Dave. Has... We've been on. We were on Miles' stream for five hours, so you know we don't get notifications when we're on a stream. Uh, yeah, yes, it happens. And that sicker twenty three told us in the stream in the chat that you were live, so we all jumped over to you. Uh, what's the red plant? It happens. Alternera Renikia. I thought a good. I still had a good stream, so that's all good. That's what I thought. That's that's a nice setup, George. I have that. There is the Anubius. How big is this tank, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Play, play that game. Guess how big the tank is. One and a half gallons. Yeah, I said it on the chat. Dave read in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> cheated. Hey, it's not my fault. You you ruined this. Uh, you ruined the uh, game. You're such a good guesser. <laughs> <laughs> what are you What are you putting in the tank? Um, I was thinking a better because it's aesthetic and it has wood and it has plant and it's got that. Nice country soil, and you know it has fog, and it's got a lot of space for the beta doesn't jump, and it's got filter, it's got waterfall, it's got all of it, man. Light, so I think baby would do really nice. Small female, maybe. maybe yeah, small female, something wild, maybe one of those beta ubras, maybe. Yeah. Hey, so I got a glass lid. I'm about to try it, but let's see. Yeah, it, that's the only thing. There you go. That works. Kind of. Yeah. And then wake up tomorrow morning, this is in the floor. Nope, not going to work like that. Do you, do you even need a lid on that? Or are, you, are, you probably, are you worried about the bugs getting in there or what? Well, not really. Uh, you know what? If you have the fog like this, you don't need a lid. But again, look what's going on at top. Water I, would just cut, I would cut it in half just so it blocks mm. going up to the light. Like it could be open towards the front. Mm. Yeah. Just, just something to protect the right here. Yeah. Yeah, because you want it to be very damp because of all the plants you have immersed so it is you, you still need a lid or run the fog all the time mm. see there's a waterfall jesse coming out of the top oh okay okay i didn't know that so yeah, yeah. Waterfall. 
guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can probably get like a plexiglass uh, lid. You just cut a, yeah. hole in, cut a hole in the center. I have a little tiny plexiglass lid. I might try that. Yeah. I probably I normally don't recommend plexiglass lids, uh, but first of all, you're probably fine. Plexiglass. Or what is the other yeah. one? I have this with the holes in it. Yeah, for like three Poly polycarbonate. That's it has pretty much polycarbonate. Yeah. And then just cut cut a hole around cut cut a hole around where the tree stump is and the waterfall. That would so, work. Plexiglass warps over time, but I think polycarbonate. Well, for for a small tank, you he'll be fine. Oh, that's Not true. Sure. That's true. Yeah, just, I think just, cut, a hole, just cut a hole around that, uh, that stump. Yeah, you can, you can, cut like the can, side right here and just put it in like an L. I see what you mean. Either an L or just cut a circle out. One of those two. Either one. Okay. You can get those, um, those rimless tank um, ledges so that it holds the... <clears throat> It holds the, the glass lid on nicely. You ever seen those? Kind of I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know the you no, know, I know it's exactly what you're saying. The little little tiny uh plastic things. It just yeah. looks smooth. It's a nice look. I don't I know I don't have to get those, but my my LFS thing. sells them. Oh hmm. I might have to do a small tank like that somewhere if I can. <laughs> is it a UNS? Yes. Auto natural. What does it stand for? Something. UN systems. <laughs> no. The nature system. Yeah. UNS. Check it out. <laughs> you can see the waterfall now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Jesse saw the filter. The pump is in the back. Look. Where's the fogger? Fogger is in the back too, in the back of the plants. Try um, try feel the temperature of the water. Is it hot? Right now, let me see. Oh yeah, oh, it is. Because the fogger will heat the water. You're right about that. Let's check. So you gotta that. be you gotta be careful what you stock, that they can handle that heat. How hot it's gonna get? Yeah, some because that's Ooh. little bit water. So it's hot. That's hot. No good. Hot yeah, mm. no fish. Mm-hmm. Discus hot. Yeah. Yeah, pretty discus yeah. in there. Then. <laughs> no, what? I wasn't planning the fogger. Just the sh the fogger, just like the show. You know, that would be okay. Just leave it in there. Every now and then, turn it on, and then do the. I'm gonna cut the acrylic right now and cover it up. It's better that way. Well, yeah, maybe run it. Maybe run the mister every so often. Uh, once in a moment, get a timer on it. That way, it runs automatically. Maybe. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was fun. Oh, and I did it on the live, you know, on the on the background. Mm. Sweet looking little branchy. It was a big stump, so it was sitting in this tank, right? In this tank, in the middle. So it was sitting there for a while and soaking, you know. And then I put it in there. It's perfect. It's not going to go anywhere. Put it in there, he's saying, because of the water so hot. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they yeah. look hot. Yeah, they do. Hot. <laughs> That's probably why a lot of people have problems with them, too. They like it hot. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. How's it going? Yeah, yeah George normally does an excellent... Not normally. He does an excellent job on these things, on his little projects that he does. I hate when I put in unnecessarily unse unnecessary fillers. <laughs> you see it better? 
and that AR mini is gonna do well because um I used to have one that grows out of the water. It grew up out of the tank, out of the water. It was, it's totally fine. How about this guy? Oh, you're, you're cutting out. Okay. What kind of moss did you put on? Is that paleo? The hydrocotta. Huh. Uh, no, there is actually fissident moss in the corners right mm -hmm. here. And there is uh, the top is a, what you call it, a mini Christmas moss. Oh, okay. Immersed. Well, water is touching it. It's all soaked in water. I didn't no, even go. What's, what's the plant that you put in there that was immersed? Uh, one the second. One. Was it a previously immersed plant? Like a tissue culture or something? Yeah, there's something in there that he took out of a box that was immersed and he put it on there. Hey, is, there it that, is it that white one? Kind of light colored? I'm not sure it just froze, so I don't know which one. I saw him do it. I just don't know what it's called. I'm not like Blake. <laughs> I know it's every plant name in the world. <laughs> that was a fun game, by the way, Blake. You know, that was last night. I I, I think I... Did I fall asleep at the end? Uh, you might have. Because I woke up and then it was on... With another stream over here it's with um aqua balls and surprise a lot and then I, it woke me up and like what is this and i was already like 30 minutes in <laughs> and i don't remember the end of blake's stream i was like i think i fell asleep <laughs> so blake got a lot of uh free views <laughs> oh, we lost george oh. ah. so i don't i don't know what the end result was like i remember everything was top heavy at some point but um, I don't know. Yeah, S, A, and B were filled <laughs> at the end. At, yes, at the very I end. I gotta go watch the end and see where I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah, in the chat, I, I put a link to a uh, to a video uh, from some other YouTuber out there. He did an excellent excellent job on these multis. Uh, this multi video, it's very professional looking. For some reason, it only has like about 500 views. So if you ever have time, definitely check it out. It's a good video. A lot of, very, a lot of information. What is Kurt talking about? Who? Kurt, Cyclist 23. Like he had a meltdown? What? But, I, but what do you mean I missed it by four seconds? No, I mean, I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. George, there's another link for you. Catch me up. Yeah, you have to catch me up too. I don't know if it was part. Was it part of Blake's uh, Blake's game or was it a separate one? Oh Not yeah, good. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He yeah, like I guess it wasn't. Uh, I guess it was on. It wasn't on Blake's. <laughs> it was on Anthony's stream, and then I I went. To oh. the through the guitar bathroom or something and i was gone for a while <laughs> yeah. and then, black along the guitar that was fun yeah and then i came back and i'm like hey what's going on <laughs> uh, uh, yeah that, that was the one and only drinking stream i don't think there'll ever be another one quite like that one yep <laughs> uh blake if you want to come off here too you click the link too <laughs> You want to join us up here? Too Two many red cordials. Oh, I'll be back. All righty, Jesse. Uh, we lose George again even before you got back up here. <laughs> Dave, press for the wife, bro. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. She, she's doing okay. It's just a matter of just, she's, she's at work right now, so. She's just dealing with the uh, right now. She's just with the uh, positive patients now. So, yeah. Ah, no worries, Blake. Uh, I just gotta worry about myself. <laughs> it's 
especially due to my own reasons. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I got the I got the uh, Blake notification of his chat on StreamYard before I got on YouTube this time. Well. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, George is back. Hey, George. Am I cutting out? Yes, you are. Well, you're not cutting out. You're just laggy. Big time lag. <laughs> so, yes, you're cutting in and out. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a little bit better right now, so... Jesse, once again, thank you so much. I'm very happy. I'm glad. I'm glad. And my sticker looks like your shirt with the black background. It's awesome. <laughs> That's right. You, I finally found that custom-made sticker. <laughs> that was funny. I woke up the next day. I'm like, "What is this?" <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's right. That's that's what happened. I'll be right. right Jesse, back uh, any order in today? What I sent her? Huh? What you said? Uh, I sent the uh, set aquatic two. Beta. She got it. She got it already. Yeah. Wow. Wait, when did when did you send mine on Monday? What is today? Wednesday. She got she got hers like two days ago. Tuesday. Tuesday. No, no, no. I sent yours Tuesday. But you sent hers on Monday. You sent mine Monday, on Tuesday. Yeah. And so she got hers in Monday in two days. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, mine is gonna take like five Did days. It tomorrow. Wow. It says well, um, they're in the same box you sent me in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I always appreciate getting my box back. I appreciate getting my box back. <laughs> we can just By keep way, trading uh, back and forth, back and forth. I'll send you something new. <laughs> we'll do it uh, once a month. How's that? You're welcome. Be our once, a month, once a month trade. Okay, what are we looking at here? It's like a, it's like a subscription Absolutely. box. Fifteen dollars a month. Subscription box. Yep. <laughs> Not bad at all. Oh wow. Look mm -hmm. at that beta aquarium cup has. Beautiful beta. Ah, oh, pretty. That's a female. That's nice. nice looking beta. Kind of has like a camouflage kind of look. Let's see, Blake. Blake wants to know if that's a koi cellophane. Yeah, it was. I think so. <laughs> Miles has the other one. It's not one of a kind, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But he made his own. I don't think I have one of your stickers yet, Jesse. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me your address. Yeah, later point in time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'll, I'll probably send it to you on Facebook later. Okay. Oh, and your sticker is that orange fish that's like yes. die cut up, right? Yeah, right here. I'll see if I have any more of those left for you. 
you know what I forgot to do, cop? I forgot to send you my my retro stickers. Since you've been my friend since the beginning, I should have sent you the stickers that my original ones too. I had two other previous versions. Yeah, I, re I remember those. You said you gave those to uh, Jay eight oh eight. Yeah, I should I should have sent them to you. <laughs> next time, next time. Yeah, no problem. Hey, the bear. I got the only. Be, the, uh, do you take them out and leave them in there? Oh, I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch any of that either. <clears throat> Sorry, you spoke the same time. That too. <laughs> Go ahead, George. Jesse, the chinoides, when you breed them, the female, do you take it out or you leave it with the male? Oh, you take her out. Once mm -hmm. you see him holding it in his mouth, yeah. you take her out. Mm -hmm. Because um, you have to take her out. You have to take her out. You ha Every time I leave them in, the, the fry get eaten. Mm -hmm. I have done it. I leave. I left her in a couple of times because I don't want to breed them all the time. I I'll have too many, mm -hmm. so when I don't want to breed them, I leave them together, <laughs> and they will not have fry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll keep being pregnant. So poor guy, right? I shouldn't. I should just leave him alone. But um, because <laughs> he's holding for like the ten days, the fry get eaten, and then they breed right away again. So he's like hardly gets to eat. Poor guy. Yeah, probably you leave him alone for a little bit. Yeah, I wow. know. That's so what you do with Mamuna sometimes when they hold. I totally missed Dan's fish. Uh, I totally missed that stream on Wednesday. Yeah, Jesse, the guy that won your fish, is that a fish person? I wasn't familiar with the name on Dan's uh, thing. You know, I, 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 I got, yeah, I got his real name. Um, I, I and I don't know him either. I'm not familiar with that person. A Z is the channel name. Um, Just A Z. Yeah. No, I know his. I know his real name. He's like a, a Y. -Z. He has like a Vietnamese last name. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't know him personally. Hmm. Let's see here. But um, he's he's a fish person because actually he wanted to add to his order. Mm -hmm. He's buying some fish from me as well, just to make it, you know. Oh, I might as well get some fish too. So, okay. Oh, that's, cool. that's awesome. Yeah. I was just that's worried cool. it was like a gamer and like you send him some fish and he don't care about. Oh it. yeah, no, he's a fish person. That in that way, I know he he's a hobbyist. Yes, Miles, I shaved it off. <laughs> a little shorter than I wanted, but it, I think it works. <laughs> How old do the wild betas live? Or, uh, that's what GRB wants to know. Mm, I I never looked that up, but I've had them for I feel like a couple years, and um, the parents are still alive. They've they've um, hmm. I think they've had one, two, three, four batches now. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll retire that male after after this. Actually, yeah, he's had too many. Yeah, Blake's has three to five. Based off of no facts, just what he thinks. <laughs> blade three, Dave. You think I should use blade number three instead of one? We tried this with the acrylic, don't worry. It shattered. Oh. <laughs> okay. What is Cody asking the old baddest one? What is what is the old baddest one? Oh, you're talking about the um the sticker. You have a sticker with the baddest on it before? Yeah, yeah. You have to remind me. <laughs> Those are uh, limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> limited edition ones. Get them all again. There was this logo that um 
that Jay made me. I never made a sticker out of that one, but that was that was a pretty cool one. Mm. Ruba or five to seven says Google. That's from Blake's. That, seems, Blake's. that feels right to me. George. What's, What's up? Georgie. Yes, sir. Why don't you show Jesse the betas you got from him? The betas are hiding. He's not going to be able to see it. Mm. Chinodi's They're in the back of the... They're in the tank in the back of the rock, so they're kind of breeding right there. I watched them, but I watched them with a flashlight, and they're mm -hmm. hiding in the back of the rock. They won't come up. They're, it's like a nice planted tank. A lot of plants. There's a pearl weed, uh, crypt parva in the floor, so the fry is going to have fun. And I mean, uh, he, I don't he know did, if he he even. Sent, he, he sent me a video earlier of them breeding. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I did. Okay. Is he um is he really colored up and red nice nice looking right now? He should be. He yeah, should be a he has white. actually. But I haven't seen his white on his tail. No. Oh no, white on the tail. The white part on the tail is still young to show. He's he is kind of young, yeah. He's young. But um, yeah, that's why I was kind of surprised that they were gonna spawn already. That's what I was surprised. I'm like. Yeah. I saw him again. I could have swore nothing looked like in his mouth, but I don't know. Mm. I don't think the female's holding it. <laughs> Trying to cut some acrylic to put it on that paladarium. Be careful with that. Huh? Be careful with that, sir. Yeah, it's a dull knife too. It won't. It will cut really nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since I shaved my hair like this, so. You'll see some of my older videos with, with the no hair look. Although I don't think I cut it this short, though. This time I was going with, oh, I'll cut it short, and if it's bad, then it'll grow back. Not going to cut. Yeah, right now. Yeah. I might cut my hair any day. Huh? I might cut my hair any day. I'm not attached to it. <laughs> were you, were you, <laughs> return, return, it, return it to how you had it in Jimmy's video? And that's how I normally look anyway. That's hey, this, this, is, this is a home cut. 10 so. years. <laughs> I've had my head shaved for like 10 years. This is like whenever people see me now, they're like, whoa, <laughs> you look so different. <laughs> yes, you do, Jesse. When I saw when I saw when I saw when I saw Jimmy's video at first, and then I, I look at you now, it's like it, it didn't connect until I saw. Oh wait, no, that's Jesse. I know oh, that for that's Jesse. <laughs> that's funny. I remember that video. I watched that. That's how I got my Daphne idea. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, how many ideas did you get from other uh, YouTubers, Jesse? <laughs> oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Watching other people—that's pretty much. You don't even know it, but you, you know, you pick up a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's where I got my Daphnia from. I started with with with, with Jimmy's video with you in it. <laughs> that one I didn't get from another. I think it was talking to people locally, like, "Oh, you know, how you take care of yours." We yeah. got, the guy I got it from told me he's doing water. Yeah. I, I don't really think it to just keep it outside and whatnot. whatnot. Well, I, I could do that. I could keep it outside. Mm. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you don't even feed them, yeah? You just let them go. Yeah. 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 But then I'm not really mass producing them either, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not mass feeding them, so when they get busy, then I start taking some out and then feed them and whatnot. Yeah, that's not what I want to 
thing to do. Multifasciosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Have you, have you watched his other videos, Jesse? Does he speak English in all of them or just certain ones? Um, certain ones he does not. Most of them he does, but mm. certain ones he doesn't speak English. Yeah, I'm just wondering why he doesn't get a lot of views for, especially considering he has like 9,000 people mm. following him. He's getting about as many views on his his videos as I get on mine, and I'm nearly at like four five and no, four oh eight. How was dinner? Dinner was okay tonight. It wasn't that mm. good? I had um ribs and mm. broccolini, mm. which I actually really like broccolini mm. and kimchi. I had pancit tonight for my well for my wife. So pancit, pancit. Filipino dish. Mm -hmm. The noodles, the rice noodles. Yeah. Yep, yeah, rice noodles. Mm -hmm. Do you use lime? I don't think she used any lime on that one. Sometimes they use lime as like a, a dressing mm -hmm. on top after. Anyway, I should there try it. Guppies, I see guppies. 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 Yep, okay. Miles didn't get to see this tank yet. Do I have someone else sitting down here? Oh. Hi, hey. Derek. Hey, Derek. I saw you down there. <laughs> How long are you waiting? <laughs> uh, a few minutes. No big deal. Okay. Didn't, didn't, Love, didn't think you're in my second row. <laughs> you're hitting on the second row. It's been a while since I shared out that link, too. So it's like, uh. Oh yeah, <laughs> Derek, uh, you must have uh, like hunted down that link, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I collected. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Is it still in view? Yeah, I can still see it. <laughs> if I scroll <laughs> up. Mhm. Mm Stays in there for a good while. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Right now, I'm 11, not 11, 141, and you private chatted me at 138. Hmm. How long were you? How long were you waiting before you commented in the private? Hmm. Probably about a few seconds. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, about three minutes. <laughs> wow. Eh, no problem. <laughs> Gonna look for I'll be right back. Alrighty, Jesse. We need to get some McGriddles. Oh, you guys want to have McGriddles down in Florida? McGriddles? Hmm. I love McGriddles, especially the bacon, egg, and cheese one. Now I'm gonna have to go to McDonald's one of these days soon. Been a while since I had a McGriddle. Been a while since I've actually been to McDonald's. Oh, uh, McDonald's. Yeah. I've been to McDonald's since uh, probably like March or April. <laughs> I had McDonald's the other night. <sighs> Ever since with that, everything going on, me not working, I haven't been stepping foot at McDonald's or any restaurant as much. Even drive throughs I haven't really been in either. Ah, Korean cup changed. Why are you wearing the funny bunny mask there, Korean cup? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Does that sometimes? Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you even know where that line comes from? No. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Donnie Darko. Mm hmm. Never seen Donnie Darko. No. A uh, character wears a kind of mask that looks like kind of like that is with bunny ears. Uh, kind of, and uh, Jake Guinanal or whatever his name is um, basically asks him, "Why are you wearing a funny bunny mask?" Uh, hmm. I'm assuming that's where Aquarium Cup got that from. Mm -hmm. Maybe he could have got it from somewhere else though. <laughs> but it looks good. 
Mm-hmm. Is that where you got it from, Aquarium Cup? Or no? I didn't hear him. Hey, Dave. Yes, George. You know the best uh, masks to buy from? Halloween masks? Where? Hollywood. Hollywood? Yeah, they have a specialty store mm. for makeup. Oh, boy. Special yeah, you can do a lot makeups. of that makeup. <laughs> they call it special effect makeups. Uh, yeah, you can do a lot with that stuff. Yeah. Bro, I used to actually uh, do, I have a photo on my Facebook, maybe you can find it. Uh, look like a zombie face. Zombie face? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, we had uh, we had a girl come in and do some makeup like that for a play I did once. Hey, George. Hold oh. on. Okay, no worries, George. I see that you're not on camera now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was looking at the camera when, he, when I first said George. Hey, do you remember those Cenodonis I got when I was uh, visiting your house that one day? Cenodonis? Uh-huh. You remember the Cenodonis? Mm. Yes. Let me, let me see if I can catch them on camera so I can show you. Cool. Okay. Let's see. One was that a second ago. Mm, that looks like a that looks like a seventy five. Let's see where are they at? Come on, where are you at? Is that a seventy five, Dave? Sixty. Oh, it's a sixty. Okay. Uh, all the Mabinas are hiding right now, and the Cinnadonis doesn't want to come out right now. was right over here they're all kind of hiding right behind the rock right there <laughs> one hides right underneath there uh where are you and i probably have to try to catch it again later mm-hmm. well, one of these days i'll take a picture of it i don't think we can catch it uh live mm-hmm. oh the last door you oh Oh, hi, everybody. Well, I should say hi. <laughs> hey, I made it. Is this good enough? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Did you break it? <laughs> no, it's a another acrylic. T- it's acrylic one. Oh, I thought you just like broke them. Just ripped it off. <laughs> So it's gonna be like foggy in there. It has to be without even the fog or it has to be foggy. Man, this is a nice glass, bro. The corners are uh, cut like a precision cut. You see it? It's a mm-hmm. corner. Look at the way it is, right? Mm-hmm. They did like a corner cut, a forty-five degree angle kind, yeah. Yeah, 45. It's a laser cut. Very nice. Mm. That's why it was expensive. I paid uh, $36 plus tax, you know, 40 bucks for one gallon and a half tank. I heard it's like the um, the same makers or same brand as ADA, but it's like their, their cheaper line. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> If, if, it's, if that's the case, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, George. Well, There's some Dallas, I think. Kind of hiding with the Nice. Eyes. See it, George? Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. I see it now. Okay. It got big, dude. Yes, it did. What is that, Pecha Cola? Yeah, I'm not send it down. Oh. It is or no? No. Uh, which one? Cenodontis, right? What? Did I blank? What kind of Cenodontis? Ah, what is that one? Uh, the one that with a P? I think no. it's a hybrid one. Let's see here. Same factory, different badge. 
Lusa Penis, maybe? Yeah, Lusa Penis. Yeah, it's like yeah, Lusa Penis. That's the one. It's either um, Pechicola yeah, or Lusa yes. Penis. They okay. look the same. But one is larger than the other. Yeah, tanks look great. George here. <laughs> that is looking good, George. Yeah. I'm just showing it's like foggy without even the fog because the temperature of the water turned up hot. 84 right now. It went down a little bit. And then I put the lid. So that works, right? Little holes on top of the lid, too. Probably, I mean, with the lid on, you probably don't have to run the fogger a little bit. No, I don't think so, man, because there's water running all around the branches everywhere. So yeah. everything is stuck in water. Yeah. Well, the fog is probably just going to be more for looks to begin with. If you want the truth, there's more humidity here than – I'll be lying. There's humidity there, too. You see it's humid. <laughs> That's a lot of humidity there. It's condensing down That's the side. It's a humidity zone, that's why it's growing nice and nice. All I know there's there's humidity behind me too, so that 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 sixty gallon just uh, evaporates like crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think I think I think uh, I think multi, I think uh, multi I think that's what I think that's what it is. Dave, look what I did. I took the superchromis out of there. I put two pairs of uh, this. I mean, uh, two pairs of angels. Interesting. Mm. Okay. It divided oh, using a, okay, mm. using a sponge as a divider. Yeah. That's right. Yep. The whole entire sponge. This is a 50 gallon. I divided it as a pair of. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like 50 or 55. Yeah, on the right side. Oh, angels. The, those ones on the right, they're brand new, kind of like, they, I don't know why they're in a the corner. They were vicious for some reason. They'll be up tomorrow, I'm sure. And these guys are for sure there. Black and blue. Mm -hmm. They look pretty. Like the same. Mm -hmm. Hey, George, how's the uh, multi doing that I gave you? Doing okay or? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I see him. Hey, David's missing you. <laughs> Can't turn. I actually, I actually talked about that multi earlier in the stream, too. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to take this people. tank down, maybe. All the plants mm -hmm. out. Make a multi tank. Mm -hmm. Longer, yeah, bigger, <laughs> double the size. Uh -huh. and, get some, uh, and then get some of the, um, uh, what are those, Cypachromis on the top of that one. You get a lot of them on well, that one. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice long tank, tank for them, too, on the Cypachromis. They like that long, long area. Come here, dude. Mm -hmm. Got bigger, Dave? Hmm. I think so. Mm. Oh, yes. Jungle, jungle. Mm. I'd see them in person, most likely, but. Are they egg scatterers? Use the jar half full of marbles to collect the eggs. Oh, interesting. Let's feed him a roach. Oh boy. <laughs> Here, buddy, you want one? I got some big roaches over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, froze on the more important part. 
he he ate that like nothing. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. No. 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 Miles. I I remember what they are now. Um. Uh, what they are? They're the. Uh, let me get the name for him. It's not the multipuncturist. I think it's a mix between the two that I mentioned. Uh, they're Valentine catfish, the uh, Decorus times the multi. They're a hybrid between the Valentine. It's the Valentine ones. That's what they are. They're a hybrid one. You should buy them, Miles. George's flower horn got red eyes like Miles. <laughs> what? Hey, the Sipicomas are right there, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, you said you said the t big tank with multis. I put a bunch more of those cypochromus on top. No, they'll love it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, GRB. My petrocola are active. Uh, my petrocola are only active when I'm feeding them. Uh, these guys in this tank, which are the Valentine ones, uh, they're all active. But my petrocolas are still small, tiny little things. Did we lose yeah. George again? I think it froze. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe. My phone yeah. just went off. <laughs> uh, ah. There. Let's see. Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is he oh yeah nice i'll show you this then aquarium cop the one and only uh, you guys got the, HC you got the good saint creek auto uh aquatic sticker you got the uh, die cut ones yeah i didn't get that one either I got nope. the old one. I like nope. the back that one better. No fear. <laughs> oh well. Here's mine. No one has this but me. <laughs> Till you what? do. Aquarium cop stickers. Oh, Jesse got the original one. See? Nobody got that. That's old school, Jesse. Look, look who else I got. Oh yeah, Neo Gold, the old school one too. <laughs> this is this is my original sticker. Wow. Look, how, look how shitty. <laughs> 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 what the hell is that? Put your name on it. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's funny. And then, this is my oh, second that's one. More interesting. Ah, that's a better one. That was a good that's one. Cool. Didn't eight oh eight make that or something? Huh? DPK I thought eight oh eight made you one. I thought it was that one. No, this is the DPK one. This is my first one right now. Carlos. 808 made a, uh, a logo, but I never made it a sticker. Yeah. Here's my first one. <laughs> my first and only so far. Oh, first and only. First and only so far. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my logo to be finished on that one. Remember this Cat guy? Cop, remember this guy? Wait, I can't see it. Hold on. Of course. Chris with a K. Yeah, hmm. this guy's gone too. What? Sergeant Tang, I, I saw him yeah, recently. I, I, he popped up uh, like last week. Oh, really? Yeah, he was. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, he, I think he did a uh, live stream actually. And so did the Bachelor, aka Chris. Really? Yeah, like a uh, week and a half ago, maybe two weeks. Oh, cool. he did a oh, they're still around then. Good, good, good. Actually, I got I got my original Daphne culture from um from um Jeremy from, um Jeremy Thanks. Cool. I got a Saudi tank shirt and a sticker. I guess I should. Yeah, he has such a nice shirt. Yeah, that's the guy, um, Lamont, that used to work for Corey. He he drew that, designed that shirt. Oh, it's really nice. And then he got married and moved, and hmm. not with that. That's like what four or five years ago. Yeah, is Jeremy ever gonna come back? Let's see. Let's see. Let's. See. I mean, we're gonna see here. Like, 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 four months. Well, you know what? Twenty twenty is a blur. So I could say four months. Meanwhile, probably eight, nine months. Uh, like, like today. I think it's Wednesday. Meanwhile, it's Friday or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, 
twenty twenty is just a weird year. Oh yeah, it is a year weird year. <clears throat> like in my mind, I haven't made a video in like two weeks, but it's been like seven months. So I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. How long has it been for me? I feel like it's been a month. 2020 uh, is like a toss salad. <laughs> a bad one. Yep. Yeah. Well, according to his ch Surgeon Tink's channel, his last video was one year ago. I mean, I haven't made a video ever. So. Yeah, but so so Sergeant Tank was on someone's live stream like three weeks ago. I, yeah, I saw. I um, saw. I, I, th I think I saw his name like about a week ago too. So he popped up. Um, on the panel or just in chat? I, no, on the panel. I just don't remember who the heck it was. Oh, wow. Hmm. So he's still kind of run. I know he still messages me once in a while, so I know he's alive. <laughs> like, he just says, what's yeah. up, you know? Jeff Rose. I want to make this my next sticker. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cigar sticker, right? <laughs> it's my <laughs> cigar. Uh, yes, yeah. my cigar pack. Is that is that how you got your uh, nickname? It's AC Aqua. I, I, I cut it out. I was like, oh, I'm gonna save this one. <laughs> yeah, what is, is that? What they, is that what the AC stands for? No, it's my is middle it name. Something about you and your wife, or something like that. I forget what the, I forget what it was. It's my middle name. Middle okay. name HC. Yeah. I figured it was a reference to a name or something like that. Mm. Jeff Rose, haven't seen him in a while. Jeff Ro uh Jeff Rose? Uh, Jeff Rose. Uh, who who who's that person who got swatted I during that live stream? Jeff Rose. Jeff Rose? <laughs> Jeff Rose? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. That was nuts. That's got, so crazy. Oh god, he got swatted. Man, that sucks. You know, and that after that he did kind of slow down after that. Hmm. No, well, anybody would. <laughs> that probably would freak you out. He did, a, he did a recent one where he um he has like like this new young girlfriend, and he was streaming with her. Mm. That was that was interesting. <laughs> I mean, most of the time it happens during the stream. So set up. Uh, yeah, Blake. It's a it's a combination of those two things. What I didn't say. It. Hemianthus, Kalichikides. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. If anybody should be swatted, it should be Miles. Yes, for streaming <laughs> when I'm streaming. <laughs> I want I, I want to swing from a ripcord through his porch. <laughs> and he'll be like, what? <laughs> and I would like, and then like the like the camera will focus in on Aqua Balls and H E Aqua's um sticker on the tank. <laughs> On the side of his tank, and then we have to go investigate you guys. It's like, you know, so funny. Where did you get this stuff? Where did you get this? Ugh. Who are these people? I don't know, dude. I just see a pepper. Dead Fred. I, I haven't seen Dead Fred lately. <laughs> they think they're busting him for weed, but they only find peppers everywhere. He's a little natural, dude. It doesn't. It does seem like. When I first met Miles, I thought he was high. I mean, <laughs> he was. <laughs> Don't Miles? even talk about that. We we love Miles. Where is let's you're, Miles? You're, you're saying that Miles is here. Like this pepper. That's it. Yeah, that's just the impression I got. <laughs> I didn't say was. Matter. Yeah, he's the impression that you get. Dying bag is oregano. He's got a good heart and he eats peppers. That's that's what you got to do. Very interesting works. thing happens when you put it know, Everything tastes Italian afterwards. Yeah, DMC uh, DMC's kind of dropped off. I don't know what happened to him. I just saw DMC. Oh, um, Jess. Hmm. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know if you know. Um, Kevin Pitts made a video today. Oh, he did. Remember Kevin Pitts? Yeah. Yeah, he made a video for me. And Wait, I saw well, Secret I, 23. I have seen that. Let's see. I got to go look. Because YouTube turns off 
fucking notifications. I know, they turned off um, C23. You hardly get notifications. Oh, God, so annoying. You got to go to everyone's channel, unsubscribe <laughs> and resubscribe. It's like people that I keep up with, too. Like, ever since they did that um, kid thing, mm. like they, yeah. I think they, they just turned off everybody's mouth. Uh, lately, when I've been getting notifications for live streams, uh, within like 30 minutes of starting, they tell me, oh, they're starting in like five minutes. Sometimes uh, you get it two days later. <laughs> yeah, no, really. It's because yes. Usually I get it like 30 minutes after it started, and I'm already there. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was helpful. <laughs> uh, see, lately, lately, things for notifications for me have been wor working perfectly. I've been getting them like a half an hour before, and when it starts... But when they give me the 30 minutes before, it doesn't say 30 minutes before. They tell me, oh, it's starting in five minutes. I'm like, what? And I go in there. It's like, oh, 30 minutes waiting time. <laughs> what? What everybody has to do, and I did it the other day. Well, it was probably like three hours of work. You have to go um, to who you subscribe to list. Click on them, and you'll see the, the, the bell is X'd out. And you're like, I would never do that. Yeah, I hate that. You have to unsubscribe to them, resubscribe to them, hit the all bell, and then you're good. Ever since that kid thing came out, hmm. oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I just you know, explain myself sometimes, but yeah. ever, ever since that kid rule came out, I think e um, eBay, um, YouTube just hit, knocked everybody's bells, like unrang everybody's bells. So Their algorithm's probably just drunk. So when you go to um, some of your people's that you watch, you love, channel, you'll see, like, that bell is has an X through, and you're like, I never did that. And the only way to get rid of it is if you unsubscribe and resubscribe and then hit the bell again. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody's everybody's views are low right now because of that kid... What was that? That kid rule or whatever. So I guess YouTube trying to cover themselves and just unrung everybody's bell. Mm -hmm. And now I'm telling you, go 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 to some of your channels that you haven't. You're like, oh, I haven't heard from that guy in so long. <laughs> and then you go there, like, oh shit, he made seven videos last week. I mean, like, oh my god, so you got unsubscribe and resubscribe and hit the bell. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's YouTube. It's, it's not it's my bad. job to watch other people's kids. If parents <laughs> are so concerned, what they're watching on the on the internet, watch uh, them, what they're watching. It's, it's not. It's not even. It's not even YouTube. It's it's the government. That's what it is. It's, YouTube is just doing what they have to do to, based on what the government rules say. Yeah, they made a stupid law, and now they have to follow the stupid law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or risk getting it's fined. It's so true. Like, if the parents, you know, like, that would have never happened with my kids. Yeah. That's I, I remember, um, what was it, MySpace or whatever came out when my <laughs> kids were little. And my kids never went on MySpace. You know, I was like, it's not a kid thing you know like go watch your cartoons you're not gonna watch yeah. my because there's men and ladies and you know whatever i mean my house everything's open so if my kids want to access as they can i mean but they're just seeing cartoons so it's like <laughs> i mean yeah. my space died when facebook came into the picture it's not what like what the kids were watching is the fact that youtube was collecting information Right, well, um, that's the, the whole problem. That's the issue, exactly. So now you have to like, oh, if 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 a kid is watching, then mark it as kids, and then we'll know not to collect their information, which is stupid. Do, <laughs> do, do, yeah. do you know? Do you know whose account they uh, watch YouTube under? My account. So, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. So, so YouTube thinks I watch uh, kitty uh, kitty stuff. Yeah, <laughs> just... it's so annoying. <laughs> My kids do that too. I was like. Get yeah, off my account! Is. What is all of this? Well, what it is? Hey, I have crap. accounts uh, under my Pe name, Pe so it's multiple oh. different different profiles. Pe so. Peppa Pig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, yeah. if you watch a Peppa Pig, not meaning you or your kids watch Peppa Pig, now YouTube thinks you're a kid, so they they make your kid your channel a kid channel. <laughs> oh, that's terrible! Like like uh, safe or something like that. That would be terrible if they did that to me. It's so, oh so weird. I would cry. Yeah. Well, my, my kids always use their own profile in it, so because they 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 only want to see what they want to see, so they they click on their profile to see it. So. Yeah. I'll just tell, I'll just tell everybody anything right now. I've had YouTube Premium for years now, 
and it's awesome. I could watch everybody in the world, zero commercials, and I love it. Anyways. And once I click on, just say, um, mm -hmm. Jesse, you're monetized, right? Mm -hmm. Once I click on it, even if I like have to go to the bathroom and I turn off, I don't see any of your commercials but you it gets the correct like my channel watching your channel I, like anybody i heard, I heard I that's monetized better you get instant instant press yeah, GRB, I mean, better better uh, i love uh, uh, GRB. premium i'm i'm sorry but it's the best ten dollars a month of my life yeah i, I just because i watch I youtube a lot for GRB here a uh, grb yeah benny's young but he's not under 13. uh with uh, with the copa youtube stuff it's under 13. If, if they're over 13 for some reason, it's fine. <laughs> I thought it was 14. It, no, 13. Kids, kids lie about their age. That's all Somebody I'm said it was yeah. 14 or they were changing. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have YouTube Premium too. I I, I basically okay. got it for the music streaming just because I get listen to music in my car because I, I use that in my car as well as around the house. But yeah, I don't I don't see any ads on YouTube at all. So Dave, you you nice. bought the you bought the family version, yeah? Yes. I should get that. I only have yeah, you I get, only have my personal yes. one. Yes. Yes, you get eight people on the family one. I think it's six, isn't it? Yeah, I don't I don't have the family one. I just do personal. So everyone oh, maybe uses mine, but I don't want them to use mine. Either six or eight. Yeah, I think it let me see. I mean, if the kid if kids want to get an eighteen plus stream, do is lie about their age on their YouTube account. I mean I my kids Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's up to the the host that's making the stream to know that this kid said is his age and it's an 18 plus screen and they just keep letting them in there. Oh Jesse, remember when I used to, yeah, I yes, yes, remember when I used to live stream and the kids would come in and we would just ban and block and they would, they would get attacked. There was like these three younger fish tubers, which is fine, but I would specifically make like, just say a night stream, like right now, I would put it 18 plus, and then you get these kids rolling in. Yeah, and we and, and we would and we would ban them. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna be afraid to ban someone. I think I, I, think I know. Because what then you feel uncomfortable in your own stream, cursing or talking or you know. So there's no reason for anybody under 18 to be in your stream mm -hmm. if it's labeled as an 18 over stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think YouTube needs to do a better job at that part. If it's over 18, and it needs to be over 18, because I. I Mm hmm. Like Anthony, I, I don't label mine over 18, but um, like when Anthony does his, I know he labels his over 18. So I try and remember to do that before the streams. Yep. And by the way, Derek, you could do it during the stream. Like, even though it's rolling, you could, like um, Dave could do it right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I tried to change something through. I'm telling you, you can. Through StreamYards. <laughs> there during any, the stream? Oh, well, StreamYards might be different, so I don't know. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to go into your channel dashboard. But um, is there any reason to but label? It wasn't a while ago, so over I might have changed it. I just, I just think all streams should be over eighteen, mm. unless you're a little baby running around. Like, why should uh, Jesse feel uncomfortable to smoke a cigar, or Miles to roll a blunt, or to somebody to you know curse during? Like, if I do a live stream that's eighteen plus. Why should we feel like oh, there's a twelve year old here? Like, like, why would you want the twelve year old there? Ban them, block them. It depends on your style of stream. <laughs> oh, I lost that subscriber. I don't need him. I need a kid <laughs> in my stream. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're a daytime guy, twenty four seven family man, blah, blah blah, fine. I mean. Yeah, I agree. Is, uh... Uh, do streams get ahead if if you label them over eighteen or no? In terms of the know. algorithm, I uh, I don't know. I didn't hear you, Dave. Uh, does your stream take a hit if it's labeled over eighteen? In the algorithm eyes, I think so. You think so? It's it, yeah. It it doesn't it doesn't like. You know how YouTube pushes out your video, yes, or, or your live stream, it gets less pushed out, I guess you'd say, or it only goes to people that subscribe to you. So I mean, you know, yeah. videos 
like a rate, like you make a video, here's my fish, blah blah blah. Don't mark them over 18. But if you're doing a live stream in the middle of the night, I, I suggest you do, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's smart, you know, because I don't want some <laughs> kids watching. I mean, our friends are having fun and slip up, sort of say, say something silly, you know. Yeah, people get too over over upset, upset about that at the beginning with like language. I'm like, my kids, my kids actually know better not to say those words, and they they know what those words are, but they hear them all the time. I I watch shows with them with them. It's like I don't care. It's like. They use it. They're going to use it. If you kind of, if you kind of try to prevent that, it's just going to entice more. <laughs> you, you, by YouTube policy, it is um, they say excessive swearing. So you can swear every once in a while, as long as it's not excessive. Mm. Um, then you don't have to mark it as only for adults or. Mm. Um, so um, they even allow a, a few to slip through. Um, yeah. What's what's what is labeled as excessive? Like what? If I say fuck fifty times, <laughs> that was excessive, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> that would be excessive. I've seen that word. <laughs> <sighs> that would be me if I filmed myself getting the fish from Jesse. I was like, f f f. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. oh, nah, you know, I cursed him at that time. I was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> This is the effing best. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is if you're streaming and your stream is already labeled 18 and over and a kid that you know is a kid coming in, why do you people let him in? You know, like, well, why do that? It's just not everybody's like, oh, everybody, everybody shut up now. Mm, can't, can't be myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying, Jess? Come on. You've been there. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I'm not sure if I hundred percent agree that I would have. So, to so, so, that. like, so, like, if you and I and everybody were just talking right now, we're laughing and blah blah. Mm -hmm. People are doing some funny stuff. The chat is blowing up, and people are talking adult stuff. And a, just say someone we know is twelve, gets in the chat even though he's not eighteen, and and the chat is labeled eighteen. Now everybody feels like uh. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, twelve year old shouldn't be on YouTube because that's against their uh, policy to begin with. But yeah, but <laughs> let's, let's say thirteen or fourteen for that sake. You could be, <laughs> could be five and get on on YouTube. And, yeah, you know. Yeah, they could be. They could be five and get on easily. Like you said, you your kids you know, watch through your account. Yeah, that's so, what yeah. YouTube's kind of weird. Account, 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 account does. So what I'm saying is. Dur during an active live stream that's marked eight, 18, like just say um, Blackie and uh, Anthony's drinking game, right? All of a sudden you see uh, someone you comment on or uh, watch his videos or whatever, and he's 12 or something. Now he's in Blackie's stream in the chat. Shouldn't like someone, in, some moderator go, beep, pull, pulls you out. Sorry, you, you shouldn't be here. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Well, in that case, they can still watch the stream. They just won't be able to participate in the chat. But at least you're covering yourself as the holder of that channel. Like, hey, we, he wasn't invited, and we blocked him. Mm -hmm. yep. You can get shut down for that. People are like, oh, you know, you know I, I talked to this kid during the day, and I commented on his videos. Yeah, but this particular stream, just say, is an adult stream. Even if nobody's cursed and not doing nothing bad, it's an adult stream, but you got a 12-year-old in it. I think it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Can you just block him for that stream? Isn't he oh, blocked from the you, channel? You block Technically, him, you back later and then unblock him. Te exactly. Technically, yes, because I used to do that. I used to block them. You know, they would get all sore and mad, but whatever. Then he unblocked them, and then if you had like a regular day, like daytime stream or video, they can watch and comment. Right. Mm -hmm. On a similar subject, I mean, but yeah. have you guys noticed on StreamYard you, you can now uh, block people in the chat and put them in timeout? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. I just noticed that. That is <laughs> that is actually a good thing. Yes, it is. That's yeah. an excellent thing. Yeah, no, I can't. Hey, you can how do you me. find out there, kids? Yes. I mean, just like 
Yes, I get black and white. I guess you could ask, but then they could just lie. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it, 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 I think it's. I think what Aquarium Cop is saying is, if you know for a fact that they're right, like, exactly. like Ronan, like Benny, like Benny's quiet, yep. you know he's under eighteen. Yes, Mac that's Gates. my point. Because <laughs> he's 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 like he's he's of the legal age to be on YouTube and record videos, but yet yeah. if he participates in over eighteen, he probably shouldn't be uh, participating in those chats. That's what uh, exactly. that's what Aquarium Cop's saying. Now, now it's like. Now I'll say Akabal is on here and he's really like 13, but he doesn't disclose that and you don't know that, then yeah. you have the deniability that you don't know. Hmm. Exactly. Okay. So so knowing that, given that, then then if Benny comes back, blame now, YouTube. should we kick him off? Uh, my stream is not labeled over 18. Is he for how old but is he? On, but if he's an Anthony's, then we should block him. Probably an Anthony. <laughs> Anthony does it over 18. <laughs> Okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I had that too bad. But Dave, but, 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 but Dave, you, you, you got me. You got what I'm oh, saying. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I, 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 just, I, I, just, I, just say this. Just say the stream's over 18. And we got someone. We all comment and know on the stream that we know is under 18. They shouldn't be in it. So somebody should block them. You know, tell him, oh, we saw a little boy, you know, rub his head and say, okay, you still watch your videos, still subscribe yeah, to you, true. but I don't want you on, you know, comment well, in that thing. Whether I'm, you can I'm, see yeah, or not. Yeah, I've I'm had YouTube. someone twice comment on my, um, after my streams have gone up on some naughty website. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's a new thing. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, the easy way around that is say no. I'm I'm sorry, but according to YouTube uh, right, rules, I and you can't you can't participate in this chat because yeah. you're 18. That's what you tell them. You don't you don't say I have to kick you out or you're gone. You just kind of you just put the blame on YouTube, which exactly that's where it is. It's just, probably like should be an opening remark on the stream or something. I know even streams that went down because people were vaping on them and they didn't mark them 18 plus, hmm. and they didn't do nothing wrong. They didn't curse. Nobody was doing drugs. There was no weird stuff. They were just vaping, and hmm. the channel hmm. got shut down just because they were vaping and it didn't market 18 plus. So it might not know. have been from vaping. Though, watch like, out. <clears throat> like live streams go down randomly for no reason at all. It might, not, it might not have been specifically for vaping. Blunt. Unless they specifically emailed you saying it was because of that. Yeah. You know? I wonder if that's what happened to one of my streams. I don't know. Hmm. I know, like, even Diva's stream has been taken down for no yep. reason at all. She's just talking. I, I remember I was yeah. doing it. It was, I was doing a troll commemoration stream to Sand Creek, I think. And I had I remember that. on there. I remember that. And, and you fought it and won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was showing off a tattoo. So I don't know if that was. That's too spicy. You so you fought it at one meaning it got reposted? Yeah, it got taken down because it said blah blah blah. This is violated community guidelines. Has not resulted in a strike. Policy. So I was just like, this has violated nothing, and they put it back up. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it back so, up. so probably a bot probably <laughs> took you down, and then they realized, okay, it doesn't violate anything. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, and it just, just someone made, someone someone red flagged it. I don't know if I. I can't remember if I put it eighteen plus. Beforehand or not? It was a while back. Oh, so if we red flag this stream right now, it might end. <laughs> I don't know. Don't do it, please. Don't give anyone <laughs> ideas. This is a good oh, stream for me too. So don't do, do it. Do I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot more on YouTube that needs to that deserves to oh, be red flagged. Boy. I see the yeah. button. That's terrible. Yeah, there's there's a lot of worse stuff out there than what we talk about on these streams. Oh, yeah, we just joke around. That's it. Yeah. Hey, Renan, how's it going? <laughs> like Jesse said, like two weeks ago or so, um, he was having a good jam with Aqua Balls. And I don't remember who's it, maybe Griffin or, or Big J or whoever. Oh. And they, they were just going back and forth and learning stuff. <laughs> and um, it was awesome. 
Oh boy. But then, like, some people got on the panel also, and, you know, curses slip out and this and that and the other thing. But that's not a bad thing. So I, I just think streams maybe should be 18 plus, but videos, that's fine, as long as you're not doing something weird in a video. Hey, Cody, so. I just think streams should be 18 plus. That kind of makes sense, Cop. I, I understand it. Because, like, with, with live streams, anything can happen at any time. Right. Mm-hmm. And you can't control it. It you already happened. That, right? it only so, so basically, wow. any and all live streams should be 18 and over. Like Big G. I mean, you can't. I remember that? Like, he didn't want that to happen, but it did, right? Right. I mean, that's, you that's, can't exactly. take things back in a live stream. It's not like you go back and edit it. You can. Uh, you can edit it. You can't, can't after, you can't after the fact. I know, but you can't edit it live. Like you, you yeah, can't. Yeah. Let, yeah. You can't let people listening or watching yeah. at that moment unhear that. You yeah. can't. I mean, you, you, you can edit it and it make it a video, video, but you can't edit you it right at that moment. Well, that's oh. the thing for live television. Then, sorry, Cody, so I must have missed you. Well, live television, yeah. you're on a delay with sensors. So. <clears throat> yeah. Well, there's the Janet Jackson thing that there was. They didn't <laughs> edit that out. Oh, that's a setup. Come on. <laughs> just for ratings. That was for money. <laughs> Pepsi probably gave a $2 billion, you know, for the, the yeah. nip slip. You can't you know edit I mean? people's minds, unfortunately. Yeah. That's why you put people exactly. on panels. You got to make sure that they're uh, trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We all went through that. Yep. Yeah, I, I know. I know Jesse. I trust Jesse, so I know he won't do anything stupid. It, see, so Benny is here now. Yeah, no okay. right now. but okay. I know that. Um, but I know Dave Stream is not eighteen plus, so I have no problem with it. I might slip a curse, but you know, oh well. <laughs> but we're we trying not to. We should watch what we're doing, right? Because we know. Yeah, that. exactly. Exactly. You ripping on me, cichlids? You better not be ripping on me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just need to know what, like, the channel kind this of... Mississippi is a fine, doing, upstanding so. state. If, they, if they're over 18, you got to be careful what you're doing, like vape off-screen or drink beers off-screen and stuff like that. Yes, exactly. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't yeah, care. I did. Smoke <laughs> or vape in my streams. I mean, do what you want to do. I mean, I may not be doing it, but who cares? <laughs> Right, oh, but yeah. your but 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 Derek, you mark yours as eighteen. That's my that's my point. Yeah, I don't. I didn't mark mine over eighteen, so that's the difference. Well, usually it's after the fact. Hmm. So I but if you do that, you might want to start doing it beforehand too. Yeah, no problem. Twenty three. I know Mississippi gets joked on a lot. Again, we joke on a lot of other states. <laughs> well, at least, at least everyone knows how to spell your name. M R S I S S I P P I. And that's and that's another difference, um, Dave. You were saying like, oh, you know, daytime television, um, evening television, and nighttime television. Even though they don't go nuts, but mm-hmm. um, like, but on YouTube, like now we're streaming, right? Yes. But all over the world, so it's daytime, nighttime, evening, at night, anywhere. Yeah. So like someone, just some kids waking up, like, oh, Dave's on, and oh, it's right, in right, uh, now, right now. Uh, Benny's aquatic. It's just probably right after dinner right now. So it, 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 exactly. So, but when you watch Channel Seven, you know, and the shows at the certain times of the day and night, that's controllable. But a live stream yeah. is worldwide. And yeah. you can watch it after the fact as well, too. So that's why I always think live stream should be hmm. eighteen plus if you're an adult making a live stream. Right, Nathan. Because it it yep. could be you know lunchtime for baby Joey in you know Australia right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I get your point. I mean, definitely. I mean, if that's the case, and every single live stream out there should be marked over eighteen or over. Yeah, yeah. No, no ends or buts. I mean, if you want to, if you want to send out videos to the younger people, then you have to do the pre-recorded stuff. Yeah, That's... like I, I have no need to make a video mm-hmm. eighteen plus, but a live stream, I would definitely do it. You never know what's going to happen. Right. All of a sudden, my pants could just fall down. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's happened. I, I was on a live stream. <laughs> I forget who it was, and uh, 
someone was in the bathroom and talking and blah, 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 and then they got up and the, the phone fell and you saw their junk. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, how, do, uh, how do you control that? I don't really... I should just nobody do not you take their phone. The the <laughs> it was Jesse. Yeah, I just want to see his face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, dear baby, we don't want any Vernons. <laughs> I'm sure Big J didn't want any Vernons either. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, you know, uh, Big Big J is like the nicest guy in the world, and like that happened. Like, really? Why? What was it, Nathan, that went bugged out on? He's like, what are you doing? Is that the one you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Derek? What do, what do you uh, mean? Wasn't Big... Didn't Big J have, like, a live stream and then somebody did something weird? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and, then, uh, Nathan, and then Nathan was, like, screaming, like, what are you... I'll get that off there. Yeah, the, the like, Vernon like, was his... I think the... Uh, so, either uh, that was his code name <laughs> or they used it as their code. Yeah, code name so, but... Big J didn't yeah. want that to happen, didn't know it was going to happen. You know, yeah. like, and people were like, oh, my God. I mean, I've heard of it happening before. Two other streamers. So you got to be very careful who you allow up. I mean. Yeah. I realize if I don't see a face, I don't, I don't let you up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I, I trust Derek. I trust Jesse. Uh, you're the first person. I mean, I know I know you're on the fish fam, so that's why I let you up a grand cup. Oh, thanks. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> see, 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 I don't need to personally know you, but I know you're around the fish fam, so exactly. Yeah. That's, that's that's my vetting process. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you around for a while, and I don't mind letting you up. And if you screw up, we can blast you on fish family. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know what happened? <laughs> this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. An asshole. Vernon was the dude's screen name. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. He was just pulling it out. Ugh. Yuck. I don't know. <sighs> Cops been around since ninety eight. Ninety eight. Was YouTube even a thing back in ninety eight? <laughs> no. <laughs> MySpace. YouTube didn't. Uh, YouTube didn't. Back in the glitter so. backgrounds. <laughs> How old is your account? Two thousand six. So. Do you even YouTube. know how old your account is? Uh, mine is. I started mine in two thousand twelve. Hmm. Wow, you're older than me. Yeah, I used to do gun videos on YouTube. Mine was uh two thousand seventeen. Well, my original one was Beyond to Keep Fish, and that was, I don't even know, 2012, maybe? Mm. But I just used to watch. I never even commented on nothing. <laughs> then I used to watch people like Jesse and stuff like that. People like, then you get into it. You're like, yeah, I got to show my Thanks, stuff. Here, I'm going to cut and paste my join date. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just say it. 2006 is my join date of YouTube. Damn. On this account? <laughs> On this account, yes. Well, I'm the youngest one here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what, what, is, what is my oldest video on my channel? Right well, now? There's, there, there's how old you are, and then there's YouTube years. Very different. Yeah, there's actually making videos, and there's actually how long you've been on YouTube. That's what I meant. I was like, I'm not going to go to Amazon. I'm not going to watch YouTube. You know? <laughs> Then you find, you see something and you're like, oh, oh, Amazon's pretty cool. Well, YouTube's kind of cool. Let's see. How old is my oldest video that I have up? Uh, I think mine's 2017, my maybe. first official live stream was uh, 11 months ago. Wow. That's a lot shorter than I thought it was. My oldest video I have up on my channel right now is 11 years old. Damn. <laughs> But my, my YouTubing it just goes back two years. My fish tubing, anyways, goes back to uh, two years. Oh, wait, pardon me. What Dang. <laughs> but the oldest channel, my oldest video on the channel is 11 years ago. I didn't even know about YouTube 11 years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, I, actually, I posted a video 11 years ago when my daughter was in preschool. But well, it wasn't on this channel. It was on my, um, after my secret channel. <laughs> I got it. I got Jesse's secret channel. Finally. Yeah, on that secret channel, I, I had But I won't say it. Too. Oh, I know that. Channel. Another secret channel. Oh, everybody knows my secret channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to do more live streams. <laughs> <laughs> That's my live stream channel. <laughs> I should yeah. mark it as 18 plus, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I did that to my channel. I, I thought you did. I don't know. I probably didn't. Uh, I marked my problem. channel not for kids because I don't know what I want to deal I'm with. I'm the it. one that used to tell Biggie's all the time. Mark this, mark this 18 over, dude. Mm. I love to get crazy on there. Yeah. Because yeah. I have no <laughs> real, I have yeah. no real interest. Uh, Especially because of me. To kids, I mean, I don't know. I mean, having kids in the hobby is great, but I'm not going to yeah, make not, videos towards them. Nope. I'm not gonna. Uh, my, I'm not getting my videos to children either. So, I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't even know what resonates with kids these days. So. <laughs> I I won't be able to go down the level to actually get that point. Unless I find a Peppa Pig first. Oh. Some of those. Some of those people. Peppa Pig. Don't even yeah. say it. No, no. You gotta, no. Get, you gotta get blocked. I swear. FTV <laughs> or whatever his name is. Well, Peppa, Peppa Pig. Uh, like if you if you click on like Derek after the stream. Go watch some Peppa Pig videos, and all of a sudden YouTube's gonna change your channel, your channel into a kid channel, because they don't want don't be terrible. whoever's watching on from your end mm -hmm. to see anything adult. <laughs> I'm telling you, it it happened. It happened to me. <laughs> my my daughters would watch Peppa Pig, mm -hmm. and then the thing was like. Eh. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take. So then you make a video, and so so now you make a video, so no one can comment on your video. Your video don't go out. No one can ring your bell. That's um, what they don't see you for Spider Man. It's like it's ridiculous. I, I, yeah, I know some of that happened too. Mm -hmm. They fixed it. Oh, Joe, so Joe, wait, wait. You know what happened to Jesse? It, um, Simple Joe Muniz. Oh, Joe, or oh, him too? Who? Yeah, his kids yeah. watch Peppa Pig on his channel. And suddenly he was gone for like a year, and he couldn't figure out why. Like he's like, I don't know what's commented on my videos mm. because YouTube decided to say someone in your household using your account watch children's channels. So we are blocking everything other than children things. <laughs> so you would go comment on Joe's video, and it would be blocked. You're like no, you can't comment. You can't thumb up. You can't do nothing. Like Joe, what's going on? Yep. So, like everybody's got to have their own channel in, in the household, I guess. Hmm. I guess it makes sense, kinda. You know. Yeah, they're, my mom, they're trying. My mom, you know, like they're trying. Like I couldn't figure out how to do it. Whatever happened to those Elsa and um, Spider Man videos? <laughs> Those don't, did they like delete them all? They did, yeah. Is that the one that supposedly uh, linked to like Peter Rings? I don't know. It was really weird because my I used to let my kids watch YouTube. And then sometimes I'll be like, I, I'll watch, what are you guys watching? And it's like these adults dressing up as Spider Man and Elsa and they would do weird things. Mm -hmm. Never oh, seen that, that? that. What do you call it? Like, cause? It, cause, was, cause it, was, it was called like um, Elsa Gate. Yeah, it's never heard of Elsa no, Gate. My channel still says like, not. I've never even heard of this. It's, it was crazy. It was super weird. I, I, I think they're. I think I. I think if that, that's what I think it is. I think they're kind of trying to link it to. Um... It's it's a weird YouTube phenomenon because it, um, YouTube is driven by whatever gets views. So people who it got so many views that other people wanted to do the same thing, and that would get so many views. So. It would, it was just like YouTube in itself warped yeah. reality into what got views, and people just started doing really weird stuff. And then, then I think people are thinking that uh, it's some kind of part of uh, people trying to get uh, young kids to talk to them. Yeah, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It, it but it was really weird. 
<laughs> it's just weird. Uh, some of this weird stuff that people are doing that kids want to watch because it's weird. Kids yeah. like weird things. And and kids did want to watch that. It, it did get the watch time. It, I mean, yeah, especially when you're talking about like I mean, their characters like Spider Man. Yeah. As an adult, I would not want them to watch that. As a parent, like, a, and then I watch it. Like, that's why I, I, my kids are off YouTube because of Elsa Gate. Like, whatever they like, even if they cleaned it up, I don't trust because it's it's free reign. It's like anyone can produce something that my kids may watch. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. It's unregulated. It's not enough regulation, so they mm -hmm. do not watch YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm. They can watch Netflix. I mean, I know YouTube, Amazon had to Prime. The whole those are like professional things. content. But I, but I think YouTube could have handled it a lot better. It's like mm. the options are: I may, I always make content that is tar targeted towards kids, or I never make content that is targeted towards yeah. kids. I mean, that's very like what is it? I don't know if it's a. Uh, I guess yeah, open. It is like that right now it, it you don't have to be black and white you can you can be a gray channel mm -hmm. which some of your content is and some of your content isn't that's what should have happened it should be like i'm a neutral channel i do i don't it is like that now either mm -hmm. yeah because i mean fish videos i mean really that could, uh, it's kind of one of those weird things yes YouTube, it can. um <sighs> youtube Sorry, um um, favors favors educational channels. So if like Jesse made a video every day or every week, he was like, "This is the fish. This is what I feed the fish. This is why it's the fish." You know, they like that stuff because that fits everybody, no matter what age you are. That's that's the trend for sure. Is educational. Mm-hmm. Fifty <laughs> shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. That's funny. Fifty shades of Chick Cichlids, uh twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 a, it's a it's a whole mess out there. But um, typically, my kids only watch like the gaming stuff, like uh, people uh, playing like uh, Fortnite and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. fifty shades of fish. Fifty shades of black. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think I like fifty shades of cichlids twenty three. <laughs> I'll include you when you in my speech when I had a hundred k subs. <laughs> but didn't happen. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I almost left uh, doing videos after that whole thing, but I decided I'm like, I'll, I'll continue making videos. Uh, it's just like what after what? Uh, uh, at the end of the last year with all the uh, Kappa stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That was okay. that was a blown out of proportion ordeal, wasn't it? <laughs> it ended me, yeah. Way like, blown out of proportion. People, totally jumped to like so many conclusions like you yep. can't even have your kids on camera and like people would like it like if their kid walked into camera on the live stream they're like get out <laughs> get out, get out be <laughs> i know the kids would run <laughs> get out, get out. Like you're on the live stream you're gonna ruin my <laughs> channel you couldn't show a kid for nothing it was hysterical you're gonna get mommy banned. <laughs> yeah, you can get mommy banned. Get out. Yeah, forty thousand dollar fine. I remember seeing um a, a live stream. Um, it was a, a fish tuber. I don't remember who it was. They weren't big enough. Then just some, someone that showed some tanks, and they were like, "Oh, did you see my dog?" And then they were like kid walked by, and the lady went nuts. Like, oh, no. It was hysterical. The kid's face was like, oh, my God. Because the kid was, like, in a diaper, like, walking, you know, like, three years old or whatever. And and the reaction of, of the parent filming was like, Rah! you know, it was just 
Yeah, it was, so it, was, it, I mean, it was just the beginning of the whole virus, and you didn't really know how it was going to go. And um, basically, when you're also being threatened with a possible forty thousand dollar fine per per incident, that that gets a little like, do I really want to risk that kind of thing? Yeah, that was ridiculous. The fines were ridiculous. I don't. And that was like per incident too. It's like what? Yeah, it's like per video. It's like what the hell? How's somebody going to pay that off? <laughs> <laughs> What, are you going to send him to jail and let it work him off? Yeah. <laughs> $1,200 a day. I your kid <laughs> oh, wait. It's the federal government. They'll take your money one way or another. Yeah. Um, but that, that was the whole scary part that I was worried about. Is just those arbitrary fines that uh, if, if for some reason they thought your your video was like aimed towards kids, that's like, uh Who's gonna make that decision? That's kind of like, um, yeah. I think I should probably wait to see how this thing boils down because these things, I mean, when they're new, you don't know how they're gonna roll out. And honestly, I never really saw anything big of it come of it. I mean, no, I haven't either. So, and I was worried. I mean, but I was really concerned. I just started marking my videos as eighteen. Well, or most. Streams yep. anyway, I just marked them 18 plus yeah. and not for kids. Every stream I ever made, I did that. But yeah, but then there's like information that's saying that you do that and it's not really th that, that you get in trouble for that. And it's like, it's like, okay, so what do I do? <laughs> Tell me, what do I do? That kind so of thing. You like saying my stream isn't for 18 and over? Your no, this is my stream. I'll say what it is. <laughs> yes. Your, but but your stream time counts. It's just that uh, it your stream doesn't get um, you know when YouTube throws your video out to people. You know what I mean? I don't know the proper word. Um, yeah. Like if you make a video, YouTube when you're monetized, YouTube will throw it out all over the place. Mm -hmm. Not not to only your subscribers. So that's, All right, that's Cody. So that you have a good night. The, when they reach well, a thousand, they can monetize. That's why they blow up to like three thousand, four thousand. Then, yeah. Hmm. All I know, is something's happening to my stream today. This is like probably my like most popular one ever. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now we're at eighty-four five. views. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> five and five and a half gallon beta tank with. Only eight 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 what? <laughs> Come on, you eighty-four people! Why aren't you guess, hitting that like button? <laughs> I guess we're just not liked. Nobody liked us. Hit that Nobody like button. <laughs> hey, Cody, give it a high five. Get it a low five. Side five. <laughs> Dive five. Hey, no, hey, Cody! Before you leave, make sure you hit that like button. <laughs> <laughs> Usually does. <laughs> well, let me check. Maybe I didn't hit it. Oh no, I did. Hi, Cody. Did I? I wish did I, did I, I, wish I, I, I wish I didn't, so I could add to it. Okay, there. I hit the like button on my own video. There. <laughs> Hi, oh, here. I like it. How dare you? <laughs> there we go. Twenty. Okay. Let's see five oh, five gallon beta tank with L beta in it. Low Three light tetras. Get more quarries. Oh, you want to move the quarries? Okay. I want to get some. Te what Tetris should work? Hmm. Mm, Cardinals would like more room. Hmm. They're not gonna be having a 5.5 gallon. Hmm. That's my opinion on that, anyways. Uh, would uh, would the betas go after Ember Tetris? Would uh, go over? I don't think so. Are the Tetras faster than the Betas? They are, and they, they just don't have but, that look that not Betas five, don't like. A 5.5 <laughs> gallon? No, there's, there's just nothing in there. No. I think you'd probably stick with maybe, I'd probably stick with the Corys and maybe add three more of those. And a 5.5. Uh, that's even if you. That's like eight inches wide. Hmm. Or he's an unhappy one. Bigger tank? I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, bigger tank. Ten put gallon. Put a beta in your ten gallon. You want to have something with a beta? It's got to be at least a ten. Yeah, I got a ten gallon. I'm not using, but I can't ship uh, it. To you guys have a empty ten gallon. <laughs> what Corey? Yeah, you, you, could, you could get away with a lot of stuff, but are they happy? Is the is the question? Yeah. You know. Five, 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 five. Very, very limiting. Tetras in a five? No, never. Absolutely not. Yeah. I don't even, even if it's one neon tetra, it's not going to be happy in a five. Yeah. They they might they probably die. Yeah, sad. They'd be like depressed. Can't even mm. exercise their little wings. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just keep it maybe just as a better then. Just keep it as a better. Yeah. A better with some with, with some uh, ram home snails. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll, he or she will pick off the little baby ones, but they don't, the big, they don't bother the bigger ones. 50,000. They become curious, but they don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesse, um, remember my uh, beta before this one, the female? Uh, I don't know. Before? The one just before this one, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I called up Pom Pom. Mm. She was a uh, so Dumbo. Yeah, she was a Dumbo. But uh, anyway, you know what happened? I had a bo I had a box filter in there, right? Mm. Remember the old school box filter? You put the cotton in, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so it has slots, slats or slots, whatever you want to call it, um, and. The ram's horn snails, I guess the eggs got in there or whatever. So those babies grew up in that box filter. <laughs> and then they can't get out. And then they died. Yeah, and had a ammonia spike. And like everything just, that was it. The water psh, crashed. It was like a ammonia spike. Uh, I don't know where. Disaster. So I, threw, so I threw that thing out. <laughs> when the betas uh, eat juvenile fry? I don't know. Or are they too? I guess juveniles aren't there. The better to probably pick them off. That's what I would think. I'm talking about ram, ram's horn snails being born in a filter box. Hmm. And then as they grow, they can't get out of the slat, so they're stuck in your filter. Gotcha. And then if they die, there's an ammonia spike. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, fine. It's like, it's like a bomb. <laughs> exactly. It's like a fucking grenade. Sorry, freaking. I've been grenade. staying up too much with everybody. <laughs> don't worry, Aquarium Cup. You could say puckin'. Puck. No, don't say it. As long as it's not excessive. I've never heard you curse. <laughs> he I didn't think I'm saying pucking. Ow. Oh, that's right. That's what I said. That's not cussing. Yes, yes that's what I said. Cussing. <laughs> yes, that's, I said that too. That's with a little Filipino things. accent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just annoyed me that that beta died because I really liked it. Yeah, that 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 is annoying when that. Kind of back in the and was that was it was that one of the subjects? Did I, did, I don't think that was part of the subject today, was it? AC Aqua, your favorite fish dying, was it? That should be no, uh, no. That been another slide. No, yeah, that hurts. Yes, I, I'd rank that number five. Your that yeah. Of course. That's what mm. of course. I'd be a level five. Mm-hmm. But seriously, Jesse, mm. how awesome is Blake? He's got it down packed. The cough button, the sneeze button. <laughs> Even if there's a, a technical problem, he has the, the 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 screen that pops up with the music. It's just yeah, he's, he's a good streamer. Yeah, he's got it down. Oh he's yeah, Blake streamer. is awesome. He's got, he's got, got so system funny. down, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he's he's growing fast. He just started and he's he's already monetized. It yeah. takes a while, like he, but he'll, he'll get there. He's posting every day. A video <laughs> every day for the last He's earning it though, dude. 300 I don't know how long. Wow. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He's I mean it's going to happen, I'm sure. He's going to be one of the big big wigs. 
one day. He's going to be like Corey, Corey of Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well deserved. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like it's really good, good thing I'm friends with him early on. So he, he won't forget us little guys. Yeah, he's funny. I like him. <laughs> I like what the Australian fish tubers do. They have a nice community down there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just like the people in Tennessee have a nice community going too. I wonder though, like, um, I wonder how many Australian fish tubers there are. Like, what if there's a lot that we just don't know about? Yeah, we don't. Only notice the top. See, and there's um, you know. Aquamate, there's Blake's. Thirsty okay. Rabbit, Blackie, Aqua AZ. Uh, Aqua AZ is a smaller, smaller, smaller channel right now. Uh, who else is there? Uh, uh, the, 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 there's a funny guy. Fish um, for fishy something. Which... Australia? Yeah. Um, Baji. I can't think of his name, but um, Baji. something Australia. Baji. Oh, from Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baji. I like him. Hmm. He's funny. They're really growing a nice community down there, though. And of course, Blackie. Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, I just checked. I'm at four four ninety two subscribers. Ooh. Jesse, do you remember um, Aussie one hundred and one? Mm hmm. Ozzy, as yeah. I used to call him. Oh, yeah. His his kid his kid took over his channel, and is a gaming channel now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right, he just started his own channel. Yeah, he should just start his own. Ah, totally. I, know. I, know. I mean, well, that's back in the day we used to hang out with Tim. Remember Tim? He's gone. Mm. Oh, I love Tim. I mean, he was the heart. He was the heart of us all. That's right. Rabbit, yeah. right. That well, it was Sergeant. Mm. Sergeant Tanks introduced me Dor to Tim. And then Tim did these late live streams, which we would all hang up for up hours. At. Yeah, for hours and hours and hours. Me, you, Teresa, um, Jay, White, White, Brady. Yeah. Then and then and then towards the end, um, that's when we met Akash. I didn't know Akash. Did you know? I didn't. Uh, that was before my oh, time. Yeah, I, I, I actually live streamed with him. I wasn't part of his life. Yeah, uh, but he I committed suicide. Right. He's a good guy. Yeah. I didn't think Teresa no, for a bit. My time. <laughs> but remember, um, oh, what was his name? I'm still subscribed to him, but uh, uh Jimmy H. He of was, course, Jimmy. H. He was cool. Of course, Jimmy H. Um, no, but the other, I think he was a <clears throat> Australian. Um, hmm. what the heck was his name? It, it was Dumb. a weird name. Dumb guy. Thing about he had a girlfriend. What? Dub? Dub Z Rex? Oops. Dub Z Rex? You don't no. remember Dub? Yeah, but I'm, that's not the guy I'm thinking of. I'll be right back, guys. All right. A straight... He got in trouble. Remember that? There was a young girl, B? Mm, I don't know. It was before me. Oh, yeah. It's like 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, but then mm -hmm. like something happened, and it was with a person underage, and they all went away. Yeah, I didn't come until eleven months ago. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was only really doing the fish tube stuff for two years, and I probably wasn't part of the fish tube community for probably a little bit after that. Even Nick the Dick, um, the other guy, whatever, um, Chris. From Germany, white. Oh yeah, Chris, Chris X or something. Blix, yeah, Blix. Chris BXL, which was his like a uh, area code for um, Germany or something. He like used that. to join the streams too on the panel once in a while. Hmm. Oh yeah, he was good. Mm -hmm. He had knowledge. I'll, t I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. He had these. What kind of cichlids did he have? It was pretty interesting looking. The you know, geo, geo, the, the, the geos or the. Like fire mounts, but they're not oh, fire mounts. Were they mounts. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. They were, they were different. They were Geophagus? Like round looking. Yeah, he had, he had, he did have geos. Hmm. I remember now. Yeah, he did have nice geos. 
and they were breeding like crazy and viscous. Yeah. He had a hard life though, like um Yeah, very he, hard. He was dis disabled, not working. Yep. He was hard, you know. And then he was like cutting, trimming trees and he had like a broken back, like it was terrible. Yeah. Dub Rexy twenty one. Oh, Dub Rexy, I remember him, yeah, sure. Dub Rexy, yeah. That's how I call him the That's thumbs, another up, thumbs up dude. Wow, I haven't seen him in like a year. More. Mm. I don't know. I was watching Calypso Calypso's Reef. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Calypso. Really? He's an old friend of mine too. He used to cut his hair in the cut hair in the basement, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Calypso. Calypso's, yeah. I know him. Yeah, I was watching his stream oh. earlier today. Set, setting up a forty breeder. Stock uh, uh, saltwater tank. Yeah, he had his uh, twin tower saltwater tanks. We used to call them the twin towers, like two identical tanks next mm -hmm. to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he still got those. Yeah. Well, well he, he does. He streamed today. <clears throat> no, I guess uh, YouTube unsubscribed me to him or unrang <laughs> his bell because I haven't seen him in a long time. Mm. Yeah, subscribed him from you. Just like you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. so that, that's frustrating. Like someone you like, you know, yep. why? You why did you undo me? Yeah, I know. I went to check to make sure I was subscribed to somebody I thought I'd been subscribed to for years and I wasn't. I was like, what? And you know, there's a lot, a lot of subscriptions on you and they're like, they don't never post a video anymore. Like, mm -hmm. like what happened to them? Yeah, try to keep track of all the ones you used to follow and follow, and ones that you follow, but YouTube decided to delete them from your subscription list, and they still make videos, but you don't know about it. Oh, Jesse, do you remember Shishi? No, not Shishi. Uh, what was her name? Dang it, the girl in Alaska. There was a fish to her in Nisi. Alaska. N i s i Nisi. No, no, Nisi. Yeah, yeah, Nisi. Mm -hmm. What happened to her? Nisi. She got uh, earlier. She got kind of over the, I think the YouTube thing. She still, oh, okay. she she still um, lurks all the time. She's still around. She mm -hmm. just. Oh, you know. She just in behind the scenes. You mm. know, I saw the other day. Um, you know, Steve Fox got a gaming channel, right? Mm hmm She's there sometimes. This is the right, and, and, yeah. and also I saw um, she changed her name, and I don't remember her her, her original name, but she's mm -hmm. the one that made um oh, the word fish fam. Kayla, Kayla C, um, fish mama. Or something. Yeah, fish mama. Uh, Ma. yeah. yeah, her original yeah, yeah. name was Kayla C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K a l a. She's the one that came up came up with the name fish fam on Swiski's channel way before he knew Corey. Mm. And I, I remember the I remember the stream. Yeah, she's um, OG for sure. Yeah. So I said hi to her. She um she was the first person mm -hmm. in fact I, I posted I, I posted wait, wait 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 before I forget. I posted a video of hers. If you go to like my channel and my, my community page, I posted a video that she made. So it's like I'm not getting nothing out of it, but I'm saying like if you go to my community page, she made a video and I put it on there. I got. I posted her video on my community page. Nice, nice. Up. Uh, what? Ah. No, I want Corey co-op. She was the first uh, person I won her contest on YouTube and kind of got me excited hmm. to like continue being in the community. Is like, oh yeah, I won like free twenty-five dollars. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fun. It's, so it's great, definitely you know? fun. You can't deny that. Yeah, that was that was hers. I was like, oh okay. I mean, she cut. You know, it gave me a little high, right? Yeah. Yeah, so she was part of part of my my journey. Hmm. I got big respect for Corey, so you know oh, everybody has Corey, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, where's your community page at uh, Corey Cup? Say again. Where is your community page on uh, YouTube? 
on my channel, when you click on my channel, it is um. Am I on the right channel? <laughs> home, um, yes. videos, playlists, whatever. Yeah, maybe I'm on the right one. And then community. You have to. But I was happy to see. Uh, <laughs> I was happy to see Kevin Pitts. Yeah, I, I watched it. I watched it. I, I don't forget if I commented, but mm. I did see it. Mm. Kevin Pitts and Matthew. Those boys. Matthew Moore. Mm. Fish boy. How is he doing? How's Matthew doing? Matthew's on TikTok, dude. Oh yeah. I yeah. Know. I think I heard of that one actually. Mm. Matthew Moore. He would always say, um, "Let me say chess." Come on. About Matthew Moore. Matthew Moore. Matthew Moore so I don't yeah, know. I don't know what he used to say. <laughs> Wait, this is what he used to say. Now I remember. Now you're gonna remember. Dudes and dudettes. Yes, 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 yes. You saw Ron. Hey, what's up, dude and dudettes? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him once or twice. Not recently, but before. I've seen him on. Nice, he, he was on. Nice guy. He was on someone's stream uh, recently. I nice was, guy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I didn't see what his latest video was, but. There's a lot of Shelly's and stuff. I like miss that. Jess. Yeah. Jess Shrimp Granny. I think I'm subscribed to him, but I'm... Oh, yeah, what happened to um, her, man? She's fine. Last I talked to her, she's just had a lot of health issues. Okay. Last time I talked to her, she said she wasn't feeling too bad, but she definitely felt worse. She was, like, streaming every night. Hmm. Yeah, like, every uh, every Sunday. Yeah. I think she'll get back eventually. I hope so. She was a, a good person to have around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who? Just shrimp granny. Yeah, she was uh, like, that had that kind heart. I always liked her. You know who I really miss too is Jeremy. Ah, uh, yeah. They Jeremy. got they got salty with something. Sergeant but... Tank. Man, no, okay. no, no, another Jeremy. No, another Jeremy. Not, not Sergeant Tank. Um, <laughs> the one. Huh. Was it Jeremy Morrow? Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy M Morrow. Or yeah, he got all. Oh, he's he's up. blown up on TikTok, dude. <laughs> what are he you got talking all about? Bent out oh, of shape no. over that over that auction. Je Jeremy's auction. Wild World. You talking about? Not, no, not Wild World. Not Wild World. No. M. Jeremy M. Hmm. The different guy. I know Wild World, but he's blowing up on TikTok for real. Yeah, he's got like sixteen thousand subscribers. He's on he's Twitch. He's <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Right. He's people put, say, a, he's people put on a lot of weight. I gotta say. <laughs> uh, maybe I should you just got what? <laughs> Jeremy Wiles, where he put on a lot of weight. Uh, people were saying. Well, he maybe. did during this COVID. Mm. I won't say a lot, but yeah, you know, a couple. <laughs> but just he, say, he, just say. <laughs> he's he's a good dude, dude. Yeah, with that. Jesse, you 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 put on a lot of weight last year, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only gained about ten pounds. <laughs> uh, they were so, saying, a lot but I'm good. still, but I'm still dying to know who you're talking about. What Jeremy? <laughs> What's his last name, Derek? Is Morrell. That so Morrell. Yeah, Mor M O R R E L L. Morrell. Jer Jeremy Morrell. Uh, maybe you didn't know him, but I used to talk. I don't to think him. I know. I used to talk nope. to him a lot. No. Um, yeah. But something happened between certain people and him, and now he just disappeared. So I'm kind of sad about that because he was kind of he was my friend. Yeah, he had an issue with Blackie's auction and my ruling. So. Oh, it was you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was oh, the auction. Yeah, 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 yeah. You too. Yeah, yeah. Now I know what you're talking about. I, I I honestly didn't know yeah. the details, but now you but, know. <laughs> I didn't really care. I mean, I felt he was kind of a sore loser. I mean, it happened. Yeah, I remember that. For him to I, I, I actually saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And then Dragonlay had to fall out oh, on two streams, and that was bad. You, it wasn't just you. It was other people who also was scolding him for what he was doing. So. It yeah, was not just you. 
<laughs> yeah, it was like an obvious thing. Yeah, like uh, people were upset with his. He was yeah, yeah. around yeah, yeah. With numbers, and people were like, "Stop doing that!" Right, right. Yeah. Which is correct. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe you know that's enough. Enough is enough. But yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't mind a joke or two, but not while I'm doing an auction because then I have to keep track of which numbers are real and which numbers are right. Fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I may peg you with the number like you, you'd uh, let's say you guess two fifty five. All right, you owe two fifty five dollars to Doctor Black now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. nobody wants. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, in real life, you're 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 on the hook. You guys are right. You guys are totally right on all of that. So, mm-hmm. Jesse, re- re- remember uh, last night or whatever on Blake's, you know, like rate the plant, mm-hmm. and this kid kept rating and. Blake just threw him off the stream, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. like some Wesley or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yes, because he was like, spamming. Oh, yeah. Like it's like it's he like spamming. give one give one vote, and the kid was like, "Fuh, fuh, 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 fuh!" fuh. Yeah, he just went nuts. Yeah, yeah. And Blake gave him fair oh. warning like three times, yeah. like please like, okay, chill out. Him. Yeah, stop. And he's stop. like, "Later, kid." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll see that. What are these fish? It was po- posted. It was respectful. I don't know. But I never saw Jeremy after that. Never saw him. Yeah, again. that was the that was the line in the sand. That that one stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm still <laughs> friends with him on our Facebook, but you know, I messaged him like a couple times already. He's he doesn't respond. I guess he's ignoring everyone. He, he ghosted all of us. <laughs> okay. I didn't even know he's ghosting me, so I don't know. He ghosted, he ghosted me. I thought we were friends. Uh, so, yeah. what what do these people post on TikTok in terms of the fish stuff, anyways? I don't know. I don't even go yeah. to TikTok. See, TikTok is difficult. <laughs> I got to go on. You gotta subscribe you, to me. Okay. No, no one likes my videos. No, 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 no. This is TikTok. You go on there. You make a video. You get like three hundred views. And you see seven hundred children subscribe to you. So now you gotta so now you gotta block them all, right? And then they're all mad at you. Mm-hmm. And who cares? But the, the way to do TikTok is you sign up to it and you watch videos. You go there's a called you know search and you just type in hashtag fish fam, hashtag fish tank, hashtag aquarium, and then you find all these people that are posting fish videos yeah. and you watch them and you tell them hi nice video and you subscribe to them so then tiktok learns you only like to watch fish stuff so they're not bombarding you with 15 year olds dancing and you know it takes a while it's very difficult but <laughs> that's and it's not, it's nothing like youtube the only thing i like about tiktok is when you click a like you don't even have to comment like if Jesse clicks a like on my video on TikTok, I see Jesse liked your video. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jesse don't have to say nothing. Oh, you just you click like. A lot. Mm-hmm. I, even I love that it's that. transparent. Mm-hmm. If you click a like on TikTok. They get a notification on who? It'll tell me like, Jesse liked your video. You know? I only follow you. Or I am already following you. Am I following you? It's only, I don't know. I'm not I don't know how now. to use this stupid ass thing. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's, if if you're so used to um YouTube, <laughs> it's annoying, but there's features about it that are great that I wish YouTube had. If it's like like frozen, like, 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 some, it's like sometimes everywhere. it's Peppa the Pig on TikTok. <laughs> hey, cop, you, post, it's you, post, you post a lot on TikTok. Yeah, I kind of stopped though. Talk about it. it's only at five twelve here. So, <laughs> when was your last video? I don't know. I have like seven seven. Oh yeah, you kind of did stop seven seven. Yeah, a long time ago. I, know, own, I wish I had something to better. drink. It's five o'clock. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so, do people even make money on TikTok right now? Or I have oh, no people idea. are making tons of money on TikTok. Can you uh, tell? Okay. Can you tell? Am I following you? How do I? How do I follow you? I can't go on it now because I'm no, on. I'm, um, I'm showing you this. my like your account. 
oh. on, on my phone. Like I visited your page. Mm. Okay, go go to uh, go to the the middle the middle top one under the fish. The one with Followers. the person, the people with the two arrows. So followers. 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 The num yeah followers. Only the number under the talk in here. No TikTok. Okay. And what? Just look for my name. The goldfish. Oh, Griffin is following you. Wait, Griffin is following you. You should just be able to go to your TikTok and see who you are following, which would be oh. smaller and easier. I don't know how to do that. I'm not a TikTok user. Okay, me. Then you don't go to those states. So this is me. <laughs> <laughs> you have nine followers. Congratulations. No, no, no. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, okay, I'm following. Okay, this is who I'm following. Okay. Yeah, it should say friends. So I am okay. I am following you. I'm following you. Hmm. Okay, so it says friends, okay. right? Yes, yes, we're friends. I don't know okay, if I can pick a social you... media platform. <laughs> I, know, I, have, I haven't figured this out yet. All I have is YouTube and TikTok. So everybody else got Facebook, um, Instagram, all this other stuff. So I have I have Facebook and YouTube. I had Twitter once, but I never used it, so I deleted the account. <laughs> Who did you say was taking off on TikTok? Why did I look into this? Jeremy. Oh, wild. Which Jeremy? Jeremy yeah. Wild's world. Yeah, yeah, look. I'm telling you. Who's Jeremy Bjorn? Wild's world. I, really I think I actually remember him now. Like 10 to 16. Something like that. <sighs> I like Jeremy. He's a good guy. Boop, 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 boop. Jeremy World? Jeremy's Jeremy. Wild World. But there's like underscores between each word. Uh, Alexa, what time is sunrise? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> no, I don't want to know either. Yeah. My sunrise will be in, at 621 miles. Hmm. Jeremy's Wild World, not Jeremy. Wild. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I said. With like, I know. I mean, the, that's why I couldn't find him as first. Didn't he keep okay, Yeah. Did he like do him. mostly he reptiles? Seems like he a, only has uh, one. He only has 56. Oh, man. I followed the wrong person. This is <laughs> <laughs> Unfollow. How do I unfollow? <laughs> Who is this random person? Hey, Fishy Fun Fifty Seven, how you doing? <coughs> yeah, I haven't been sleeping for the last few days. <laughs> I give up. Priscilla's on there. Um, LRP's on there. Yeah, I have. I mean, been. everybody posts very minimally. Hmm. King of DIY uh, did one video. <laughs> Just him going, "Hi TikTok." I don't know what I'm that's doing. That's probably a good thing for him. That was it. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna he don't need video. to be on TikTok. He's I'm good with his YouTube video you know? right now. Oh, I'm man, gonna you... TikTok famous. I'm gonna post. <laughs> I'm gonna post the H H C Aqua um, Dojo Loge video on there sometime this week. Once I know they're okay, I hate posting a video of a fish that you just get and you're not sure it's you know gonna make mm. it, and then you post it, and then like the fish dies. It's so annoying. Yeah. I have a video. I have a dead video that's like that too. So, <laughs> yeah. You snore. Oh wait, hold on. Derek, you snore. <laughs> I don't think we need Jesse in big full picture anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I've been oh. told I snore in my sleep. I don't believe him. <laughs> yes, please don't do that. I had you in full picture. Just you, just <laughs> looking at the phone. <laughs> It's 60 degrees right, like degree so. Fahrenheit at 4.16 a.m. sunrise at 6.16. I'm having back pain, so I haven't been on much. Just figuring out Discord. I hope you're back. Uh-oh. No. Sorry, I don't know. 57? It sounds like my video. But cool. I, I'm, I, I'm on Discord. I use Discord. Yeah, I really don't because I never get notifications. Notification of what? 
Discord notifications on my phone. Oh, uh, didn't put a description. I'm telling you, Discord or sent you notification. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, public announcement. Go through people that you subscribe to, unsubscribe to them, and re subscribe to them. There was a whole that that whole kit thing muted everybody's bells. I, I look at everybody you watch. Look at their videos from six months ago till now. They used to get like. Just say they got 50 views back then. Now they get 25. If they got 200 mm. videos back then, now they get 100. Everybody's cut in half. I'm getting more. It's because no, nobody's getting notified. Nobody's getting notified. Mm. I'm struggling. To, what, what happened to this guy? What happened to that guy? What happened to this yeah. guy? And then I look. I'm like, oh, crap. He made a video a month ago. I did it with Pro Tim, and I did it with New York Gold. I didn't see their videos till like a month later. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, I haven't crap. seen them. New York because their bells were off. Hmm. I haven't seen and I didn't turn it off, my... obviously. You know, it's like, like what? Aquaballs is here. Yeah. Good to know <laughs> Aquaballs. Wait, how come I can't find NY Gold's um, videos? What is his name? NY Gold. <laughs> NY Gold. It's not coming up. It's Yeah, it comes up in the search. Wait, oh, you're talking about on TikTok? No, on YouTube. It's not YouTube. just, is it no space between NY Gold? No spaces whatsoever. Oh, that's why. I put a space. And it's better if you do all caps, but. Mm. Mm. I am subscribed. Holy crap. Thing. I missed yeah. a lot of <laughs> videos. Now, wait. Now, go to his channel and look at the bell. No, the bell is wrong. My, my well, I'm sub and it's look, wrong. Listen, listen, listen. Unsubscribe to him right now and resubscribe and hit the all. That's the only way to fix it. I'm telling you. Let's see here. I don't know. The bell look, it says it's wrong, but I don't it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. You have to unsubscribe, resubscribe, and hit the all bell. Do you know? Ever that? since that, ever since that kid thing, I'm telling you. Mm. I, I, I missed. I've been, time. I've been so annoyed that I've been missing everybody's videos. I'm like, I'm subscribed to why didn't I get it? And the only way you could, it has to be like reset. Do you know what, Aquarium Cop? I wonder. I wonder if uh, maybe YouTube at some point maybe classified their channel as a kid channel and reversed it. Yes. It, yes. Exactly. But remember, you had to remember you had to tell YouTube if you were or were not a kid channel, and you had to like oh, okay. press that button. It's probably these people that didn't do that when they're so, old. So, so I guess YouTube being safe or a glitch. Put that order in, like you gotta, you gotta class your, your classify your channel this or that. That's that's what's happening. And, and and if and if you never did it, all the people that are subscribed to you, right? Yeah. Won't even though your bell's wrong, they won't see your stuff. I'm telling. I've been doing this for two months now. It's driving me crazy. I'm like, I really wish I had authority to make a video. Like, dude, everybody, how do you make a video? Like, hey, everybody, unsubscribe to me. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're, um, but then, but then, resubscribe to me and re-ring my bell. Like it's kind of a like a little shaky road there. Aquarium Hi, pack. everybody, unsubscribe to me, please, and then um, subscribe to me back and hit the bell. Yeah. You, there's just a little glitch in there. Notification that that's happening to them because it looks like it's only specific channels. Because I checked NY Gold too, and I had the same issue. So at one point when this happened, when this changeover happened, they probably did yeah. it after the fact, and YouTube. Kind of didn't turn back on the notifications for everyone. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah, that's what's happening. Even, even not, though it show, even though it shows, like just say New York Gold as an example, the bell is wrong. It's not. Yeah, you have to unsubscribe to him, resubscribe, and hit the all. Yeah, I would probably notice. I've been doing that for so long now because it's yeah. kind of embarrassing. Like people make videos and you you don't see them. You're like, uh, hi, sorry, I'm two months late. Yeah. I never saw the notification. Yeah, I would probably also let them know what the situation then that way they can maybe tell their subscribers as well, just in case other people come across that. But I do when I comment on the videos that I yeah. just say I haven't seen in two months and I well was let them curious. Know. Let them you know. know. Yeah. I would tell I did in, in the comments. I, I did in the comments. Yeah, because on it, on their video, I'm like, dude, sorry, I had no idea. I write um Sorry, zero notifications. Yeah. And I see that from other people, too. 
Well, I mean, they. I think they were. They really need those. And, and I went to the YouTube app and I made a complaint. Yeah. Supposedly, you know, supposedly the admins of the YouTube uh, app read mm. that, but who knows? <laughs> I just think they don't know how to fix it. Yeah. Um, maybe one of us should probably post a fish tubers notifications tomorrow. Or something I can't. No. I can't. St I can't stand that. I watch a great video from someone I'm subscribed to, and it's got like 20, 25 views, and it's been up for seven months. I'm like, you know, six months, three months, three weeks. I'm like, what? That was awesome. You know, and you got- You're wondering what's happening. You know, Why are people watching? It, it, it doesn't match up with the subscriber account you got. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and that's a lot of work. Like, you have to actually go, and it's so hard to find unless you're on a computer. If you're on a computer, you can go to everybody you are subscribed to and go down the list, click, am I subscribed? Unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the yeah, Or at least like, check the video, see if you remember. It's going to take, 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 take you a week. See if I remember the videos being notified for me and. Oh, okay. I've been notified, but that one, that one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. Oh, no, that one's not like NY Gold for me wasn't fine because I don't remember seeing the notifications for this. Yeah. I yeah. Notifications, mm -hmm. I'll remember. I'm telling you, like, even when you're on like a live stream or someone's live stream, whatever, or the best way is your video. Just say you watch a video. Just say you watch. Right? You yeah. know, there's people posting comments. Like you'll you'll see me, me me make a comment or blah blah. You go down that list, click on that their icon in the comments, right? Then it brings you to their page. Unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the bell. Down mm -hmm. to the next comment from Biggies. Unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the bell. That's that's the only way that I found effective. Yeah. I probably it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's annoying to make videos. I remember the notifications. That's what I would do. If I remember them, then I'd probably skip them and go to the next because I'm obviously seeing yeah. that, I'm obviously seeing the notification from some channels, but the ones I'm not are probably the ones that let it lapse where they didn't notify. Okay, they didn't tell YouTube what they were what their content was going to be for. Because I know when I did mine, I made sure before the deadline to actually put mine as not for kids. Yeah, me too. So I'm pretty but I have, but, but I, have, I haven't made a video since then, so it's a different yeah. story. Yeah, so but if you put out a video, then people are probably gonna get your notifications. Uh, I'm not too sure. Because mm -hmm. there's some channels out there that I'm constantly getting I'm definitely getting notifications for. It's just select ones, and I have a feeling those select ones are the ones this is my guess on what happened. Because they probably did classify their channel at one point as kids and when they did that they turned off all the notifications but when the channel went back and said okay i am not for kids then those notifications when the creator did that never turned back on for each and every subscriber that they have and also, also and another problem I, obvious. I remember when um youtube did the kid thing right yeah there was a, at first when they first first did it um you would have to actually select that option. This video is not for kids. But then they later came out with my channel's not for kids. Yeah. Some people so there, kind of did that. There's like, there's like, I can't even, a bunch of people, I watch their video and then I go to make a comment and it says, sorry, no, com uh, this, this, um, if I thing is shut channels. off. Yeah, like it's you can't make a comment to shut off uh, for Privacy Kid Act or some stuff. Yeah, I'm like, probably those channels that you don't get notifications for anymore. And, and I and I want to tell them, but I don't know how to tell you know <laughs> tell the person's channel because I don't have Facebook. I can't email them. I don't know their email. Mm. And the only thing you do is like it. <laughs> you know, you can't say like, "Hey, dude, you know this. You're not getting no views." Mm. Or comments because you're a kid channel. Yeah. And meanwhile, you know they're not a kid channel. Hmm. Yeah, there's like are these fish tube, fish tube kind of people, or are these other kind of YouTube people. 
Fish too. I don't comment on anything but fish. Okay. If you're a kid channel, can you still be monetized? No. No. So what's the no, no, all those kids, kids channel? So all those kids that were making millions, like <laughs> their parents sticking them in with with a game in front of them, you know. They're all dumb. World, I think went to like Amazon Prime or something. Oh yeah. So I, Amazon I, I, Prime has a platform, but he went somewhere. Oh, he's I I still see him. He's um, he's on my TV. <laughs> that Ryan kid. He's yeah. on one of the streaming platforms now. I think. Yeah, Amazon Prime. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Hmm. Okay, the Pusa Studio has the answer and reasons for notification issues. But I think we figured it out. You just got to unsubscribe and resubscribe. <laughs> and hopefully you find all the channels that we used to subscribe to and whatnot and whatnot. I'm going through them right now. My subscription list. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's what you do, Derek. You go through your subscription list. Yeah. Don't do it all at once because... Oh, like, because you're on a computer. I'm actually you unsubscribing do to a bunch no, of Don't people. everyone do it but all at once. If you're on a phone... But if you're on a phone, it doesn't do that. So... Mm. Oh, it's DPK. You know, do it like that. Miles, remember when we were trying to prank call people? What? What, Jesse? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> No, yes, yeah, he will so, never let no, me no, so, Kirk just it down. messaged me on Facebook. Funny. Say, oh, I just see I missed your call. But then <laughs> I was telling him, like, oh, that's probably when me and Miles was trying to prank call a bunch of people, and I probably called you. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was hysterical. <laughs> and you didn't pick up, Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, to call Big Easy because I had his phone number. He didn't. So I know. Up. What was so funny about that, Jess, was um, you were like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then I encouraged you. You're like, you're a full cop. <laughs> so he like needed that extra fun. push. I was like, call him, call him. <laughs> well, Fishy Fun is saying that this unsubscribing and resubscribing causes more issues as phony information. Oh, I called George, too. <laughs> Ah, uh, who else did I call? You didn't call me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't call you, Dave. No. If <laughs> you did, I probably would be up anyways. You watch out next time. Me and my together. What time was it? We're trouble. Three thirty. I probably be up. Me and Miles are always up to no good. <laughs> Somebody else was called. Who the heck was it? It was funny. <laughs> uh, maybe I just need to check out that one video from that one place and see what they say. I forgot who, but uh, Miles like called somebody, but he forgot to hit Star Six Seven or whatever it is, and like they <laughs> had his number and they called him back. <laughs> Some mad like. Uh, I don't know, store or something like, who are you calling? <laughs> He's like, I have to get my number. And you put that lady's voice on? Yeah, yeah, Hello. this lady's voice. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was so funny. I remember that now. Oh, my God. Heck. <laughs> Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He does it good though. <laughs> like you don't expect that from Miles, and he just on point. Good times, good times. Immediately. Yeah. And then George wanted um, Miles to call 
his neighbor or something. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> 40 pages you can't see on YouTube. What? <laughs> Where'd you see that? Uh, it's on the it's on the channel that um, oh someone mentioned on this that talks about the notification issues. Uh oh. Why do the Who's hell? Studios? Georgie, do a live stream at the fish store. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to look. The, I'm gonna have to look on this later for it. Oh. Who was it? Who was it? I mentioned a uh, fishy fun mentioned something about this right here, and he also mentioned something about a channel says what's going on. Okay, okay. Here's here's what fishy. He finally they finally got back. Try. Oh, I see uh, it now. Try a couple Hi, of time, then see if on whatever in rejoining works. A few channel which gives infus said be careful. <laughs> mm. We're all pineapples, Jesse. All goes to you. I think she's trying to say that uh, awesome what Cop has been saying might actually cause issues as well. No, if if you do too many in one day, yeah. I'm saying gradually unsubscribe, resubscribe. Peace, peace. To the people that you know that you have not got notifications from. So skip skip the ones you know that you get notifications for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He hmm. gave me the Wi Fi password. Ah, select select pet. <clears throat> oh, like I've seen him around. Whose Wi Fi's password? Mine? What did I give you my password? Oh, not my password. I haven't seen select pets now, too. Derek's password is bow and arrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh boy, maybe without the space. Has anyone seen select pet recently? I have. I have. Okay. I've seen him on some streams. Last video was four weeks ago, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know I subscribed to him. So. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been getting his notifications. Does anybody know his real name? Mm, I don't. Brian. Okay. Brian? I just made that up. So I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would I would think you would know that, so I, call, I believed you. you no, know, that's why I know, said. You know everybody's name. I know. <laughs> but I haven't seen him in a while, so I can't think of it. Oh, I, you know, oh. actually, I think there was a a point where where people knew his name. Hmm. I was probably right, but I I'm not gonna guarantee that. Hmm. But select people my name, cichlids. Kirk. People know my name. <laughs> Says it right, right. here. <laughs> Dave. Why then again? Typically on my videos, I typically used to say, "Hi, I'm Dave." The Aquarium Thoughts are, I'm welcome to Aquarium Thoughts, I'm Dave, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be, I'm going to change my name. But uh, that's, yeah. that's, but, but Dave, that was a good thing. All the guys uh, suggested, what was it, two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, um, when I did that, it was like, when I. About your name, videos, you're like, oh, what do you, I want to think, change my name. And you're like, yeah. There was like, who was, Dave's Aquarium Thoughts. Yeah, who, we were like, yeah, nail it. That's awesome. Who were yeah. we talking to? Was you, me, and who? I think I know Anthony. I would, there. Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Uh, that, that, I think what it started was, was talking about people I used to watch and then how no, they their name and then like, don't watch anymore. Oh, Danikin was there too. Yeah. Yeah, we were all like, yeah, that's great. You, and uh, Dave was like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm like, no, you, but you're like, I have stickers and shirts. Like no, it's good. It's it's actually makes sense. Yeah, it's good. The aquarium bullets. I, I, I like it. I thought it was great. Yeah, yeah. My, my I'm probably gonna keep the branding on my branding stuff as just aquarium thoughts still. Mm -hmm. Channel wise, I think that's it's fine. Good that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But now you're like a real person, you know. Yeah. Unlike me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're you're just a logo. I should have just kept my original name, Beyond to Keep Fish, but no one could say it. Oh, oh, 
I think yeah, I think you were there too, Cop. I forgot you were there. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I only remember I now. Lurk. Mentioned the name. I lurk. Remember? I lurk. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> This is the well, ultimate you know, right now, so. You should uh, listen to the Michael Jackson song and always feel like somebody watching me. That's me. Mm-hmm. But when I'm working, I can't talk, you know. I'm sorry, but I listen. Oh, no worries. I, I, I watch a lot of streams when I'm actually working. <laughs> working. <laughs> I'm driving and working, you know, so I call it um, I like working. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Apparently, I subscribe to someone named I am username. <laughs> Maybe they changed their name. I remember that that channel. I am username. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. sometimes you subscribe to somebody to find that if they're a troll. <laughs> Funky. And then business. you see, then you see they have no videos, so you go to the three dots on the I top right, that. and you click block. <laughs> I'm just uh, uns uns un uh, unsubscribe from people that I don't watch anymore or don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect thing that you're doing right now. Ones ones that don't have videos for like five years. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Or yeah. new videos. Yeah, maybe YouTube should just purge all their subscribers if they don't post in like five years. Oh, they purge, dude. They purge. Oh, they do that. I mean, okay. they, should, uh, they should purge big time, though. I lose like 30 subscribers every month. Roger the Shrubber. No, I'm th talking about like purge to channels that don't do videos for years on end. Well, I haven't made one. Oh, you mean minutes. just like delete the whole channel? Yeah. Huh? Just the oh, channels that don't make any videos anymore. I don't know if I agree with that. Like, what if you just want to like archive? I think I think I think they should purge people that are dead. Like they don't, um, like I interact oh. constantly. I don't agree no, with no. that. No, no, no. Dead and let your videos live. No, 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 no. No, I'm not, I'm not no. talking about the videos. Not talking about the videos. I'm not saying take that channel down. No, but I'm saying like, if they don't like sign on to YouTube, watch stuff. Never mind, make videos. But like me, like. I haven't made a video in seven months or something like that, but I'm actively on YouTube every day commenting and on people's like, I'm on here now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I'm talking about the people that obviously they've never signed on to YouTube in yeah. seven years. Yeah, but there's no reason to get rid of them. They're not costing that but much. They're, but they're taking up space for YouTube. Not that much. Mm. A lot. Well, maybe they could delete certain aspects, like certain history that they're gonna keep. Not, but not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have oh. to like not let you log back in. That's no, 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 no. I'm talking about the subscriber. No, count. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Subscriber count. Because there's a lot. Of, I'm I'm subscribed to a few channels here and there that they haven't made channels in a long while. Yeah, and but if they ever did, that, 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 that subscribers would get to see that they posted, though. I don't. Okay, I don't, I don't, so Jesse, don't you're right. Because, no, I don't agree. Jesse, you're right because because uh, Kevin Pitts made a video yesterday, and I got the notification, and I watched it, and he <laughs> right. hasn't made a video in a long time. He's still gonna watch so, it. Yes. there's no I, reason I agree. to I agree. get rid of I agree. them. I redact what I said. Wow. You're right. Let's see. Because. I, I saw a, a video Everyone from one uh, might have a big break in their life and they need a break. I'm so happy. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We're responsible for deleting bad comments, which are spam and rude. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Hmm. Well, describe spam. <laughs> Is it just saying hi <laughs> or what? Good, good point. Good point. Fishy Fun Fifty Seven. I absolutely agree with that. Again, I stand corrected. Jesse and Fishy Fun Fifty Seven. <laughs> what? Maybe, maybe they should just highlight them then. Just that way, we get the choice if we want to delete them or not. We know exactly which ones aren't really that active anymore. What? I don't know. 
Oh, no, yeah. Not you. Jesse's burp. Oh, sorry. But let's right. see. Fishy Fun 57 said, I would hate to lose Sandy's yep. Aquatic. Agree. Right? I want his child to live on forever. That's, <laughs> that's why I said um, Jesse and 50, 57 made a great point. Yeah, how about, absolutely, how about, um, absolutely. How about with that. channel is—is is it still alive? Who's? Of course. See, I, aren't you happy about that? Is that <laughs> Akash. Yeah, good point. I have a whole playlist for Akash. I watch him maybe every two weeks. Uh, I click on some stuff. Oops, wrong one. It's true. So the ones that say "Let's be friends," ask for dates. <laughs> oh yeah, that's different. That that stuff's yeah. just dope. And Bro got raided by a bunch of trolls out once the other day. A few of them ended up subscribing and being useful contributors. And and buying stuff from her. Hmm. Interesting. I was there. They they bought like tadpoles from her. They pay powder and mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> Interesting. That's great. <laughs> that, that turned out like, I want tree frogs. My mom wants a bullfrog. That's a good raid. Yeah, it worked <laughs> out good. It was fun. She's a fun girl. That'll be bad. Yeah, uh, that's just this channel. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I think at I th I think we get in the stream in like fifteen more minutes or so. Cool. <laughs> that way I get up to five and a half hours and and be four o'clock here in my bedtime. So <laughs> definitely kept the stream going longer than I, what I expected. <laughs> Quarantine time for you. <laughs> I was actually going to end the stream uh, a long time ago. <laughs> right when last Probably. time Jesse left. And then all of a sudden, then we got a big surge of people coming in from uh, Miles' stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll keep it going. People are here, people coming in, so eh, I'll leave it going. And look where we're at now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's Jesse again. Changing the scenery again. So, are you selling your shirt, Jesse? It's on Teespring. Ah, I'll have to look at that. I sold three shirts. Wow. And two mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than I sold. <laughs> and I, I cashed out like so basically when they sell, yeah. you can transfer that money to your bank account. So like, well, I'm cashing out. <laughs> or you can just like leave it there for nothing. Yeah. Oh. Hey uh, um Dave. Yeah. How are your live streams doing versus your regular videos? As far as what v view count? Well, let's just let's just put it this way. Uh, since I changed to Thursday nights like this, uh, I've been doing much better. <laughs> um, I I kind of think that um, live streams do better than videos in certain cases. Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh, it depends, it depends on your audience. Yeah, this video so far, this this stream so far, got ninety views. That's nine zero. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> it's not even uh, over yet. I'm home. Okay. No, nope, and that's not going to count all the people start who start rewatching. Yeah. Whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, let me go into my analytics here. Um, only like three hours ago. That's a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, no, I might as well just share this. I don't care what people see on my uh, lovely uh, analytics. <laughs> Here's my lovely ana analytics. 
Oh, the cup leaf. Good night, cup. Yeah, thank you, Lai. Good night, yeah. cup. Good night, cup, if you're still listening. If you're still lurking back there. So basically, this this was my last video right here, which uh, was the ring light. And uh, so far, since it's been live from the 27th, uh, I got 41 views on that. Before that was this video was on the Quick Connect, which is 26. The EIM filter, that actually got me 82. So you can basically see my numbers are on yes. the yeah. videos. Yes. So uh, going to the live streams under live. Uh, right now we're still on this one. Yeah. Uh, this was a test stream. Uh, this was last week's, and that's at 77. They are doing better. Uh, this was yeah. my last Wednesday stream, which is at 51. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a late night stream on July 11th. I forgot the reason why it went that late, but it's still reasonable, though. That's still a decent. Uh, this was July 8th. I got 19, 26. That, that, this is an impromptu one. Uh, this was a scheduled one, which is at 38. So definitely my Thursday ones are definitely picking up so far. Raw bull. And like 46, 23. So definitely the Thursday nights are working out for me. Ooh. Wow. So that's how they're doing. I mean, yeah, they are pretty much outperforming my other videos per se. And increasing my watch time. Well, now you know what your audience likes. You're a live streamer. <laughs> yeah. That's why I am a live exploit. streamer. Yeah, Derek's definitely a live streamer. Yeah. I've made a video in eight years. How know. many how many vo um views do your live streams get on a normal basis? Um not totally sure. I looked earlier in there. About a hundred views each. See, so maybe average like eighty or something. I don't know. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Which is pretty good. I I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I mean. Oh, yeah, people people like live streams. I yeah. think it's changing towards live streams. Like people wanna. They wanna participate more. Participate. Yeah. And and or or it's long, so that they'll just put it on and just listen to it while they work, yeah. you know, while they do some chores. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, before these last two live streams, uh, my average for the year would have been like two thousand. Mm -hmm. Since these last two, my watch hours are up now up to like three thousand. Oh, nice, nice! Wow. So that, that's so if it extrapolates out for the whole year. Yeah, so. so you just need. You just need the subs now. Yeah. What are, what are you at? Let's see. Uh, right now I'm at 408. Oh, okay, you still have a, a bit to go then. Yeah, I actually gained three on the stream, so. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Thursdays are definitely working out much better for me anyways. Yeah, yeah. especially since you follow um, Fish on Fever, Ed. So when they like tell you, oh, go over there, then you might have yeah. some new people. Yeah. yeah. That's that's one of the reasons also I didn't want to go out for Saturday because I wouldn't be going after anyone. I'd just be, it'd be purely organic kind of things and no one really sending people over. People won't know to go there. <clears throat> but that's just uh, marketing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like marketing. Yeah, I kind of. I probably kind of missed out on a lot of it at the beginning when uh, Miles was streaming, but I mean, I still got ninety view, ninety views on this, so that's it. Still works out in the end. And then a lot of those people are probably gonna go back and. Oh, yeah, it, we so. should talk about that. Um, so Miles, are you going to continue your time? Is that like a normal schedule time? But because, um, I think Dave, you're you're trying to hold this time. As your normal, your yeah. new normal. So, what time did you start, Miles? And 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 try. I don't know if he's still here, but oh, are you are you planning? 
he, he said it was like at, at that point it was like five hours in. So it's it's been a, it was long. So he's going when um, Chattanooga Ed was still going too. So hmm. yeah, Miles is off on Thursday, so he doesn't know. So it is what it is. Hey, when I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I hear fish. <laughs> I hate I hate when like like too many people go live at the same time and then I just end up like if they're both people I like and I listen to both of the streams at the same time. There's so many voices in my head. Yeah. That's what happened to me today. I was listening to um Chattanooga Ed and Miles one. Mm. And then I try to have both of the chats on the side. And then I end up I ended up taking a nap because it was like too much voices in my head. Was, I just it made me pass out. <laughs> Ed is always on when uh Miles goes on. Yeah. I'm not too worried. It's it is what it is. Yeah, there's so many streams you have to pick and choose, especially the when with the Aussies added. I oh, know. I hardly see them nowadays, though streaming. Hmm. Aquamate hasn't been around as much as he used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whatever reason, I. Th- or they don't like they don't do those um they don't do like panels with a bunch of them together as much too. We we do a lot of panels over here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's the panel crew? Derek, <laughs> guarantee. Mm-hmm. Dave, Anthony, Big J, Priscilla. Who else? George. Don't forget George Miles. Yeah. Yeah, I picked Thursday because basically it was uh, pretty much it was open after Ed and, and when I go back to work, it worked good because I'm off on Thursdays as well. So yeah, it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to avoid over, overlapping with new people streaming. But, I mean, even with the overlapping, I'm I'm still getting the views. I'm still getting the watch hours on it. So it's just a lot of those people watching Miles probably missed a lot of the uh, meat of my stream tonight. Which doesn't mean that they're not gonna, like I said. They're not. They, some of them probably go back and rewatch, see what that was. Mm-hmm. So that's more views. <laughs> Derek, you were you on um, Miles' stream today? Yeah. You, mm-hmm. Yeah, you came in like the last second. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I was in and out. I was in and out. I was like lurking. Oh, uh, that's right. You were. You came back. You came once, and you said you'd go get dinner, and then. Mm-hmm. And then oh, that, is that where you went when you were uh, taking a pause on my panel? <laughs> no, <laughs> that was way before. <laughs> I, I I ate at um six thirty, so I was yeah. like, oh, okay, I have an hour before your stream. Like, no. <laughs> no, I'm, j- I'm joking with you. Yeah, my own, he's the ball, Cyrus. Right, against the flow. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check my hours, make sure I don't go over this month. I'm gonna have to do a short stream next week, I think. <laughs> Only five hours. You have twenty hours a month. So you can do this four times, Miles. Why don't you just go live again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have told me before. I didn't even know you was gonna go live. Yeah. I didn't know Miles didn't go. I didn't know Miles didn't go live either. So I didn't even know you were live <laughs> until I just looked oh. into my recommendations and saw it. Yeah, so David's trying to do after um Chattanooga Ed or James. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I scheduled my stream back all the way on like Saturday, last Saturday. <laughs> he, did schedule, he did schedule it. Yeah, I, I put my in like Saturday or something like that. I put it together and I make the note, I put it on my channel then, or after I put up a video, and that way it's in my channel rankings, different places. 
I wonder what's the optimal time to pre-post your schedule. Like, you did it a whole week or whatever. I wonder if that's too soon. Like, if there's like, if there's a. I don't know. Why don't we ahead? I don't the return. Uh, what's it? The returns of diminishing returns say on that. Yeah, I wonder. Hmm. I really don't think it makes a difference because you, I mean, people are still gonna get the notifications thirty minutes prior. Hopefully, I kind I, I kind of do feel it makes a difference, but I don't know what I would say. I I, I feel like I, I feel like. Yes, Miles did bring people. That's true. When you ended, yeah, there was a lot of people who came after you ended. So. The second win. You brought people in just as I was ending the stream, too. Oh, I know. I could have been in bed by now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, it's it's no, pro it's no problem, Miles. I'm just kidding with you. It's just, um, yeah, it's... Yeah, Ro has been doing those really long streams. Well, I guess if worse comes to worse, if I ever do need more more hours, I can always use another streaming platform. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's true. You found that other one. Yeah, let's see. I think summer will be iffy for watching due to summer activity. I don't want to be inside anymore. Well, this this year's a wash though, so <laughs> I, I think we're having an abnormal summer this year, so <laughs> Due to whatever reasons out there. <laughs> Anyways, it's five and a half hours into the stream. It's four o'clock here, so I think that's going to be the show. Six a.m. here, so yes, cool for being part of the panel, especially earlier. Thanks, Derek, for coming up later. No uh, problem. Thanks, Miles, for sending these people to me and everyone else. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Watching the replay five and a half hours in. Thanks for definitely st sticking it for that long on your replay. And see you next time. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night.